I like that music. I thought you were about to start doing the X Men theme. That would have made this movie better. Why just randomly throwing in the X Men theme? No, just the X Men have all the X Men in it. They just turn up. Yeah, go Just hey, what's up? Patrick Stewart rolls out in a wheelchair and has an aneurysm and just dies. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, the Flash that, that's... like flings up to him and he's like, Barry, you, you, to save me, you have to go back and unbreak my legs. <laughs> I think. <laughs> my legs. <laughs> I don't know how. He's like, you will. You, you will, will. <laughs> Barry. You will. Believe. Put my legs back together, Barry. Who was this guy? <laughs> I don't know who you have is. to run for the both of us, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> and then Wolverine um, kills Zod. I I was I got a few things before we begin our uh -huh. breakdown of uh -huh. the Flash. I'm gonna have um, breakdown soon. I was I did I had a walk I walk I woke up early. Well, I mean I woke up at like. 10 p.m. yesterday. I've been up since. So I woke up early, and I went for a walk a few hours ago, and I and I I witnessed two instances of predation. Whoa! Um, I was walking around a lake, and I saw a green heron nab a dragonfly. He was like creeping up on it, and then it snatched it and it started eating the dragonfly. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then a few blocks later, I was walking down a street in the suburbs. And I saw, and I'm so it's crazy, I saw it. There was just like robins out in front of one of the lawns. And then this hawk comes down and makes that noise exactly as I said it. And just pounces on it. And I'm like, oh shit, wow, that's cool as fuck. So that was really neat. That's, that was super awesome. You don't, you don't see that often. He just, he just comes out of nowhere, he just dives and grabs it. Fucks it up and then he sits there. All smug, and then he flies away. I get my phone out and everything. He's on the other side of the street, and he's, he goes away. He's like, no, no, no. I eat alone. He was like Batman. Man doesn't eat alone. Does, no, you mean like Mandalorians. Like Mandalorians. That, that you're unironically you right. You need to eat alone. Yeah. Like, it's like one of the coolest yeah, but, things about him. Yeah, that's They're really cool. cool, how they eat alone. Mm -hmm. Like all the people who like the Mandalorian, they also all, they all eat alone, too. <laughs> I love how that's probably a deal-breaker for so many people. Like, yeah, I'll be what, a Mandalorian. It's Mandalorian? like, you gotta eat alone every time. You're like, uh... uh that's stupid. But they haven't, you, <laughs> you don't tell them about the reason why. It's because, well, because no one can see your face. It's like, what, you calling me ugly? He's like, no, 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 no. No one can see anyone's faces. That's one of those things. <laughs> you have to wear a helmet on at all times. That's one of those things where they'll be like, "Yeah, I'm totally not going to take it off." And then you know, a few hours later, they're like, nah, "I'm." Taking everyone it off. does. I'm taking it off. You know, yeah, everyone's like, <laughs> everyone's really on, hardcore now. about it. You know, for the first week or so, but then it's like, we can take these off, right? And everyone's like, "Well, I mean, we're not supposed to, but we all do." Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like you think at some point like, they would develop some kind of pouch or straw. Yeah, yeah, it's like reporting your cash tips to the IRS. It's like, I mean, you know, there's the rules, and then there's what people do. So you know, if someone was <laughs> like a um, the dark saber and chopped the top of it off. It didn't hit your head; it just chopped open the helmet. Chopped the top of it off. Would you then be? Does that count as wearing the helmet still, or no? Oh, like if you got um, like in Kill Bill, just a little off the top. Yeah, but you're not dead. <laughs> like you survive it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. You'd probably be like, oh, thank God, a fucking breeze in here now. Someone <laughs> opened like, up the sunroof. <laughs> you, like, press on it, and you're like, there's no blood. You just, your hairs come out, you're like, oh, okay, that's, thank God. And then, oh, right, you know, well. the armor is like, you have betrayed the way. And you're like, what? No, I, I got I got chopped. I did, that wasn't me. That, that was that. She's like, betrayed the way. You have to go to the swamp or whatever. You'll oh, have I'm so happy you survived. Now get the fuck out of here. Like, oh. seen the Wouldn't top you abuse of your the fuck out of that rule? Like, standing next to the pool with your helmet off and then you jump in put it on jump out take it off jump in put it you know like <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a mandalorian now i am <laughs> not a mandalorian <laughs> now i am and she's like, like, stop doing that it's not technically <laughs> against the rules but it's annoying oh, wow. you're damaging the spirit of this that simpsons reference early america australia america australia oh, yeah. <laughs> america australia america australia no oh. oh. <laughs> we don't tolerate that kind of crap in america sir <laughs> Uh, I will also say uh, it looks like. Have you guys, um, you guys gone to see 
um, the, I mean, surely you have, no. I, I ask just as a courtesy because everyone's talking about, it. everyone is talking about it, but I'm sure you guys have all, all gone to see Elemental, I right? I figured you were going to see Elemental. I, uh, oh. I just thought that uh, yes. apparently it had the lowest opening day for any Pixar film ever. Oof. Um, yes, Oof I, I was, I was reading an article that said based on what, you know, what, what comes true about the projections, either it will be the worst performing Pixar movie ever, or it will be beaten out by Toy Story, not adjusting for inflation. Not adjusting. So, um, um, not looking great for Elemental. Ouchies. Uh, which is weird, because I, I, I saw the, um, it was before the, um, before, what, what was the movie? Guardians of the Galaxy. They had an, ele, uh, an ele, <laughs> Elemental, Elemental ad. The hell of them. That. And I was like, wow, this is a movie I'll never see. Um, so <laughs> we'll, I still haven't um, seen the trailer. Yeah. What is what was the trailer, Rags? Describe it. It to just me. looks okay. So imagine something that is both not generic but extremely generic at the mm. same time. That's a good way that's, to describe it. That's a really that's, good way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. It's yeah. a film that is visually very unique, uh, but at the same time, it just um, looks like a film that you've seen you, before. I don't agree with that. Seen... It looks very generic. Uh, it looks like every fight. Illumination fight, fight, uh, movie really? that's come fight, out. Fight, fight, yeah. fight, fight, fight. <laughs> no, Frangie, not, you be I'm fire. Not, Colin, I'm, you be water. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> not the the over I don't care enough about that. Me and Rance will be ground in air. Oh, I'll be, I'll be ground. I like ground. I've always, I've always had a thing for ground. I, I mean, really like earth, the earth that. elements. That's, that's fine. Like, we, I don't, I don't care enough about that film to be like. You don't care about elemental. Did you use element? Whoa! Wow. Adamantly argue this position. Wow, elemental I, I was, was my favorite say, game of the year, or whatever it is. So I'm offended. You, you guys seen life of? <laughs> have you guys seen life of Brian? When Brian's at the window, and the whole crowd all says in unison, "Yes, we're all individuals." I'm that's what that's what the trailer was. That it, that's what it felt like to me. <laughs> 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 we need to re we need to watch the we need to watch Life of Brian. I just need to I need to cleanse my my. Oh, I watch that brain. all day, every day. That movie's awesome. Um, do we have a, any strong opinions on whether in here on whether um, the Holy Grail or Life of Brian is better? Do we have strong any? opinions? Uh... So I don't have a strong opinion. Not, not I strong think, opinion, no. I really think good. Life of Brian is better, but I don't know. It's tough. I, I think we need to rewatch that. Nostalgia. I do adore the Holy Grail. Though. Yeah, yeah, I adore them yeah. both. It's a tough. It, it's really tough. It's really tough. But um, yeah. Uh, well, well, our think, chat, chat's having a back and forth on it too. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe we should make a poll. And you can also, a, I don't know why. I guess now the YouTube chat. When you throw it into the into OBS, it has that little thing in the bottom right that makes little faces and hearts. And I stuff. told, you, yeah, it does. That's uh. You know what, Mahler? That's right. that. That's you know what the so best one of some of us should have brought that up earlier. The best part about thing. that is it it covers up messages. So the, the thing on the bottom right, when the message is long enough, it covers up part of the message. It's really ingenious uh, development. Well, do you do you not remember when I went into conniptions the first time I noticed it? It was on a stream. Was it? The metal stream? I forget whose stream it was on. It was a YouTube stream. I think it was ours. I don't think I've seen this on, on OBS before. I mentioned... That's why I'm highlighting it. Because I've specific... Mm. Oh, on OBS? Well, it, it was on... I noticed it on YouTube. So well, what I... I'm suggesting is that I, I think this is the first EFAP that has this on it. Yeah, they, oh, I think okay. they, they did some update or whatever, and now it's on there as well. Oh, look at it. That little fucking bastard down there. Yeah, and you, yeah. Can't, you can't even spam funny I mean, emotes. It's like a set set list of five emotes. You can't even do like the... I don't remind it that exactly. much. Everyone thought I was crazy, but look who's crazy now. Wait, what are you talking about? Well, wait, that, okay, that feature, to... I know that feature's been there forever, but this is the first time I've seen it come through the OBS into the actual EFAP chat. I've yeah, never seen if that you're, before. Why, if you're not watching the stream, click there and then look at the, look at the chat. It's not that bad. It's, it's like, it's fine. You know, it's oh, just like heart thing. It's oh. just it's just worse. That's the thing. It's, it's just it the doesn't thing add that you anything. Be able to turn it, it adds takes, nothing. It takes a little bit away. So, yeah, I get you. I, I follow. The it's, chat like is slow moving, I find. it's like motion that my eye wants to like like notice. You know. It's well, here's a question: Are we just looking for things to talk about that aren't the Flash? Is that what's happening right now? 
Wait, we're talking about the flash? Um, I can come up with... I can come up with more things. (laughs) Well, one of the things we could genuinely talk about is all the different things we've been watching lately, just by chance. Uh, By chance. We had a little... By pure chance, we watched some Batman movies. By pure chance. Yeah, I was going to say that it started... Where did our journey begin? Because we had a little horror movie set, didn't we? Yes, our journey began with... Oh... What, 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 where did our journey begin? Because I know Invasion of the Body Snatchers is one of the earlier ones, but I don't think that was the start, was it? Uh, it we watched the, the thing, thing first. It? We watched the it thing was... first. I could have yeah. sworn the no, thing wasn't, wasn't the first. No, it wasn't the thing first. The thing, we watched the thing because I think I had said, I really want to watch the thing now, and we did. <laughs> yeah, so um, what, what was before but the there, thing? A movie prompted that. What was it? Uh... Gosh darn. What was that film? Oh, oh, I got it. Oh, what, I remember what, what is it is. It? Do you want a clue? Yeah. Or do, you want, do you want to try and guess what you just want to do? Give me a clue. Give me a clue. Um, hmm. How do I give it? Oof, that's a, it, it I, I referred to it as the only one that would probably make it into an EFAP movies if we had recorded any of them. Oh, hmm. That Damn. should help, but... Um... <sighs> Oh hey, uh, I think I saw in the chat somebody mentioned that the link to my channel is broken. Oh, oh. No, it's ah, a classic YouTube. Why? Batman 1980, ah, it Batman? wasn't mine this time. I call this a success for me today. Hang on, I'll <laughs> fix it. It was rags. It was the the Alien movie. Do you remember? Oh it is God, yeah. Oh I totally fuck, about you're right. Dark film. Skies. That's yeah, the one. We, I oh, forgot about Dark that Skies. Movie. Sound familiar. I forgot you're about right. it there. Like I really, did too. Now it's now it's all coming back to me. All of yeah. the, its disappointment flooding into my veins. Yeah, that film was lame. It, it was, was really lame. lame. It's it's one of those movies where the whole time when you're watching it, all your brain can think about is how they could have done everything everything better. Yes, um, the better uh, the better version yeah. of the film, but it wasn't. So yes. we watched that. We were all very much not happy with it. We thought it could have been way better. There's a couple of things we liked in it. Uh, like I think literally a couple, yeah. Yeah. J.K. Simmons was really and cool in it. J.K. Simmons, Simmons, Simmons was great guy. in it. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was yeah, pretty good. The, yeah, I liked brief, it. His scene brief was time. great. <laughs> the uh, day yeah. that they had him, they did not waste. He was the best part of it. <laughs> they didn't have him for a day. It was an hour. An, they had him at an af- they had him for an afternoon in his actual apartment. <laughs> <laughs> That's then great. so they had to they retroactively worked the uh, the the alien kidnappings into the plot so that his apartment made sense. <laughs> uh, so then it was the thing after that. Then I believe. Yes, the thing. Yes, yeah. the um, thing was after know, that because that put us in a bit of a horror kind of vibe. But for those for those who don't know, the thing is a movie that's um, it's all right. It's okay, it's like a. It's all right. You might have heard of it. Yeah, it's pretty. It's okay. Pretty yeah, pretty. Yeah. Pretty good. Whatever. Timeless horror classic. Yeah, upon you know, rewatching it, you know, we were like, "Oh man, one of the best movies, movies ever made." You know. Great. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. one of those I get. thoughts. But you know, it's only you movie. know, we only entertain that for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then and then was Invasion after that Body Snatchers. Yeah, we yeah. saw yeah. that afterward. Yeah. Then which, we saw Invasion um, of the Body Snatchers. Was neat to is... see because I hadn't actually seen it at all. I don't think any of the three of us had. Uh, I had not. That's fun. It's cool to see the context for a lot of memes that have come out of it, or at least references, and uh, it was pretty solid. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a remake of it that's not cringe. There was a remake of it that we then watched, uh, me and Rags did. Well, and, it was, watched, and it was I, uh... cringe. And it was cringe. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was cringe. That, very that one's called Invasion. The Invasion. Oh, no. No, I think it's just called Invasion, isn't it? Oh, really? Oh, wow. It's, it could uh, be The Invasion. Right. I don't fucking remember. But the point is that it was very, very either. not good. Um, um, yeah, it kind of, it, it stank pretty bad. It was mm-hmm. pretty awful. Same premise. What was it, like 2005-ish? Something like that. 2007, Something maybe? like that. The point is, it was really bad. Don't watch it. It sucks. Mm-hmm. And then we watched The Descent after that, right? And that was that was a really cool movie. The descent, descent brilliant. was uh, it was yeah. quite the quality whiplash. That's what super we call impressed it. with that film. Big old recommendation for that, especially horror fans. Yes, and go in knowing nothing. It's all for the goodness of the experience. Yes. Um, also, around the same time uh, as well. That's a mid two thousands movie, right? Mm-hmm. Two thousand three, five, um, something like that. I want to say five for that one. Not one hundred percent sure. Right. Um, 
Yeah, same maker as Dog Soldiers, um, who the director of both films, Drinker, interviewed on his channel. So you can check that out if you Ooh. want to as well. Oh, hey, Tess, oh. But What's first, his name, Neil Marshall, I think. Neil Marshall. But you, you, should, you should definitely check out the movie. It's a surprise as well, because it's uh, quite low budget, so it's neat to see what they did with what they had. It's definitely one of those impressive movies for that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Um and i think that's it right oh well other than nope. um we saw we saw one more mahler at well, least technically one more. two more at least well it's it's true at least one more yes um, no at least two more it can't be at least one more at least two more is at least was it, it, yeah it's at least one why are you saying at it's least not one, at least though. one it's at least two <laughs> It's at least well, two. At least two is at least one, but one yeah. more than at least one. Yeah. But it is at least one. Yeah. What? It can't be one. It How has to it, be at no, least two. No, it can't be at least one. It's at oh, least two. He watched least, two movies. Yeah, it's at least, it's two, at least two, two more. He well, saw two movies, so it has to be at a, least two. It can't be at least one because one is lower than two. It doesn't make any there's, sense. There's, there's at least one, which could, which two. No, there's no, not. You, just, <laughs> you, know? you screwed up. That's all that happened. At least, at least one of those up. movies. That's all that happened. One. It's at least two, and we can mention them now, I suppose. Yeah. It makes I sense. I suppose we could. Yeah, well, because we they could. are the most relevant to our uh, discussion today. <laughs> yes. Yes, they As are. As you can see, the theme is not talking about the Flash. I do like the idea <laughs> this, like, make sure before you see the Flash, you watch the thing of the descent. <laughs> like this. <laughs> it's very important. <laughs> they will come up. Um... So yeah, there's there's, there's 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 a character in this movie called uh, uh, Batman. And he's played by Ben Affleck. There's also another character in this movie called Batman, and he's played by George Clooney. There's another character in this movie called <laughs> Batman, and he's played by Adam West. There's another character in this film called Batman, and he's played by oh, wait, Michael Keaton. Are we Keaton. talking about? Oh wait, wait, are we talking about um we we missed we you're not talking about oh no you missed one Mahler unironically you missed one of our movies what are you I I am talking about the Batman ones first oh we're talking about then we're gonna go back to how the do you one cut that... me off there instead of cutting free off saying that it was relevant to this film <laughs> like what what took you so long I thought long? we were go I thought we were going in order <laughs> what do you mean in order the one that you missed the movie that we watched that you haven't mentioned yet. I haven't mentioned two yet, <laughs> so what do you mean? You haven't mentioned three yet, Mahler. Well, well I, like I just said, why are you cutting me off now and you didn't cut off anybody earlier when we were introducing that it's to, connected to The Flash? Because we were talking about the movies that we've seen. No, the answer is you're not. You're not. What are we talking well, about? No, but, no, there, yeah, there but, is but, a reason. No, the Maul, reason... Maul's, point, Maul's point still stands. I said, oh, the two movies we're about to talk about are relevant to this one. You should have stopped me then. Yeah. No, because we can still talk about the ones chronologically, and then also talk about those movies. So why are you cutting me off? Except you, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. well, no, this makes perfect sense. If you want to talk about the Batman movies away. first, that's fine. No, run that's away. fine. If you want to talk, no, we're on a clock, so to you want to yeah, just uh, there you go. All right, good stuff. I just didn't know if you forgot about because we were so, talking about the movies chronologically. We and if discovered you continue, a crime had taken place, and that is that Rags hadn't seen either Batman '89 or Batman Returns. You say then, as if chronologically, that was the next thing that we did when it wasn't. No, I didn't imply that at all. I just said that that's in the past, which it was. All the things that we did were in the past. Thank you. So why are you disagreeing? I'm you not disagreeing. Doing a fantastic job not making me talk about the Flash. He keeps trying to delay go, go me ahead. from talking about the Flash. I know what he's up to. It's not going to work. No. I'm going to get there yeah, eventually. The problem, the problem no, that Rags will... is having now is that he's <laughs> delaying us from talking about the Batman movies. Yeah, no, because there's another movie that we watched that you have seemingly skipped over in order to talk about Batman movies. Wait, I thought you said that you were okay with talking about that after the Batman movies. Make your mind up. I'm okay oh with all God. sorts of things. So then you don't shut the okay fuck with all up, things, for so. fuck's no. sake. <laughs> you were doing a disservice to one of the films that we watched, of which Listen, we have mixed opinions time, about. Listen, time is not linear. Time it's is a an spaghetti illusion. strand that pivots no, whenever I, you... 
Mahler, so, I am the sauce of the spaghetti that is this podcast. You, I am, pra- I am I ragu. You have now ragu. altered a part in the history of this, which has altered everything. Nothing is now coherent, and you're going to have to accept that. That's so. because you went out of order. You screwed. I want to talk timeline. about. I want to talk about the Batman movies. What's going on? We should just brute force it for you. Ready? Let's just yeah. go. Fine, no matter go what Rag says, go. we'll just go keep with, talking about it. Go with it. my blessing. So talk about Batman that. eighty nine was watched, which is a real neat film. It's one that you. Should check out if you're a Batman fan, but you've probably seen it if you are a Batman fan. It's uh, the classic to an extent. It changed comic book movies forever. It gave a lot of uh, credence, respect, and oomph to them in a time where they were, you know, not having as much of that sort of thing. Batman went dark and uh, I don't even know grounded. what other superhero movies came out around Superman. that time. Be Superman. Well, yeah. Superman came out yeah. a decade before. Yeah. Okay, but uh, those two, you know, they 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 they're just considered touchstones of of development over time. You know, every Blade, X Men, Raimi movies, like the, there's all these different eras where uh, changes were made and influences developed. But Batman '89 is certainly of its time. It's a, it's a it's a real unique fucking superhero movie. It's real fun to watch too. One of the things that strikes you the that second was... you watch it was Gotham's look. It was like yeah, Gotham mm-hmm. looks great. It's it's really cool to uh to see these films that give a real sense of tangibility to these places, even though they are very uh unique settings, like yeah. very very unique settings that you don't often see, uh, especially nowadays with superhero films having much more uh grounded, but at the same time a further and further move towards not practical sets, big elaborate practical sets mm. that just give the city a whole bunch of texture. It's got a great vibe. And Jack Nicholson as the Joker is another. Yeah. Just uh, it's one of those times I was mentioning to Fringy. When is the last time we had a casting that was like, oh, that person's perfect for that role, and then they were perfect as that role? Like, because I, I, I imagine some people in chat can be like, Henry Cavill as Superman. It's like, did he ever get to really? Did he be ever get Superman? the opportunity to be perfect in that role? You know, he yeah. could have been, but like, it's it's not his fault either. But like, no. yeah, and they never <laughs> yeah. got the opportunity to. Whereas Jack Nicholson got the opportunity yeah, to essentially, yeah, right at the gate. J.K. Simmons is J. Jonah Jameson. That's probably true, actually. I don't see why anybody would thought it'd be a bad casting. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Jeremy Irons is Alfred. That's that's fair. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Willem Dafoe. Uh, Green Willem Dafoe's Green Goblet is pretty fucking. So dull. really, there's actually many, 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 many castings that you could point to where it's like, hey, great job, guys. What's like, interesting, I suppose, is that um. They're not like. What about like major roles as opposed to villain or or antagonist or just sort of s- supporting? Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I I I don't know how many people would have thought maybe fifty fifty or didn't know if it was going to definitely work for sure because he is kind of himself. But uh, I don't know. It's just like that is Tony Stark at this point. Um, John Reese davies is Gimli. I don't know else. if people felt that way. I don't know. <laughs> Someone <laughs> mentioned Heath Ledger's Joker. It's like, I, I don't know about you, but I, when I was hearing about that shit, people were complaining. People were like, no, 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 we don't want that guy. He's not going to be able to do Joker. That's what I mean about, like, that's a that's a different kind of thing. And Jackman is Wolverine. People fucking shat all over that when that was cast as well. People Gosh, did the same thing. Cool. For uh, Michael Keaton as Batman when he was cast, they did. Nobody, Miss, Miss Mom nobody liked that. As Batman is unacceptable, but yeah, that's not quite the category I was looking for. Was like ones that turned out to own the role, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, Batman eighty nine. It was real neat. Um, to not it was very neat. You know, I'm not actually trying to do, you know avoid the Flash forever, but I was going to say. So then we watched uh, Good Old Batman Returns, and um, well, what's to say about that? It's uh. That's me. I really, really, really quite like Batman Returns. I think that it's kind of a wonderful movie. Um, it's got, it's just oozing with character, and it's got such a memorable footprint to it, and it stands out, and it's just so flavorful as a movie. The people in Gotham and Gotham itself, the practicality of everything that we're seeing, um, it's just they don't they just don't make them like that anymore. Um, it's just this wonderful experience of watching a Batman movie that's so um, I don't know. There's just I don't feel like there's anything more or less that could be Batman 
Returns, it's just such a unique feeling movie. Even though it has Tim Burton's very distinct style all over it, it still doesn't feel like anything else he's made. It, it, not even you know the other the other Batman movie we were discussing. It's it's just um, it's sort of kind of a revelrous in what it is. Um, I, I really really liked it, and it's and it's really strong when you talk about a lot of the you know thematics that it has and. It's it you know there's some depth to it. It's not just uh it's not just like junk food where it might taste really good in the moment, but you don't remember it. There's a lot that you can walk away from that movie uh, kind of thinking about, and I'm really really glad that I saw it. It's got a lot of strengths. I think uh, just aesthetically, uh, Batman in like the Christmas setting. I don't know why, but I think it works really really well. Um, because contrast. getting a that's because mm. getting a good Batman movie is like a Christmas miracle. That's why. <laughs> wow, we have got so wow. many to choose from. I don't know why you would say that. Um, I okay. think it's kind of amazing how like everyone's performances in that film are top notch. Even performances like from Christopher Walken that uh, he's playing a normal reaction person to a lot of scenarios, but uh, so many great lines and expressions from him throughout the whole film, and. He's just playing evil businessman, basically, in a world filled with insane animal-themed creatures running around trying to... Clown-themed gangs. Yeah. All sorts of madness, yeah. I mean, yeah, the film opens with, like, they celebrate their little Christmas thing, and then a giant present arrives, and a bunch of clowns erupt from it and destroy the city. Like, okay. <laughs> like, you know, as they, okay. as they do. As they as do. As they do. Um... And yeah, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman. might not have Catwoman even been a part of the is... movie. They were just filming in, in a town, and that's just what happened. So they worked it into the plot. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman is fantabulous, and Catwoman. she will likely uh, never be beaten. Uh, well, it'd be, well, it'd be very, 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 very difficult to the performance. Well, Hall Halle Berry. I mean, <laughs> if we're going to be honest here, she, she was. I think we know. should give her another chance. I put think her in, we put her in the portal credit scene. Where it's due. Why didn't right. she turn up in the multiversal thing in this part in this movie? What's that about? Why'd they snub her? Yeah, I mean it makes sense that she would why not? Why don't she like, jumped onto Zod and, and scrammed yeah. him? She was like, Wah. that would have been great. And she hissed at him. She went <laughs> Well, and then no, she, yeah, we, we just can't have fun, can we? We just can't have fun. And then her hair fun. stands on end to make her appear larger. And as so cats uh, do. You know, having seen those films, uh, Rags got to appreciate how good The Flash is because of uh, Eaton, obviously, transferring I did. over. I, I really did. We saw The Flash, we, then we saw the Batman movies, and I really like the Batman movies. One of them in particular I really liked. Uh, it did not, somehow, it did not retroactively give me a better appreciation for um, The Flash. In fact, it, it made me, in fact, it, as a, it made me sad, uh, so... Well, that's uh, not the natural feeling yeah. watching this film. So, yeah, now Mahler can talk about the one movie that he didn't mention before. After you your desperation, you can take the reins on that one. You don't remember it, do you? If I did, I wouldn't let you know, just to spite you. Uh, that's true, that's true. We watched a very interesting movie that I think we walked away from with mixed feelings we watched a movie from quite recently from 2020 i believe called the empty man da, 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 da. what oh. what is there to say about the empty man it's uh i wanted to like it i think i i'm, I, I'm I close to liking really, it like yeah <laughs> yeah it's teetering on the edge of me liking it but it's a little bit too disjointed uh, I think the story kind of wavers and wanders in a few parts, but there's things that I legitimately do like about it, and it seems to be based on a on, on a series of comics that are that actually that looked really quite cool. Um, I I don't know if I recommend it or not. It's it's, uh, it's this, a really odd one. If it just had a I couple like of tweaks, I'd probably end up loving it. It's it's one of those. Good God, the the subtlety is lost in most of horror these days. But that film was. Uh, was really, you know, taking it nice and slow and creeping you out with lots of really subtle things, which is, I always like that in horror, because I'm like, yeah, it reward was me for paying attention. It, it was, um, it was paced unconventionally. I won't say badly, but unconventionally, I think. Um, some of the horror, like, 
Mahler said, is a bit subtle and it kind of trusts you and it doesn't just like, blue, I just surprised you and that's scary. Um, I think, I think if you're looking for, I, it's, I think it's worth a watch. I, think, of, I think it think is so. too. Uh, yeah. What was funny is that we had some ideas on what the whole film was about after everything we'd seen. We were like, you know what, might be worth checking out a, you know, like an explained <laughs> video just to, to get an idea, get a grasp on what we'd missed. And I was like, oh, Rags, it's a highly, I say highly rated, I guess I mean highly viewed and good ratioed video. And it's 30 minutes long, and it apparently explains the whole movie. It's like, okay, sure, we'll check that oh, out. That, that'll be helpful. Um, of course, naturally, we skipped the first 27 minutes of the video, because that was summary of the film, with literally no <laughs> oh, analysis. But Mahler, was... isn't that <laughs> what you do? Oh, God, I was being driven nuts by it. We watched, like, the first 10 minutes, and we were like, when? Like, all of this is just things that happen. He hasn't said anything yet. Not... Yeah, this isn't explanation. This is description of the plot. This is just you're describing what's happening. And then just the mm. final like three minutes is he only basically says what the film says happens more explicitly. Like there was no real like digging into it or trying to connect like symbols or maybe what things meant and how things came together. So I was just like, I'm better off fucking looking at the comment section, which I was. I started going through the comments on that video and loads of people giving theories and how things connected and different you know, uh, points of view on how different things were supposed to have rolled out and what they represent. There's a Lovecraft angle in that film. There's um, yep. obviously references to other horror movies and stuff. And I was just like, hmm. And, and that added to it. I just don't know that uh, I don't know that I got quite the ex that experience from watching it. But yeah, I, I, it's like close to a recommendation. I think for horror fans, probably a, I a recommendation. I w I'd probably say so. If you're into horror stuff, um, I, I would recommend it. But at least we walked away from it thinking and i think there's stuff that you absolutely can pull away from it mm -hmm. um but maybe because i i don't know any movie that's really like it it's um it might be worth a watch uh based on that alone it's um uh, and it's yeah, a little self-aware self too it's it knows it knows it's a horror movie and it knows that uh, other horror movies exist so it tries to surprise you with a couple things and to give you an example there's like a whole group of hooded people in darkness that our protagonist sees he's spying on them in the darkness and they all stop at one point and he's like, uh oh, and, you know, but he's he's pretty shrouded, so it should be fine. And then they all collectively look at him the same time, and then he takes a step back, and they all take one step forward. And then he just goes, yeah, no, and just sprints away. <laughs> like, and it was just fun. I I I quite kind of I I really kind of like the protagonist of this movie. Yeah, I like um, him. Yeah, so he's a yeah. So yeah, there you go. The the empty man. Mm. Where I take check in check it out. Fuck it. Take a look. Check it out. It's pretty interesting. I, I, I definitely don't I don't regret watching it, that's for sure. Um I think, but, uh, I think yeah. we're out of distractions but, now. No, uh how's uh how's how were you, Mahler? Um, <laughs> <laughs> apprehensive, anxious. Oh. Well, why why ever would that be? Well, there's a movie hey, that we've... played that Gollum game? <laughs> no, oh, Gollum, that just sounds bad. Oh, they made a Gollum oh, game. There's only one oh, place left balls. to procrastinate. Like... Do you want to go down the Gollum road? You're like, no. <laughs> Gollum I can imagine after Rings of Power comes out, everyone's like, fuck it, we'll take a Gollum game at this point. Anything to get away from that. <laughs> They're like, oh, God, no. <sighs> just tell me why a ship floats again. I want Amazon to do down, yeah. a Gollum TV show based on the game. That'd be more enjoyable than Rings of Am Power. Amazon's Gollum. Amazon's, Amazon's Rings Gollum. of Gollum. Amazon's Gollum of Power. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's do well, it. So, a, a movie rolled out of the cinema recently. Or into <laughs> no, it, I it guess. No, it came <laughs> sprinting out at lightning fast speeds, confident. A film that, uh, Powerful. less of a movie-going experience, more of a cultural event that's going to represent, hopefully, the fucking end of this era, because I am so yeah. done. Uh, I mean, it looks like it will. Uh, it doesn't seem like any people are, uh, enjoying it. Mm -hmm. We've got, like, several culminations it of does. things happening at once. The key jangling, uh, sort of way to distract people from bad storytelling is possibly at its height in this film. The obsession with multiversal storytelling in order to get access to whatever Ugh. you want. The end of the DC, but also the beginning of DC. Like, this weird, this is like a, a retarded Phoenix movie. It's, it's getting, <laughs> I don't know how else to 
and you know you blend all of that up and also then you have two Ezra Millers leading and you're like why <laughs> <laughs> why <laughs> like you're just like that's I don't exactly know. what I wanted <laughs> they go down my wrist and then no. meanwhile, you also have, like, Warner Brothers really desperately trying to convince everybody that this is the best superhero film that DC's made in years, <laughs> like, to a degree that was almost baffling. That was they didn't funny. say shit about Shazam. No. Shazam <laughs> was sent out to die. But this one, it's so good, guys. It's hey, such a great movie. Shazam like, died so that the Flash could live. Could also die. <laughs> very unceremoniously. <laughs> okay. Like, as soon as it came out. Right Shazam's, out the like, game. bleeded out on the floor. And he's like, the Flash, you, me... you go on. You go on. You live for both of us. And then a fucking bullet just goes straight through Flash's heart. Like, oh, well, I guess you could die, too. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Batgirl, okay. too, really right? That also died. Oh, oh yeah, because Batgirl got cancelled. And now and we've still got Aquaman and our Blue Beetle coming out. Ooh, yeah. So, I don't even know where to begin. Do we want to talk a bit about, more so on the meta of this thing? Like, Oh, the DCEU, wow. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, wow. Ten years on. This is ten years since Man of Steel. And look at where... What, what a... What a what That's a what tale! Well, yeah, oh, just what a tale that was. The DCEU was like this experiment. What a mess! Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a disaster. What, what a, a DC disaster. disaster. Fuck, that didn't work. That's close enough. We'll we'll buy it. <laughs> uh, some, no, it's some not. Isn't. There's some no, good stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some good scenes. Maybe some good performances mm -hmm. in there. I. I, I just, it is unbelievable that this is the one that like caps it all off, or at least it's supposed to. It's just like, did you want to be more embarrassing? It's, like, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a, it's, 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 it's a, it's a kind of a fitting end, isn't it? Because of how unceremonious it is. Mm -hmm. Just like, yeah. just collapsing on its face. And that's it. <laughs> it's, it's over. It's a it's bit done. of a, it's it a just bit sort of a gives whopper. up. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and of course, the, this movie's been, it was set in production, or announced, rather, uh, this is something oh, it was that was... announced, like, years and years and years ago. It's been in, like, development hell for ages. I well, think, like, four or five different directors have been attached to it at one point or another. Yeah, I think yeah. what Ryan Kinnell said on uh, FNT was that it was announced before BVS came out in theaters, this film. Oh. The earliest iteration mm. of it. So that's how fucking old this thing was in terms of its total journey to the cinema. Um, yep. The original Inception was going to be a buddy cop type thing with, uh, or just, just I don't even know, like buddy superhero <laughs> format with uh, Flash and Cyborg. That was supposed to be one of the earliest ideas that this thing was going to be. Um, mm. And we saw a glimpse of that in the uh, Infinite Tisms, if you remember, the Flash cameos in that. And he's uh, on his little transceiver and he's like, Victor, something went wrong. I think that was supposed to be intended as like a you know, it would reflect the future movie, but that got changed, everything got changed, all the different crazy things that have happened with DC's leadership and the many creators involved with them. Everything's been moved around, and we finally ended up with this. And it's not doing well, as has been joked about already, mm -hmm. uh, both critically, commercially, all of the... Well, these... mostly the projections <laughs> like keep the going down and down and down. Yeah, because I... Uh, well. uh, I said, yeah. like, I think on FNT that it's it's um it's doing about as well as uh, Ant Man, and they were like, no, 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 it's behind Ant Man. It's like mm -hmm. uh -oh. it's behind Ant Man, yeah, it is, and uh, like two hundred million dollar budget and probably <laughs> a comparable marketing budget. So, yeah, we, yeah, this thing was a nightmare in terms of a money sink. I'm sure, considering how many different mm. versions existed, have ex will do exist. A lot of people have been pointing out all these different leaks that have happened over the years that. You know, initially you might call lies, but you need to look into it and be like, no, 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 it's just scenes that have been cut. There's loads that have been cut from this film. Several versions of this film probably could exist if they cut them all fully. Uh, have, all different. We should release a four hour cut. That will make it better, right? That's something the director said. Another thing the director said is the, the CG in the uh, multiversal portions uh, is supposed to look like shit. It was supposed oh, to be like that. that because of the thing. <laughs> Uh, I think I saw a tweet that was quite funny where it was like, um, you know, how, uh, you know, how is the Flash? I'm seeing a lot of people hate on it. Like, how is it actually? And someone linked that tweet and said, that's how good it is. Like, the evidence <laughs> alone of the director being like, it's supposed to look awful. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, uh -oh. Sometimes just don't say anything. Yeah. Sometimes not, sometimes being yeah. quiet is the correct move. Just not doing anything. 
Sometimes you just have to. Well, I have seen people who world enjoyed and... the movie being like, no, 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 that doesn't make sense. Because if you think about it, like they're stretching the timelines and you kind of. That's why everybody looks like gross skinned rubbery things. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, okay. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, you've heard all of that stuff. I guess it's about time we talk about the story. What is The Flash as a, as a story? It's a. Oh uh, boy. Bad. See you next week. Does it work while to do the thing where everybody gives a little blurb on it, or does everybody. I have a feeling we've all got the same, same blurb. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bad. Well, we might. Wow. Oh, jeez. I heard a noise. I don't know what it was. Yeah. That's all right. As long as you're alive, meme. Uh, We're good. Barely. So. Um, and we'll probably... This one's going to be a, a, diff a little different than the usual breakdowns in terms of just the pacing might be a little strange. We'll probably... You'll see a lot of focus on the Michael Keaton portions compared to the only two Ezra Miller portions. Let's just put it that way. And uh, some scenes, like, I don't have anything to say about in terms of positive or negative, so probably move past sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, I'm more than willing to start at his uh, the flash I've got, arriving. I've got my notes, so we can we can go through our notes. Uh, is that really my first note? Oh, I don't know. All right, fair enough. That's that's my, my okay. All right, well, carry on. <laughs> so I just I just re looked at my notes and I was like, my first note is no windshield on Bruce's bike, and I'm like, okay, well. My notes go oh, further back than me. that, but to be fair, my notes aren't really that early either. If anyone has anything to say before he arrives at the broken building, uh, you're welcome to uh, say whatever you want. Fifteen minutes um, of cringe. Moving on. Oh, Fifteen well, minutes I mean, of cringe. <laughs> you know, it's sort of a, setting the stage for the problems that happen when you have speeds to characters. He can run across the continental United States in like a yeah. minute. Mm -hmm. And it's never that fast ever again. <laughs> <laughs> what do you good, mean? No, it's, good. it's good you mentioned it there, because yes, this is going to come up a couple times. And mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to allow it to go with just, yeah, I mean, you know, that's you get that all the time with speedsters. Like, yep, and so we're going to mention it every time you use a speedster. Yeah. That's what you get if you're going to choose that. That's a problem that. you need to deal with when you do that. And it yep. felt like they introduced something of an attempt to deal with it, and then they didn't deal with it at all ever again. Uh, no, you know. only for that one scene, and then that was it. <laughs> So he 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 sprints over to Gotham because he's been called in, and uh, he arrives and there's a building that's falling apart with people screaming and vehicles falling into like pothole big big sinkholes I should say. Mm -hmm. Um, and the first thought I had was just like, well, I mean, he's gonna sort that out pretty quick. We've seen in the past yes. films he can move people very long distances very fast out of out of danger, and he can do it all within right. under like you know five seconds. Everyone very quickly. But instead, Very he's sort quick. of like standing around being like, what the hell? This is a huge mess. Bruce, why aren't you here? And I was already like, what the fuck? No, dude, go. There's people who this are screaming and there's things happening. Like, there's people yeah. in trouble. What are you doing? I hated his demeanor. Yeah. Like, right off the bat, he was so he called himself the janitor of the Justice like, League, too, which uh. annoyed me a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yes, which is weird because um, as my third note... Is the Flash power uh, the Flash uh, Flash's power set kind of makes him the perfect Justice League, quote unquote janitor, um, making sure all the civilians are safe and all that yeah. sort of thing. That if you have a speedy, speedy, fast guy, they, he would probably do a really, really good job at being able to respond super quickly to whenever people are in danger. I mean, he's arguably he's the most powerful one outside of Superman. Depending on how you yes, rate it, I would say so. Yeah, if if he was written uh, accurately, uh, properly, then yes, his power set would make him probably the second strongest after Superman. Well, he has to be right because later in the film, he's actually like fighting Kryptonians, oh, so like God. it's the same like kind of strength level, kind of as Wonder Woman, seemingly at least the way it's yeah, presented. Yeah, like the they're adjacent. Well, sometimes maybe, they just uh, also, attempt to avoid how much power he actually has with the speed that he has. You know? Yeah. 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 They don't yeah, want to do. address that shit. <laughs> it's because he's too powerful. But yeah, being like, oh, I'm the janitor, the implication I got was that, you know, I'm the lame one who cleans up after people once they've all done their cool whatever they want to do shit. I always have to come in and do some lame. And it's just like, no, you'd be first on scene most of the time. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah but they. <laughs> Aquaman's the one that they keep making fun of pretty consistently as well. well so I'm not sure. 
the thing the about the fact that also... um, we're supposed to imagine that some guys broke into that place to steal that thing, and Bruce is on it trying to sort it out. Alfred is aware, and like they don't tell Flash until the buildings explode. Like if you just told him the second you're aware, Flash gets there before Batman can put his shoes on. Yeah, and they, they also well, apparently Alfred tried to call Diana and uh, and Superman Diana. first. Diana. Yeah. Diana. I, yeah. He's German. But okay. But I thought she says that. But it's okay. Yeah. No. That's that's yeah. yeah. They, they did D try to call her. Veritas, that's right. Yeah. Dina. Dina Turn. <laughs> Dina Derner. Okay. What I was trying to say actually is Bring that you murdered him. <laughs> They, <laughs> they don't even consider did. him like as a first choice in these scenarios, even though he should be the first even choice, though... because that's just what he should you, do You'd best. say, morally speaking, he should always be alerted first. If he has... Yeah. Like, lives are at stake, for fuck's sake. Those people that have stolen that very sensitive material, he can just go, Bzz, and he's got it, and that's well, it. Thing, it's over. The thing with him is, lives are at stake, and he is, like, the one person for whom geography is not a problem in yeah. terms of getting to where he mm -hmm. needs to get to at any given time. Again... He runs across America in like a minute. Like, I, I, I don't. Wonder Woman can't go that fast. So I mean, this, this this scenario, this issue that this they're dealing with, is a bunch of dudes in a car that Batman's chasing, and then a building that's falling apart because an explosion went off in it. It's like, oh, the Flash can solve both of those issues instantly. Yep. So it's also uh, a little uh, odd to me that uh, the Justice League, it, you know, because this point it seems like they're a pretty well-oiled machine. Uh, they don't have some kind of alert system. They're still relying on cell phone calls. It's even worse than that, because he hangs mm -hmm. up on Bruce. That's my yeah, second Bruce. note. Why not always stay mm -hmm. on comms? They should always be on comms. Why would they? Yeah. Yeah, apparently he's always on comm with Alfred, but not Bruce. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, there's, only so um, much, there's only so much bat width that they have to work with. So either you can either mm -hmm. talk to Alfred, or you can talk to Batman. And in this universe... You know, it's fair enough. I've you know wanting to talk to Alfred a bunch. Alfred's pretty cool in this universe, uh, uh, but uh, that you you should you should take you should be more serious about this. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Also, um, did anybody notice the lack of left turn lanes whenever he'd start running? That did the not. first thing I did I not. He really just ran through middle of uh, between two lanes for. A great distance. Well, uh, uh, I mean, that's fair that's, enough. That's because of the pasta theory. He he changed the universe. Uh, <laughs> Not the pasta. Oh, no. <laughs> a lot In of things can get explained by turn that. Left on red. It's uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's also I just find weird that for him to turn up and see a building falling apart and then to be like, Bruce, why are you here? Oh. In terms of like, why why do you need? If Bruce was standing there right now. You would be the one to solve all of the shit. What's Batman gonna do with a building that's falling apart? Shoot his grapple. Yeah. I, I, I... Pull the building back the other way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah it comes across as like, really petty and strange, and you're just like, oh, I kind of wish the Flash were a bit more competent up to this point. Because I don't even know Wanting how to many save people because of you know yeah. the, the virtue. I'm I'm know, willing to of, accept you know? a little bit of him being like, oh, here we go again. Like, that kind of attitude. But ultimately, like, people are screaming and dying. Like, I, I would mm -hmm. prefer that he's like, I got you, it's okay, like, yeah, this, this, that, you know. And, uh, it's like, Bruce, how is it on your end? Have you managed to slow him down or anything? You know, just, just like, a mission? Instead of, like, huh, huh? And then, even, like, the babies thing is treated more as a joke in-universe than, uh, uh, you know. Babies in peril is pretty funny, but it is pretty funny. In universe, it should be. Baby yeah, in the little, microwave. Take a little bit serious. <laughs> Babies falling out of windows is is pretty. Yeah, funny. the they have the falling. Uh, they have the falling CGI babies. Of course, I guess they weren't gonna. I guess I don't blame them for making them CGI babies. They just really looked like they really looked like it. You know, um, something uh, yeah, struck the, me quick was they dropped Bruce's voice modulator, which made me sad. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's regular Ben Make Affleck voice, but with a bit of gravel. He's like, Barry, Honestly, you gotta do blah, blah, blah. You know what I also find? Really weird. Yeah. You know what I also find cringe? Barry just calling him Bruce while they're in action all the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they I shouldn't do that. I hate they it should, so much. They should probably be calling each other Batman and Flash. Yeah. And Batman should be like, what the fuck? I'm Batman. I'm not Bruce right now. You should know that, <laughs> you moron. 
If anything, you should call me Carl to distract people from the truth that I am Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> and then make them look for a guy called Carl, which would be easier for me. Um, so... He calls him Alfred. <laughs> Wait a minute. How many Alfreds are in this city? Is this supposed to be Alfred? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be Bruce. I mean, so, the, 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 but... uh, while Batman's explaining to him the plan, as in, I'm going to take out the bad guys who are in the truck with the thing that they stole from the building that they've detonated a thing in, you're going to make sure the building doesn't, you know, crash down and people are safe. By the time he ended saying that, the Flash could have ran and grabbed the material and disabled the cars and ran back. Yep. Yeah, Easily. if um, a car chase, I mean, a Flash is, a, a, a Flash character is going to trivialize bad guys getting away in a car. Yes. Like, oh, it'll yeah. be over before you no could problem. tell him to do it. It'd just be over. You just walk, you just run up to him, punch him in the face, slam the brakes on the car, and, and that's it. It's done. It's over. Because he's the Reds. Flash. He was low on calories. What, uh, <laughs> what do fair you enough. expect him to do? Well, I'd expect him to have a utility belt full of paydays if that's what he needed. <laughs> no, that is, that's ridiculous. So, if you, you know, need food, yeah. You know, even I, it's good, just, that's just good in general. You know, you know, have a snack. You know, sometimes you just want a snack. Yeah. Especially if your superpowers depend on it. Have well, sometimes. You're not you when you don't eat a Snickers. And is there any movie in the Snyderverse where the Flash is given some form of a nerf to prevent him from dominating thoroughly? Technically... Uh, the Flash. I just saw that one just now. Technically, the answer is no. But it's also yes, because there is one movie, but it's not in the Snyderverse, really. It would be Justice League, where he has a what? nerf. And it's, uh, it's just that he's very, very, you know, green and scared of the situation. And Batman right. has to convince him, you know, to gradually get in the groove and actually help. Because obviously, the Flash at full fucking strength is just, it's really hard to keep him under control. A lot of the time, you have to make him fight people who are just as fast as him. So mm -hmm. that, you know, you can have something of a balance, but... Yeah, um, this movie... Yeah, there's not a lot you can do against him. Like, if you tie him up, he's just gonna vibrate out of whatever you put him in. Uh, he's gonna run really fast. He's... I mean, now you can do, like, the lightning things. That's really useful. I mean, it's just, it's just hard to balance a character It really like is, yeah. Uh, and you're gonna do hard. a lot of work to try and figure it out. Um, yeah. so... I think the calories thing is kind of a good way to go, but this it's movie something. only really accounts for it once in the entire it's pretty quick yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah the only way they they only use it later for like a humor like a joke and then it's done with it served its purpose yeah when we the actor our... comes back around it's just like no that's that's done now well i mean i guess i say the se when it comes around again it's used for joke. it's used for a joke both times because it's supposed to be like well it isn't that funny that he's slow eating those burritos and getting eating all that stuff coming out of the building when there's babies flying around isn't that funny he's like i no, I I don't know how I feel about this. Um, it just if it's, I, I, if it's about uh, to be a problem, he should have known about it. And he, why isn't he prepared? They should, yep. I know you know a backpack filled with food. Isn't that like the thing to do? I mean, thank yeah, fuck there was a vending machine time. falling there. Otherwise, I guess all those babies would have died. I don't know. Random babies. Oh no. Um, That's bad. On that janitor line as well, he ends it with saying, you know, it's like I'm always I'm I'm willing to clean up the messes, but it's always bat messes that I'm cleaning up. I thought that was nah. a really bizarre thing to say. Like, this isn't Batman's mess. He's responding to it like you are. Do you mean Gotham are Batman's messes? Or are you, like, bitter at Batman because he's fucking up or something? Is that, that was, what you mean? Uh, no. I wasn't really sure what he but meant also, by it. I feel like Superman or Wonder Woman would cause a bit more of a mess. Well, we know they do. <laughs> We've seen their movies. Well, yeah, she blasts off the sides of bank buildings. <laughs> <laughs> and rains rebel down on the police below. She doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, I like nope. the idea that she's splattering heads on walls and the Flash is like, they were the bop. <laughs> well, <laughs> always cleaning up oh Wonder God. Woman's messes. Um, so something I didn't quite like was uh, you, oh. you, you hear it and you think about it and then you're like, wait a minute. Alfred is like, the East Wing is uh, going to collapse. And then the Flash is like, exactly no, mean. it's not. It's fine. I was like, it's if fine. if Alfred has the information to prove that it's about to collapse, he should be fucking shouting at Barry. Do yeah, something. Also, the East Wing is going like... to collapse. Do something right now. 
yeah, he also shouldn't be like, if my calculations are correct, if they, which they are all the time. It's like, no, you're just wasting time. Just tell them, get yeah, the yeah. fucking think people out of there. And it's it's so weird too because the the flash is like, uh, east wing is fine, which is good because I'm running on empty. I was like, you, we just died. <laughs> what yeah, do you mean you're running on empty? And it's like yeah, well, well, the, the bat. Yet. Well, I've, the bat mo the bat bike, the bat cycle. What is it called? What what is it called? The bat cycle or the bat bike or the bat? The mo bat. Yeah, help what, me out. what do we think? The bat. bat the bat bike. I'm, it's got to be bat bike or bat cycle, surely, right? Sure. The bat. Um, waiting for uh, ideas. Uh, to bat steal. rocket. The bat wing. Batmobile. The bat... No, Batmobile is bat... the main. No, no, the bat the bat pod. The bat pod. Room that's room what it's room. called. I'm pretty sure. Is Isn't it, it bat no, scooter? It's not, it's not really. No, like I'm pretty right. sure the Nolan movies call it the bat pod. The bat pod. I think it's the bat is cycle the... most of the time. It's called the bat pod. The the bice the the, the motorbike. I think is the bat so. pod. Yeah, I, I mean I don't make the rules. No. Uh, okay, I, I, it's fine. I'm not blaming you. I just it strikes me as odd. But okay, he's in the bat bike, the bat cycle, right? <laughs> I, mm -hmm. It gas mileage is not great. No. Look at all the things that this. Look at all the things that the bat bike bike cycle can do. It can it can shoot spike strips. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It can. It has a retractable, a, a semi useful bulletproof shield. Um, mm. it, it's really fast. It can turn. It's big. Um, you gotta. I mean, he's. You know, you get. You, you get ten minutes with it, and you're already starting to run on fumes there. Mm. So, it follows like that he's almost out of gas. I think it's yeah. weird as fuck. The the flash is like, uh, I'm I'm running low. When it's like you're in a city, just go into and find a sausage or whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's food everywhere. It's so weird. Oh, he was it's so weird because he was also running low already when he was getting the breakfast, and then he does his mad dash through all of America. You think there was someone he could have stolen low. a bit of food from? Especially yeah, when he's trying to save lives. But he's that. I mean, he doesn't have. He won't, we already he's know that he virtuous. Have a, <laughs> he, he will I mean, never we know steal he doesn't food. Have a, he doesn't have a problem with stealing clothes of old people. So we saw him steal true. food at parts of this movie too. So he's not if beyond steal, that. If you'll steal the clothes, literally, if you'll steal the clothes off of old old grandma and grandpa's back, <laughs> yeah. you'll steal a burrito from I a street so, yeah. vendor. Because wait, he does that later. I or is that the that. other fairy? He steals no, he he steals food for he steals the same guy's food twice. Or the same guy oh, gets his guy. food stolen. Oh, that's right, yeah. Well, at remember least, right before I, he goes to the court, right at the end, he steals food again. He's, he's that a food seems stealer. like a really it seems like a really jerkish thing to do. But let's put this in context. At least he didn't. He, at least he didn't walk by the food, the street vendor, and then cast a curse on him <laughs> to where he has to beat himself up for three weeks straight. I don't know what so, hero would do that. I don't know why you'd even. No, I, I, I agree. I don't know what hero would do that. That's a, a, a foul, vile thing to do. Mm -hmm. But I just, if just, just as an example, I just pulled it out of thin air. I think you should use examples that are from you know reality at least because that's so absurd that no one's ever going to buy that. Like why that? Why would I even happen? Uh, yeah, I don't would like anyone right. put I that should, in uh... a script? Oh yes, yeah, my I, hero I will just... randomly torture someone for three weeks. It's like what? Yeah, yeah. what? Especially if that person was like defending themselves or not, they didn't want to get their shit stolen. Yeah, I know. I just I, I know I was I was probably straw manning there because yeah, no one would ever yeah. actually write that. Yeah, I should pick realistic examples. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but his bulletproof shielding for his little his little bat cycle, um, it has a big hole in the middle. Yeah, it does. I um, you can't see yeah. otherwise. <laughs> yeah, but well, but you got a glass <laughs> screen there. This bulletproof <laughs> fucking moron. <laughs> Uh, I, don't if, I don't know. I don't know what that was. It's like, like you hold up a big like riot that. shield, but there's a big circle for where your face is. Well, like, well and, and Batman returns. At any point, though, why was there no conversation either on set, if it was a practical thing, or like in post production and editing of like, there's a giant hole here, though. The bullets <laughs> would just go through that. Yeah, why that seems, that it makes it it seems counterintuitive. Because we, we know enough to like have things pop up to block bullets. But we don't know enough to, like, cover the 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 only part that because the things on the sides, like that's not where your face is. Those are just, th th those aren't doing anything. If anything, they're they're hurting because they'll make shrapnel from the bullets spalling out. But but we don't, you know, it's like they knew but they didn't know. 
Well, it's, and also... it's weird because they were clearly aware of the you know of Batman and Batman Returns, where the Batmobile is very clearly shown to have bulletproof glass because there are two clowns with with uh, <laughs> with machine pistols on the hood shooting at Batman. But he's Batman's okay because obviously he has bulletproof glass because Batman would be an absolute drooling doorknob licking retard if he didn't put <laughs> bulletproof glass in between. Well, him as was and highlighted by chat too, it's particularly hilarious being the only part of Batman's entire body that's possible to shoot <laughs> is his mouth. It is so <laughs> true, yeah. <laughs> and he's he's the only part that's on blogs like he Batman sticks his head up like a diglet. Hey, here I am <laughs> This'll show them for trying to shoot my shoulders. <laughs> I've been well, shooting myself with tiny a... bullets for weeks to build up an immunity. A bulletproof glass in I'm gonna be Superman if I'm not mistaken. Almost certainly. This guy almost yeah. certainly. Um let's think about this here, even more, right? Because no. if, if the if he's got the uh, he's got the two metal plates and his face is in the middle. Um, if his if his enemy isn't um, that good at aiming, um, that actually helps them because if they see that their bullets are bouncing off the bulletproof plates, they're just like, oh, I adjust my aim here. Okay, still not. Oh, there's the face. And, uh... <laughs> I'll just shoot him where I'll just shoot him where his face is. Yeah, that'll yeah. get him. Genius. So, uh, the babies um, sequence then. Let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, so I guess the the starter here is the, the plan is instead of him waiting patiently with his super speed until the babies are down at ground level and he can grab them, he he like runs up the side of the building super fast and has to eat a bunch of burritos and stuff. And then all of the babies are in like comical danger we're talking like looney tunes level danger yeah. well, about it, to be set on fire to be fair, by this a, like, is like... in the final destination universe i'm pretty sure this movie oh oh that, see, that makes, sense. All makes sense yeah. Tony yeah. Talks yeah. Be here. Yeah. so for anybody who hasn't seen it as the babies are falling one of them is like about to be a bunch of knives are also falling onto it one of them's like <laughs> falling into fire i think there's like a fire that's spraying and it's like one's about yeah, to fall like in there it's like a gas canister that was set on fire by something i don't even know how that happened and but uh, yeah it's just it's flying these absurd, directly like all at the same time all the babies are about to be killed in midair by all these absurd like rude goldberg it's machines it's hilarious and it's just like, one why? of the babies is about to be set on fire one of the babies is about to be stabbed with many many scalpels flying yeah. off a tray another one of the babies is I don't, I don't get know. Get hit with some acid or something, like with some yeah, kind of like some hot, dangerous yeah, like fluid. boiling water or something from a beaker. Or oh, I think like it's that, acid. Maybe acid. It could be acid yeah. or okay. more. Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, um, oh, and one of one of them is like between like a a plate and a, a big thing that's about to crush it. Mid yeah, yeah. There's two. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. He's about to get Ooh. smooshed. Yeah, and you, he's you about just, to get things that have to happen. You just want a fifth one to be like a cartoon anvil is coming down on it. You know, just to really complete the collection. <laughs> These babies are in so much peril right now. <laughs> it's absurd. Oh. By the way, before we say, this is like, like biblical level of peril for a baby. From the time it took him seeing all these threats to him, like going to the vending machine and eating all the snacks, uh, they'd be dead. How fast we saw the things moving. Yeah, they would have been. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Oh, yeah. There's no true. consistency so, within flash time. Yeah. No. Wait, 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 wait. Guy, I got a question. I don't know if we're ready. I don't know. I don't know if anyone is prepared to answer this question, but Do I'll it. ask it anyway. We'll see what happens. Okay. So when the flash interacts with objects, those objects are in slow motion, right? They're essentially mm -hmm. moving in real time. Or they're, they're in their time, and he's moving super duper mega fast, yes. right? So what does this mean for him, re like, eating objects? Nah. I wanted to ask that question too. Like if he, because I don't if he know. <laughs> takes the burrito, all of the energy, and because like calories are a measure of like energy, right? That you get from food that your body yep. absorbs, right? So he grabs a burrito and he's moving super duper fast, and he puts that burrito inside of him. What is to stop the burrito from like not matching his own speed, or is he even able to like get the energy from the burrito, or is it still in suit? Like the burrito can't. You know, it's it's. I know, I know what you're saying. trying to say. I do. It's. I think that's that's definitely one of those things where they're just like he ate it. He has its energy. It's that. Yeah. That's yeah. it. All right. 
Because I thought about that too. Like, does he vibrate down the things faster? And then his body is like, oh, yum, 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 yum. Super speed eating calories or something. It's like, it's in his mouth and he swallows. It's like, is that piece getting moved by his muscle and then put into the the, the acid? Does it, does it melt slower? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like, does it get absorbed slower or faster? He's like, yeah, I don't fucking, I don't know. Yeah. I I have no conclusive answer on that. But I thought about that too. Yeah, I feel like like, uh... that's... Another one of those things, um, similar to how he could be like, pushing himself off of falling objects in midair, able to yeah, because if you do that, upwards. yeah, depending on the object, um, it's it's a, you guys remember in the, the Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, when Legolas yeah. is like jumping up the little yep. falling stones, like everyone's favorite that's, part. That's really <laughs> dumb, but like technically, that is possible. Right? Legolas is very light, and the stones have a lot of inertia to them. So, technically, like, okay, that's dumb, but I think it technically checks out within the internal logic of the Lord of the Rings. But this one, right, not only is it really dumb, I don't think it makes any sense for him to be able to do all this stuff. What how, What about his speed allows him to run up a wall, right? Because, yeah, sure, you can run up for a few steps, but remember, you're pushing away from the wall in mm-hmm. order to, you know, like, move. So you're going to make a couple, you know, three, four steps up that wall, and you are no longer making contact with that wall. There's no force to keep you applied to the wall. And well, it's not like you're running in a circle. You're running straight up a wall. I think um, it's just speed force shenanigans. Well, so I someone think. just said All speed righty. force negates yeah. physics, but that, wouldn't you just fly at that point then? I mean, I would try to do that. <laughs> Okie dokie then. I see this is all... Making a lot of sense. I figured it yeah, would. I'm just, it does. Uh, it it. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I'm, it's fine. It it works. You can you buy know, it's, it's it. And fine. You I'm know not what? even mad. Even if those mechanics are really, a little bit you know, rough around the edges, it's well, fine. Strange. We have. If they're consistent. Yeah, with we it, got character you know? stuff. Okay. Yeah. If the character stuff's That's really right. good, then it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. I can um, easily well. look pack a, I I can easily look past a few little oh burrito questions and physics stuff it's like what it's fine it's a, you know what that would be a small price to pay if we got really awesome character moments you know that i it, i'd i'd almost happily pay it mhm um so so the saving of the babies begins he just sort of protects them you say all. that like it's an olympic event it is what <laughs> he does is incredible uh and the famous clip that many have seen online of him placing a baby into a microwave and a nurse screaming uh. That's reversed, okay? He's taking it out, and then she screams, because she's just screaming in general. Well, so, he puts a baby um, in earlier, though. <laughs> to protect it, to yeah, protect it, to protect it. she's falling off the building. But that's not how this works. That's not how that <laughs> clip goes, ding at the end, so... Let's... I all mean, right. Yeah. Enough of this. Enough, you guys. Hey, if hey, Indiana whoa, okay. Jones can hop in a fridge and survive a nuke, no. then you can put a baby in a microwave. That ain't from an Indiana Jones film. That's for some weird... Fan film that was made by two oh, senior yeah, gentlemen. Was, you're right. That's not Indiana Jones. That's, uh, uh, that's some other thing. Iowa, Iowa Johnson. He, Iowa that, Johnson the, and the radioactive the, the, fridge. Radioactive fridge. I, oh, Iowa Johnson. He's getting a little old, but you know he still got it. He's, he's still, still just as it. sharp as he was those many <laughs> many years ago. Oh, Iowa Johnson. Uh, um, now that uh, we're on the microwave. Uh, I did have a question. So, and I'm sure we'll get to talking about this a little later, but was what exactly is the is the rule to moving uh, objects and moving people? Oh, I'll tell you. It makes uh, complete sense, you see. It's, it's, you can't move yeah. people faster than too fast, but you can move them a bit. And if you do move them too fast, they'll vomit profusely green, like Nickelodeon slime levels of insanity-colored shit. Uh, but not mm-hmm. applied to any of the people he moved really fast at any other point in all the movies, including this one. Yep. Yeah, you know, the okay. Flash would be really good at Legend of the Hidden Temple. Mm. Slime. Slimy. So was the movie was the movie trying to say that it doesn't count if they're enclosed in a in a micro sealed? <laughs> well, they think that's how it works, but well, it, it shouldn't. It, it, <laughs> even if even if they wanted to say that, like you got all the other babies Literally get moved, and the and the uh, nurse got yeah, moved right. quite fast as Look, well. It's funny because it's... I I think they try to do a thing where it's like, look how carefully is he just kind of 
nudges them a little to bit. Do a thing. And it's like, but yeah, but this you still all move them into place and they're still falling down. I I don't know. Well, didn't he just... take a bite of a burrito and throw it at something to knock it into something to knock it into something to save the baby? I remember being uh, like, oh my yeah. fucking god, dude, just go and That's... do it yourself. <laughs> and it to to up. the movies, to the mo in the movies defense, if you're gonna shake a baby violently, you might as well do it inside of a microwave. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You have committed to this path. And for a penny and for a pound, I did say. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and you have Alfred, and I was going to ask, because I was just like, well, have a, how, why does Alfred know exactly what's happening? Because he says, like, oh my god, it's a baby, and then the Flash goes, shower. Because they're all ah, falling. Funny. How did Alfred know that all the babies were falling from the building? Does he have, like, a camera? I don't know. Alfred camera is God? Bad don't camera. Is he God? <laughs> Alfred Finally, <laughs> Alfred constantly looking at all the babies pays off. <laughs> he has the baby cam, just making sure they're baby okay. Baby cam, man. God. He watches over the, the babies. By the he way, is I their, find... He is their god. In general, I find it hilarious that apparently everybody got out of this room, but for some reason they locked in the babies with the nurse, and nobody... Yeah, no, the really... door, like, was locked. I, they never I told don't know us why, why that door, happened. Like, emergency, the... open hatch Typical Gotham. <laughs> Make sure to lock the baby yeah. room in if anything goes wrong. Gotta protect them. <laughs> it's, uh, that's a, but it's, it's a small thing, but I don't think these these baby I don't know beds would roll out like that because they probably have like a little like a little break on it that you put on when you just have that thing stationary. So I think a lot of them not in this universe. Maybe, over maybe before they rolled maybe. over. They don't have that in this universe. Oh, okay. I thought in fact, they, they made they, that clear. This is, like, come on. this is Gotham. They grease the wheels of the baby they, carriage yeah. <laughs> so that they roll, the ex, they roll an extra amount for <laughs> for added peril. Um. So. Oh my God! Is this the continuity where um where um <laughs> where Penguin wins the mayor, and that's one of his the things he does. Well, we'll grease the wheels of all the baby carriers. I can see it. Yes. Not for added fun. Not impossible. As opposed to dragging them all to the sewer with himself. It's true. He kills Makes them in different work. ways. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, come back to Batman. Uh, I would have complained that his approach is a little collateral damagey, but to be fair, I think that's perfectly in line with the Snyder Batman. He's a big <laughs> fan of that, and so it's totally okay. Like, there's a bunch of exploding cars, and... He's doing yeah. some awesome backflips through it and stuff, and it's like, yeah, he'd do that. That's, that's, that's I'd like chill. to call it a bad lateral damage. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone, thank you. I'm here all night. Thank you, thank you. Mahler, um, I think I need to remind you about a little thing called the rule of cool. What about the cool of rule? That does not exist. Wow, well, you know what you does made... exist? People what? praising Rocket the rule? choice to give blue to Batman's suit in this movie, which is something people have wanted oh, for a while. Oh, can I... Do you have a picture well, of it? Well, so I was about um, to say, chat, right? You may, you, some of you may be happy to hear this blue in his suit. But what you should be more concerned with is how the suit looks, and so we're gonna, we're gonna just have a little look see at that right now. We're gonna, we're gonna give ourselves a little judgment on it and see what you guys think. Genuine reactions, okay, chat? What do you think? And, um, um, oh, I do put it in Discord. Oops. <laughs> Uh, the history of Batman's oh. suit aesthetics is is a very tumultuous one. I think this looks like shit. <laughs> this this is one of the yeah, worst Batman suits I've ever Batman's seen. Ever looked. It was actually the first time I looked at it like extent like like longer than the frames it's on screen. It's like goddamn, this looks awful. <laughs> brain's natural defense. Someone said, "Was the suit affected by the acid?" No. <laughs> 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 no. No, this is how it's no, supposed no. to look. Yeah, it's, it's just garbage. I, like, that's yeah, stuff. it looks bad. I don't know what happened here. Something and, went wrong. His belt he, is gold. That's something. That man but, has oh. cool looking suits in this universe, in this continuity. Yeah. He has yeah. good looking suits. Yeah, I don't mind the Snyder Batman suits. A lot of them are it pretty cool. It looks good. And hell, when we just came off of the Batman, he had a great suit in that. I don't know what they were thinking with this really one. had a hard time distinguishing uh, when... The actor was wearing the cowl, and when it was CGI, I thought it was just CGI the whole time. Um, but then after <laughs> seeing a few like behind the scenes photos, it was. He's, there no, it looks he's like he's it. got like one of those vests, like a vest that mm -hmm. you know, like where it, there, you're, it's, uh... you know, without the sleeves. 
I get what you mean. Yeah, it, yeah. It looked really weird. And then there was, of course, a problem of just having Batman out in daytime. It's not the best setting. Uh, he doesn't look that great, the, yeah. The aesthetic. Like, he just People really feels out of place. It doesn't sleep. <laughs> or maybe That's it does true. sleep, which is why it's happening during the day. Maybe the it day. does sleep, actually. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, it's just, yeah, something went wrong. Metal Plate is eating his bat logo as well, so that's... Is, um, I know it looks, the he looks like a cheerleader! He looks like a, he looks like a Batman cheerleader. I got the distinct impression when I saw those little, like, hexagon shapes, like, the it, it, something had been 3D printed and glued on. Like, that's what it looks mm. like. It's just like, why does that look so awful? I, I because can't... in the future, everything is hexes. From what I've heard, it's supposed to be an exoskeleton. It provides extra armor. It's like, hmm... Oh, um, I did see it when he was like scraping against the side of the whatever the shoulder think, was on the highway. But I think they um, needed to go back to the design board and figure mm -hmm. out another way to present yeah. that. You know, because exoskeletons are usually pretty cool. This wasn't as That's cool. <laughs> this was something else. Um. So you know, yeah, that was something. Um. But yeah, the, the, I did actually kind of like the uh. You know, they, they set a huge, like, car crash for him to avoid, and he, um, he, like, flies through it, attaches the grapple, and is, you know, flying, uh, with his, his back gliding, and then, like, having to skid across different obstacles, use, like, parkour on the cars to get around and stuff. Some of that, I was like, this is kind of, this feels Batman-y, and, and he has to use a bit of, you know, speedy reactions and ingenuity to some extent. I'm trying to be nice to the film where I can. It's not going to happen very often. So... You know, most of the things I really enjoyed about this film are Batman related. They're not Flash related. In the Flash film. This film doesn't have a very big interest in being a Flash film. No. Uh, which is interesting. <laughs> well, we saw, what was the promotion? Was it like the Funko Pops or the promotional statues? Uh, there were like or seven Batman was? ones. Yeah, and one yeah, Flash one. <laughs> yeah. What has happened here? What That's has funny. gone wrong? <laughs> Well, it's both funny, but also, I imagine, concerning, because this film's f not doing well. No. Even though they had Batman plastered all over it. Well, and the, the fact was that I think if it had done well, most people would have assumed it must must have been that Michael Keaton dragon, because nobody believes that Ezra Miller can, like, you know, carry a movie. Mm. I, I don't that think... Is, that is a funny mm. sentiment, though. How, it, it, how can it be failing? They plastered Batman all over this Flash movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was like, you know this... that trick you keep pulling DC where you stuff Batman into everything hoping it'll sell well? Time's up. Looks like they're starting to kill Batman as a fucking money making IP. We'll have to see how uh, Brave and the Bold and Batman 2 go. He's well, been... Brave and the Bold is now being directed by uh, the, the guy, guy who directed, directed this. this film. Yeah. So that's... Oh, well, it's, it's kind of because you, you know, someone might be like, well, this is barely his film. It's like, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Um. All right. By the way, yeah, this is a this is like super new, and I've just seen this. Uh, Hollywood Reporter talking about that there were there were three different endings to this film. Mm -hmm. um, the different they all start. <laughs> well, it's just they're, they're three very different films that are essentially the product of the fact that this film has been passed through so many you know, hands and so many heads and so many different plans that were uh, in motion for these DC films. So, yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah, do, do I you know they were, they or they just... The, the, the so, were one of the endings was that it had Keaton's Batman and the new Supergirl were going to be in, like, the universe instead of uh, George Clooney. Yeah, that one... one was that, that one people have known about for a while because it was set photos released of that. That's one of the things that got... Wow, like... so the interesting one is the second one had both of them, but also Henry Cavill as Superman and Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman as well, apparently. <laughs> so I guess they would have just removed uh, Ben Affleck because I guess he's just totally done. And then there's the actual ending. Right. God, that's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. yeah. Oh, the way they wow. make movies, it's... Uh... Yeah, good stuff. Cinema. Like none of those endings had anything to do with The Flash. No. no and to they, think, they, Scorsese might matter. not even watch this. What a crazy <laughs> decision that would be. But Tom Cruise <laughs> loved this movie. 
<laughs> every day <laughs> with all these DC movies, every single DC movie, we stray further from God and closer to Scorsese. You want to be like, Tom, you really love this movie? He's like, yeah, like, name three characters. And he's like, Batman, Batman, Batman. <laughs> so... <laughs> Name three more. Superman, <laughs> Superman, Superman. Like, name three more. Okay. Uh, Flash, Flash. <laughs> Flash. A there is a third Flash, yeah. <laughs> so. Monst I call him Monster Flash. Mm. We'll do the Monster Flash. Flash. I'm partial to the Purple Flash, Flash, but whatever you guys want to go with when we get there. It caught on and oh no, it didn't. Never mind. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're right up to the really cringe uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, Right. Oh well, so uh, again, yeah, 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 I want to throw in compliments yeah, yeah, yeah. where I can. Uh, Batman gets into the main truck and he's like beating up some of the bad guys. The driver looks over at him and then just opens his door and jumps out. I thought that was kind of fun. Out. Um, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I like I, that. It's just like fuck this. <laughs> I, <do laughs> this. I was um, it. I was mild. I was kind of a little bit entertained watching Batman chase the car. Um, I, I'm not. Definitely don't know, don't take that as like this, you know, I was I really like really enjoyed it, but you know, there was compared to all the flash shit, um How come you definitely didn't, isn't setting up a pattern. But I was back like, me oh, up when I said all that. I thought I figured you'd have jumped in and said, Oh yeah, yeah me too. Saying that like uh, at a lengthy like it was cool seeing Batman well, do I felt I was on an island I, and I was like, Fine, I'll be on my island. You're not on an island because you we both agreed when we watched the movie. When no, we, it's we, like you're on two different islands and you're like, Yeah, look, this is the only island that there is. <laughs> we're on the same Are we close enough to islands. talk on these or, islands? Or, or, or rather, there is there could be any island amount island of islands that you want, it, but Mahler and I are on the same island. It doesn't matter how many yeah. islands there are, we're on the same island. That's almost worse. You're on the same island, but you don't realize, or rather, you know, you didn't realize. Mola saw you. Are there the two? Even when we watched the movies, I agreed with you on this, and you're talking about the cool things about the Batman chase, and now I'm saying, yeah, yeah, like the Batman. Are there two yeah, kind islands, of a part of one watch. island, but it got flooded, and so it looks like it's two islands now? Is that, is uh, that maybe like, like a valley, an spiral. island that has a valley in it, and so now it looks like the peaks? Yeah, like so we just got to wait until summertime, and then we can talk again. Here's the thing, though. Now we're getting into the real sort of philosophical stuff here. What does it mean the for geographical island, stuff? What what does it no mean for an island to have island. a valley? I'm, I'm what does it mean, you know, for an island to have a valley if it's filled with water? Like well, what does that mean? mean to say that it's an island anymore? It's, it's a two donut? islands. It has to be two islands, I love right? Donuts. Well, not necessarily. You know? It depends on the a shape of, of the valley, right? Well, so do valley... we feel like there's only one continent on Earth? Since all of there's there's ultimately crust all around the whole planet, but I mean we would we wouldn't say that, right? The oceans dividing everything, like that. Well, there was one. That's kind of beautiful. Yeah, thing. The, there the is only one big island, and we're all a part of it. The big world island. No, but that was Pangaea. That's not what it is now. That's is how it you Pangea? pronounce it, right? Is it's it Pangaea Pangea or yeah, Pangaea? It's Pangaea. Uh, it but probably we'll depends let you on it the other way. It's Pangaea. It probably depends on how you say the, how the Greek is pronounced, but because yeah. Right. Because I think it's the Greek. Greek right? is pronounced Pan Greek, Gaia. Rags. Didn't you know that? Greek, actually. Good at ek. Oh. Good at cool. Greek is pronounced Greek. That's true. Rumbo. I think, I think the, po the point of this is, depending on the kind of valley, if it was flooded sufficiently highly, it would change the amount of islands there'd be. Because you could theoretically have two islands, right? Because you could have the space in between, like, two hills. That, that's sort of a valley. But the valley could also be completely circular, in which case... If it was to flood, right, you'd have like a donut. I agree. I don't want donuts now. A donut would be better than the flash. <laughs> Eating a donut would be better than discussing the flash. But you oh, know, we're right. here. That we would might as well be, uh, see this through to the end. Of time. The guy with evil material that, if it touches water, will destroy all of everything, falls over the edge of a bridge, and Alfred's like, "Oh no! If you let that fall into the water, it'll kill everybody by the afternoon or something." I'm not. <laughs> Uh, half of it, actually. It's not Whatever. That. Everyone's <laughs> dead by the end of the day. Or something. <laughs> so yeah. anyway. Dead um, by daylight. It was funny because the, they're packaged in something. And so the first assumption you'd have is like, well, surely they have to open up whatever those things are. They're also in a briefcase no. that that would have to magically open up too. It does. For it reasons. Does. It also magically closes in the next shot when they get grabbed back up. So Yeah, there's that. And, and, uh, and you'd be like, well, we're fine because Batman's got his grappling hook. And then it breaks. It's like, oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Was there was there something in the chase scene that broke that? I didn't see anything. I think he just used Doesn't it. Doesn't Batman have more than it's... one grappling hook though? I mean, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> He's the grapple man. He does all the grapples.
But, uh, yeah, yeah so they're about to die. Them. Everything's about to be over. But then Wonder Woman turns up. So fucking random. I hate powerful. it so much. I quite Plus. hate her appearances. Um, she, uh, Fringy, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. She's like Leonard Nimoy in The Simpsons. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, he was an invasion of the body sculptures. The movie we discussed earlier. Uh, he God, didn't like, die. In states, like, <laughs> in the, the monorail thing. Yeah. Yeah, just I, like, hey, I'm gonna change seats. The world needs <laughs> laughter. world needs laughter. <laughs> <laughs> Was, isn't it the is it the X Files episode where he's like, "Well, my work here is done," and then he's like, "What do you, you mean? Do you anything. didn't do anything." <laughs> didn't I? Didn't and then I? Oh, that was the monorail episode. Oh, that was a monorail one. one. Well, yeah. In any case, yeah, that's no, how it the feels. The X Files one ends. I think the X Files one ends with Mo uh, trying to take the whale back to Sea World. Yes. Um, <laughs> the. But the thing about this is, all I'm trying to say is like, you. Well, Wonder Woman did save the day. It's like, yeah, you know what? She kind of, sort of, I guess, did. But like, she, is she so fucking ego driven? It's so clear. Like, well, she's... it's the the big pose, and then sorry, I'm late with a grin. It's like, oh yeah, thanks, thanks, yeah. Like, and then you know, yeah. everything could have people gone really like, badly. Like, thanks, up, Diana. People are later. dying. Well, you, you got you got these Please. cars crash. People are screaming. There's fires everywhere. That building came oh, yeah, down. Who knows what else needs to be done? And then she's like, "My work here is done," and flies away. Yeah, exactly. Like, what uh, the my work here yeah. is done. I'm up to help others in need. God bless you, Captain Hyde. Sorry. <laughs> God bless you. Like <laughs> she just leaves. When yeah. the work it's so is fucked up. Um, uh, yeah, she flies. Uh, he flies she away, flies by the way. Now. Yeah, she does. Now. She does fly. Now. Now. Um, is who is the cameo is longer in Shazam, right? Uh, uh yeah, it's probably Surely, longer yeah. by like thirty seconds, maybe thirty. Well, seconds Shazam, she's there at the end as well and revives everybody. So. Yeah. Well, that That's is her longer. cameo. She's only in that one is... scene. She, the other scene is a body mm -hmm. double. So. Oh, okay. But yeah. yeah. Uh, just, just, she's so, like, the hype surrounding her, and they know what they're doing, because the, the music, it, it pretty much feels like, -na 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 and then it just fades away, because that's, it's just, you play it, and that's... They've, the, uh, they've ruined it. They've they have ruined absolutely ruined song. it, yeah, because the first um, time you hear it, you're like, this is badass, then you hear it for the billionth time, and you're like, yeah. okay, all right. It's, 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 well, it's just like the Yodel, it's, it's yeah, <laughs> well, it, I guess it's different, because the Yodel was never good. But the, it was uh, funny as shit, though. It was funny. <laughs> it was really funny. It was, but like in this case, it was a cool theme that's just been absolutely run into the dirt because it's like it feels pretty awkward to just play that music when all she's done is show up, grab him with the lasso, and then pull him up. Yep. It's yeah. like it doesn't feel very appropriate to be playing this action music when there's really nothing exciting well, that would, happening. That'd be a good joke, though. Like we cut to Wonder Woman and she's making breakfast. And she's like putting bread in the toaster, <laughs> and she's got some <laughs> eggs on the pan. Yeah. <laughs> it would be that's 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 perfect sketch comedy because then you could also have like they're like, oh, can I have one of those? She goes, um, and the camera cuts back to it, restarts the fucking track just for her to speak, like you just start oh, playing it anyway. She has to turn around dramatically and pose and and say like, yes, yes, you can, while the guy's just sort of standing there awkwardly, looking around, wondering what's going on and who she's performing to. Because that's how it feels. It feels like she's performing to an audience, not there in yeah. the moment. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Okay, <gasps> she's she's making breakfast and everything, and the music's playing. And then someone's walking outside, right? Uh, and and they walk up to her door, and the music's really muffled. And they knock on the door, and when she answers it and opens the door, we get the full music <laughs> as it finally opens up. Well, to like, I think I think plays from her. Yeah. Well, it plays to the point that as you're walking past, you hear it muffled, and then like when the door closes, it, it's muffled again, and you're sort of standing outside wondering what's going on. That she's like altering or, the fabric of reality around her, or maybe like it cuts to the, the bathroom outside. door, and you hear the muffled music from behind <laughs> it. <laughs> the, the flush. She opens the door, and then we hear the music like normal. Dude, if there was a fucking multiverse movie with her, you have like one of her, and then the other one says hi, and then like the tracks start to fucking layer over each other. The audio, the audio has got to start peaking. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it gets all out of control. And then you just have and to kill it. How the multiverse breaks in that film is just the exactly. overlapping themes. Well, once you get enough of the standard theme clashing, it creates a yodel, and then you're like, oh shit, that's tier two. <laughs> oh no.
now you know if shit's getting real. Mm -hmm. All of the other Dianas are annoyed at guys. Do you remember Diana. how many yodels? Remember those yodels, guys? There was like thirty of those <laughs> oh, every time. Do it. Every oh. time she did anything on screen, it, there was the yodel. It was painful. It was pretty funny though. And now it's over because this is the end. Well, so We're I was going to say, is that the last it. of Wonder Woman Gal Gadot? Is that uh, it? I really probably, so. surely it surely is not coming like, back. I mean, if this film's failing, that's got to be the end of everything, right? Like, everything. Is she going to have a fucking really... cameo in Aquaman 2? Like, right at the end, she'll be like... Uh, I mean, who even... <laughs> Dude, who even knows what that movie <laughs> like, is going to look like? It feels and like enough champagne gonna... to fill the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, this is oh, where Wonder no. sort of, like, stumble across the finish line, collapse into a heap on the ground. Hey, James like, Gunn, yeah, you're going to talk about how that's the best DC movie ever as well? Are you going to talk about how it leads into that? Because, I mean, this we might be jumping ahead. I don't feel like this film leads into a future DCU at all. No. 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 I thought this was uh, because that's how they set it up, uh, right? Especially, oh, especially if you're like press tours and interviews and stuff. They really leaned heavily on this movie um, ending the DCU as everyone knows it and beginning. Will, I guess the the next they calling it DCU. Yeah, that's the... Well, the the DCU is the next thing, but the reality is that all of these projects were in development before any of those plans were set, and they just have the awkward problem right now that they have four movies that they needed to release, all of which are leading to a dead end, probably. And they know, for as bad as it is, really, that this is the case, that a lot of people don't have an interest in watching these films if they don't lead anywhere. And... Which says a lot, really, doesn't it, about like oh, absolutely, how but... much value we assign to individual films at this point that nobody can watch the film for the sake of its own story. It mm -hmm. has to lead somewhere. But it, do it probably doesn't. This is what least, happens when you, you know. fucking reset a universe that's already in motion. Like, exactly. if someone had come yeah. in, let's say, when Black Widow released and said, right, we're resetting the MCU, it's like, pretty much more than half of Phase 4 was probably already being, like, cooked. And it's like, what do we do with all this? It's like, release it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> release they it, just, just to release, release it. it. And try to convince people as much as possible that it has some bearing on the future when the reality is... Because I'm pretty sure now something that James Gunn is saying is Blue Beetle is a DCU character, but the film isn't a DCU film. It's like, what does that mean? Uh, what, the, okay. what does that mean? <laughs> Like, the, I don't act, the actor what will that be means. reprising his role as Blue Beetle, will but he? I guess will redoing the story. The, well, yeah, it's will like, he? so That's he's. The if they have him again, then that means that he. Then they can't Maybe reference they can do that. the. They can't do that. Yeah, surely though, right? they can't because reference the movie he's from. It'll confuse people. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, people. like if he's back, if he comes back, they can't reference the movie, the, the, the first movie he was in. Exactly. Well, at least the reality. You can't because. You can't attach any of that to this. There's too much baggage with the DCEU. Like, people don't... People think DC films suck. Like, <laughs> in a general audience sort of perspective of, like, a disinterest in them, clearly. Because look at how well these films are doing. It's a really you know, in this case, popular performing. meme on Twitter that gets posted all the time, which is DC fans online, and it shows, like, this incredibly passionate crowd going yeah. nuts, and then DC yeah. fans in the theater, and it's just an empty theater. Empty. They just don't yeah. show up. They're just not turning up. Yeah, I think it was like ten people in this in my screening or something. It's uh, and, and I mean the, this this whole film has been a crazy mess. Like I'm cycling through some of these posters on screen, and I just so many of them are like, yeah, the Flash is here, but it's mainly Batman. <laughs> like, yeah. Come on, Batman! <laughs> like it's Batman. 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 Woo! Looming and James Flash, Gunn, you know, yeah. Can he say that uh, that he wasn't um, restarting everything, so he was keeping virtually. He was just keeping everything that that he did with yeah, Suicide Squad and Peacemaker. Can't do that. Really can't do that, you know. Oh, is it? like it's just confused. I, 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 all of it is going to lead to confusion. I imagine among audiences of like, well, wait, what is the nature of like canon? It's already going to be hard enough to run the concurrent the Batman stuff. Like that already is probably going to be challenging mm -hmm. to manage. But even having to manage whether or not you need to understand anything about these like what twelve, thirteen, fourteen films that a lot of people didn't see. I'm pretty sure every single DC EU film, like in the last three years, has failed. Like, just failed. Actually, lost money at the box office. Well, yeah, someone's pointing out Peacemaker is in continuity with the films of the DCEU, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it has to be, right? Aquaman shows up in it. Justice League shows mm. up. Yeah, one? well, that will bring a, That's just because Aquaman, he's not a. 
He's a DC character, but it's not a DC film. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you, imagine <laughs> imagine know. Peacemaker season two is in a different continuity to Peacemaker season one. <laughs> it's like we're gonna we're changing it up. You're like, like what? So th that's yeah. the problem. I I'd imagine it's a really frustrating situation to be in. They brought James Gunn in to basically make the hard call and reset everything. And what he did was. Mm, Oh, I'm going to keep the stuff that I like, that well, I did. To be honest with you, if this movie had made, like, over a billion, it would be even more confusing. They'd be like, do we now keep Ezra Miller Flash and Michael <laughs> Keaton Batman? Or is that what, is, are they in or our is, new universe? <laughs> like, what? Now that it's failed, that's made the decision very easy for them. Yeah, just cut them out, cut it all <laughs> out. Failed, so this is all, yeah, pointless. Yeah. And, you know, Jason would be like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought the movie was great, but bye-bye. <laughs> like, oh. Um... So anyway, back to the movie, uh, the the lasso of truth is attached to Batman and the bad guy, and then oh, Batman yeah. says, uh, I, like, <laughs> I would say thank you, but my ego is far too great to allow that. Doesn't you have to activate that lasso for this to happen? I thought she had to ask questions. Yeah. I thought Batman was smart enough to get that well, shit off of well, him as fast if you remember, as possible. In, in Justice League, um, Aquaman is sitting on it. And they, she didn't. He didn't get asked any questions, and he just started mm. spilling all of but the secrets. So this film apparently is in continuity with the Snyder Cut, not Justice League. The oh, last well, then... Cassia compels you to tell the truth. Because but then I guess I, I don't know. Then yeah. yeah, there's a reference from Ben Affleck Batman in the to an event in the movie that's only in Snyder Cut, not in Justice League, from what I and gather. We... And we is actually really, see a scene Snyder Cut that, in the uh, first it? time travel scene. We see the Aquaman point that we all love. I that's true. I yeah. think when she says that, it does activate it because it like glows, doesn't it? Like it glows when it's yeah. Because when used. in way way back in Wonder Woman one, uh, when she brings Chris Pine um, to the original to like all the other chicks and. He's like, ah, oh, and he's like, I'm not going to tell you anything. And he gives his name, rank, and serial number because he's a good soldier, man. And he's like, actually, the lasso doesn't fucking care. Tell the truth. It's magic, bitch. And he's like, okay, actually, I'm going to. And it, and it kind of hurts, but I'll do it. Like, she does have to activate it, I think. And, and, and mm. Unless you sit on it. Then you Sorry. just start blabbing. You just figured there was some kind of direct exposition. I didn't think that she was actually... Activating well, she, it, I think it glows it, like she like lifts it up and like she grabs it and pulls right, it a little bit yeah. and it like goes woof. Because I think it's like an active and then it turns into a passive later. It's like a really inconvenient uh, way to activate that. I just thought um, it was a bit cringe too. that line. A lot of people said it's really funny. I didn't find it funny. I thought that it was kind of lame that Batman himself would feel his ego is too great to say thank you to people. Like, eh. Especially after his conversation with Wonder Woman about yeah, like, but that's not canon. And... That's not oh yeah, canon, that's though. true. You're right. Yeah, that, right. That's, that is yeah, not yeah. a canon event. Is <laughs> Zack I'm, Snyder I'm fucking sure cut what? out one of the good things Joss Whedon? Well, no, he didn't. He didn't... Well, Wait, well, no, he cut it out. Yeah, he cut it well, out. Well, well, that was a reshoot. Is that was something that was added? In Technically, not so, cut yeah. out of Snyder's oh, version. It was... Okay, yeah. Is that, he. Yeah, I I can believe Zack Snyder wouldn't have had it in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Um, I think that's the line fair. that Barry has, paraphrasing here, but something like, I've heard about sex, but I don't know what it is, or, or that I don't know how it feels, or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, he says, I know that sex exists, but I've never experienced it myself. Yeah, it's like, okay. These, um, these are examples of some of the comedy that's just not working at all for me. I'd be like, oh, that's, nah. that's pretty cringe, but all right, you do you. It's okay to make fun of uh, Flash for being a virgin, but I mean, God forbid. Uh, well, and you have the, the other thing that annoys me is Wonder Woman's just sitting there smiling, like, <laughs> uh, when it's like, this is, this was a fucking disaster. What happened today? You know that? Like, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, yeah the I remember there was that guy. At it. Okay, yeah, well, okay, just, there's up. that guy in that tanker that exploded. He got roasted to a crisp. You you know, know, yeah. Free, what if he's out there no, right now screaming as he's burning alive? Yeah, and it's just exactly. Like... Me. Well, Wonder Woman's help over me. here laughing at people divulging their deepest it secrets. Be, it sounds like a South Park joke. You'd be like, help me, Wonder Woman. Help me, Wonder Woman specifically. <laughs> help me. Like screaming. Diana, yeah. Diana Prince, please help me. It was just too loud. Just couldn't hear him over it. 
It would be so sad, but oh well. Or it's not like that Rick and Morty one. Oh God, it's all like I blame you. I blame you. <laughs> At least the guy who died horribly in the fire of that tanker explosion didn't have to watch the rest of this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, but we <laughs> did. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't, if there's anything else anyone wants to say about that set of scenes, I'm willing to move on to when Barry goes to work. Uh, let me see. Uh, Truck Driver probably oh, dead. Batman kills see. this movie again. Wonder Woman's in the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is no Wonder Woman's in the movie. Um, Batman should be wanting to take off that lasso really quickly. Um, oh, yeah, the Justice League should probably be really concerned about all the collateral damage, like the falling buildings and the rescue efforts. But they're just like, I, Wonder Woman's just like, nope, I'm, I'm fucking off. Uh, and no one else in the Justice League seems to care. Um, we certainly don't get anything on it, but... Yeah, yeah we're it's moving like, on. Know, we got a multiversal story to tell, so yeah, fuck we that. got shit to do. Yeah. We don't care about civilians. Here. We got cool, awesome stuff to do. We got cool oh, hero what things movie? to do. The police car that flipped over a thousand times. Yeah, but then yeah. he's fine. It's the they're built to, We don't do. They're both the roll. They got roll. They're, they're, that's what the roll cage is for. And if you don't use your roll cage, then it's like you. It's like you're wasting money. It's like the airbags. Yeah. Like, what are you paying for if you don't use it? So, uh, right. Barry's boss cage. at work is annoyed that he's late, and he says, You need to focus your motion, do the work, close the case, and move on. Can you, you think of how that might apply to other things? Mm. Uh, I, I, move I, on. I, no, yeah, sure. Uh, themes, yay. Themes. I can, tell, I can tell that it's move on because those are the literal exact words he uses. Makes it easy for someone like me who goes to see The Flash starring Michael Keaton and no one else. Yeah. No. Um, and then he's walking out of the building with his uh, work buddies and he sees that same boss like having like some kind of press conference and he says, like, we've analyzed the evidence and it's more than conclusive. And then Barry's like, what? We didn't even finish analyzing it. Jeez. And then the friends of his are like, <laughs> we didn't even finish analyzing it. And then Barry like turns to them He's like, we're dealing with real people, real families. I don't think you grasp the gravity of this situation. And I was just sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> trying to imagine being any of these people, I... right? Like, this guy's announcing we've got conclusive evidence for some case. Then Barry tells you, like, no, we don't. We haven't finished analyzing it at all. So that's already, to me, like, why is he announcing that if that's true? Is he like, what? And then the friends being like, la la la, we haven't even finished analyzing the, the evidence for the case of potential murders. Ooh. Ooh what? Big deal. <laughs> like, the mal. Like, I think okay. it might be the film's mega clumsy way of trying to be like, yeah, the justice system and the criminal investigatory and the, the yeah, it sucks and it's not fair and it's bad and the people who work in it are a bunch of losers. I don't know. Who are bad? I, I got something? a little lost listening to that conversation. I didn't know what they uh, wanted me to think. The fact that Barry had to remind them that depending on forensic information, people's lives can be destroyed. It's like, didn't everyone know this? <laughs> Later in the film, Barry specifically says the broken justice system that we have, so... I guess those I think, yeah, friends of his are part of those shit the system is, I don't know. I, it's like I, a I subplot think... that's, that, that they started, but they do, just don't do anything with it. They just forget about it. Like, that doesn't go anywhere. The whole also, broken justice system. I was also really system. surprised when, like, Iris shows up and he says, Oh yeah, those are, those are my friends. I, had, I thought they were, like, harassing him. I thought they were following him and being kind of workplace bullies. I didn't think he considered them to be any kind of... Oh, are they just enemy? assholes? Like, I thought they yeah, were his friends. Me. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Someone in chat asked, by the way, was, uh, so, you know, what were the consequences of the time traveling from the Snyder Cut, if this is in line with that? Uh, nothing. 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 Don't think yeah. about it. Oh, nothing. right, that movie. happened. <laughs> just like the movie in which it appeared. Yeah, there was don't no consequences of that, it. nor they had this. Um... Yes, uh, Iris Maybe does. Maybe it created another spaghetti noodle. Maybe this is. <laughs> Maybe it's spaghetti this. noodle. Maybe it's the it. Noodle and this rises. is the movie that happened as a result of the spaghetti noodle. Um, Iris shows up and they have a conversation that I thought was. That I had thoughts about, right? So you have. She, the first thing she says is, Your father's appeal is tomorrow, right? I'm covering it for the paper. And then he's like, Whoa, whoa are you asking me about this for the paper? And she says, No, no, just as a friend. But the public would like to know. And I was like, what oh, the thanks. fuck, wait, wait, and then he's like, my only official comment is that my dad is innocent. And I was like, okay, good move from him, because yeah, this, this person might be a vulture, be careful. And then yeah. she says, mm -hmm. well, you know, no one would want to believe their dad killed their mom. 
And he's like, what do you mean, believe? <laughs> and, I, like, and I was just I was just like, Jesus Christ, like, what happened? I thought I was supposed to be, like, a, a friendly person. And, you know, she later explains, like, oh, yeah, I, I should have been more sensitive in that conversation. It's like, no, you're just being a dick. Like, this is just yeah, weird shit to say. Shit. Like, oh, yeah, your dad's, like, basically facing the, the court case of his whole life tomorrow. How are you feeling about it? The people of the public world would like to know, and I'm writing for the paper. It's like, fuck off. And then, yeah, and then to say, like, of course you would want to believe your dad didn't kill your mom. Thanks. <laughs> like, just why? Why? Um, you know, it, it, and then he, like, runs off, um, which I thought was just a great decision. Stay away from here. Uh, she comes yeah. back, though. Uh, so. Yeah, this is basically the love interest of his in this movie. It's like, okay. Remember when Flash took the wiener? And he <laughs> saw from the car crash. I remember the weed. Remember the sesame seed? Mm -hmm. I, I will never it's forget sure. that movie is forever because burned into the back of my brain. It might be the most famous sesame dream. seed in cinematic history. Doesn't she end up like asking him, like, hey, didn't I like see you somewhere? Yeah. Um, so, was she perceiving? I don't know. <laughs> him in the speed force? Literally, Sometimes like, I less than... Eyes, I, I don't even know if he would have registered it in front of her face, even as a blip, like, anything. Um, but apparently so, yeah, she has some memory of him from that experience. Which is... which doesn't work, because at the end, when Flash is with Mom in the supermarket, he, like, kind of takes his... I mean, she doesn't notice anything, so that wouldn't... I mean, but maybe she's just oh, old right, because he does... Yeah, he, she's old, yeah. Uh, her eyes she's old, but yeah. Iris is young and fertile, so <laughs> she can... Notice with her eyeballs, just higher the man, FPS. The man in his wiener no. in front of her no. very quickly. She's like a fighter pilot. She just needs to see a flash of something. No, oh. I mean, not like that. Oh. Nice one. Wait, I mean, if this is Canada like Snyder Cut, how come she doesn't know he's the flash? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, you guys are fucked up. You guys he was that fast. That's up. how fast he was. He was so fast. FPS. Uh, so the, we move on to he phones his dad and he tells him like I had Bruce Wayne run the footage or a friend whatever run the footage. It's crystal clear, but you never look up, so it's kind of useless to them. And then the dad says like Don't worry about it. It's actually easier for me in here than out there because at least in here I can imagine she's still alive out there living her life. I thought that was really hey. strange. Weirdo. Um, you would think like, that uh, a kind of a Man, it's it's almost awkward, right? That you would be like, you know, it's almost better for me in here, away from you, not really <laughs> like in your life, you know, because it makes things easier for me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a, it's a very strange thing to say. And it his excuse like... is doubly odd because you'd think that if you were in prison for the murder of her, it would be really difficult for you to forget or to fool yourself into thinking that she was alive well, when you're in prison that, but, for but her being dead. You have to deal with the. It's something that the film doesn't address because and I'm, I'm guessing it would, because of course there'll be no sequel but like you're just cool with like the guy who did it actually just being out there like scot free like you you're I, I suppose that. someone would try and argue it's like well he's saying all of this to convince Barry to stop wasting any time trying to get him out of there because he thinks of it's course. hopeless yeah I just think it's sure. a really strange thing to say because you could you could argue that yeah, for anywhere you, you could be home and still imagine she's alive if you want to do it that way I just think that there were, there were way better options for like you know, Barry, we've already lost someone we love so much. Like, why Why should we lose... Like, why should you lose your life trying to get me out of here? Or something when it's just never going to happen. Something like that, you know? I was just thinking of him being in prison, and then another prisoner comes up to him and says, So, what are you in here for? And he's like, no reason. No reason. <laughs> just I don't like to think about it. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> well, I, just, I, just, I just like it here. It's just, it, I just need this... It, you know, this, this kind of structure in my life is just what I need. I get free food, have a scheduled day. It's great. I love it. Please never talk so to me again. Like this phone call would have been a great spot for like the theme to come barging in because I would expect the movie to have done that. Oh, um, his father could have said something like, "Hey, you know, I'm just gonna. I have to learn to move on. You have to learn to move on." Um, it doesn't. He it does the very opposite. He's like, "No, I'm not gonna move on. I'm gonna." You you pretend. might even say it's a good time to prompt the idea that some problems can't be solved. You know, mm -hmm. maybe that would be an example of a time to do that. Instead, mm -hmm. in seconds from that moment, they prompt it with something else. They have a little flashback in the Flash's house because he's he's over he's checking it out while he's on the call with his dad. 
Uh, the, yeah. He remembers being. Must sound fun on the on the dad's end, by the way. He's like, yeah, he's like, he just. Harry, okay. <laughs> Imagine he hears effects, like yeah. the full audio of the flashback, like the mom and the kid. <laughs> he's just like, what the fuck? Are um, you thinking out loud, Barry? What is happening? So, the the kid's doing some math problems, and uh, this this is such a moment of, man, you you're a real good writer. No offense, because that's obviously sarcastic. <laughs> but uh, a lot of films do this. They'll have a, a seemingly innocuous event, and that you think back to it once you've seen the whole movie, and you see, like, oh, that was setting the, the sort of the breadcrumbs or the, the, the foundations for what kind of point the film's trying to make. You get this all the time. But uh, this would be probably one of the most referenced for me in terms of just how clunky and bad this is, all right? So it's... Mm -hmm. let's set the scene. The kid is solving a maths problem, and it says... How many ways can you make 24? Meaning, of course, like, oh, I don't know, 12 times 2? It's like, yeah, that's one. 12 plus 12? You're like, yep, that's another one. And, you know, you, theoretically, it's like, I, I could I could fill uh, many pages with all kinds of answers. And it's, and he says, you know, Mom, this is unfair. What am I supposed to do? There's so many answers. And then she says, a mother to her son about his math problems, not every problem has a solution. Sometimes you need to let go. And that is how Barry failed math. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, because it's like, if your math teacher heard that, they'd be like, why did they tell you that in relation to math? In <laughs> relation to math. <laughs> it's kind of weird, because, you know, it's been a while since I was in school, but I don't recall ever correctly solving a mathematics question using a philosophy <laughs> answer. So well, the awkward part my mom told well me is, to let go. <laughs> like what? The awkward part as well is he already has like fifty answers on that thing, so he already he's already done it. Succeeded with flying colors. So her telling him to let go of the thing he put like multiple solutions to because the whole point is like, oh, that's not a solution to everything. He has like fifty solutions already, so it, yeah, it doesn't it's... doesn't even check out at all. If you take it for what the writer was hoping you'd take away from it, just that message, it's clunky as hell. But then you actually look at like the material he's done to to make it an allegory or whatever. You just said like this yeah. doesn't make any sense. This is nobody would but, ever say this about this. It's like yeah. it's two layers. The clunk is framed in a clunky way. It's not even <laughs> like here's the clunk, everybody. The clunk is just it like trips and when it comes into the room, it's like hey everyone, it's me. ah, and he trips on a, some things and he's like oh god, I, I, it's me, it's me everyone, it's me. Hi, I'm here, I'm the clunk. So I'm gonna do a meme right now. Oh uh, my god! Because I actually I actually watched Flash the Flashpoint Paradox uh, before we got on the stream because I, I I haven't watched it in a while, and they have this 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 theme in there as well, and they put that in there like. 42 seconds into the movie and it's so much simpler and way easier. So the thing is they have like a like an act not like an accident with the car like the car broke down and they're like hey hold up, stop for me uh Barry is like kid Barry and they're like ah oh, why don't they stop for me that's bullshit fuck you random person <laughs> and then the, the then his mom comes around it's like hey it's fine and then she just says when i was a little girl grandma taught me a prayer accept the things you cannot change have the courage to change the things you can, and have the wisdom to know the difference. And then Barry just says, "I don't, I don't totally, get, I totally don't get that really." And she's like, oh, "You will." And that's it. But when does the maths come in? No, no, nowhere. It's no maths. Oh. Well, that's a missed opportunity. It's just so funny because it's so much simpler and non-convoluted. It's just, oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. We had a different version, and it was clearly way better. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. an insane version. <laughs> we got the spaghetti movie, so hey man, you know. hey man, this is the this is the universe where there is apparently only one fucking camera in a convenience store, pointed down at the fucking cans of tomatoes. Jeez, and that's not very um, fucking convenient, is it? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I didn't even bring that up. I complained to meme about this. <laughs> we just went past it. Oh, like I don't even I don't understand why his dad is in prison anyway. <laughs> Well, so, yeah, I, I mean, for people who don't know, the way the, the mum dies, and this is so, it's just such an absurd, like, set of information. She goes oh, to the yeah, store, yeah. she picks up some stuff, she comes home, oh no, I forgot the tomato soup or whatever, I'm gonna have to get, your father's gonna have to go get it. So he's sent to go get it, and while he's gone, someone comes into the house because they assume it's empty, she is holding a knife, and there's a scuffle, and then she gets stabbed, that guy runs away, dad comes home, holds mm -hmm. the, the, the wife, grabs the knife from her, 
and then it looks like he's the one that actually stabbed her. So the only thing to be able to absolve him would be that if they had evidence that he did go and get that soup. Um, so yeah. I think the it, reason I believe in the comics it was reverse Flash did it right. Yeah, when uh, because the, basically or, the rules are he can't. It was me. Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's he goes by both names. Um, but uh, okay. yeah. Um, well. So, so the whole idea with with him is that uh, you know he can't stop the Flash from becoming the Flash because otherwise he won't become Reverse Flash. But he can do everything but, so he can go back and ruin his life in other ways. And so one of the ways he does it is kills his mom. Uh, and uh, this is a, I might be skipping ahead a bit here, but uh, Barry seems very avoidant or very disinterested in actually seeing who killed his mom. Yep, in this absolutely, film. which is something he can yep. get for free. He can just go grab that information yeah. whenever he wants. It wouldn't even affect Don't the need timeline. To change anything. Absolutely oh, bizarre. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't check at all. He, right. Dude, you he's right. he's super happy with the story. Some guy at the right moment in time just happened to decide this house is empty and came in and stabbed my mom. <laughs> yeah, it just yeah. happens. You know, it's unfortunate. Why does it hate my mom so much? What did she <laughs> do? Yeah. And we see curious. he can just How pop exactly? his head into certain yeah, moments in time. So he like, could just yeah, rewind that day and find out, well, and, and but he doesn't. Some people highlight and it's like, wait, so did he not have a receipt to prove the, the purchase? And it's like, does he not have card information? Did he pay by cash? Would, would the cashier not be able to uh, recognize him? That's what I was going for. With, with, with yeah, it's, and, and it's like, yeah, no, none of this. Uh, it's only the cam. That's it. And the camera. They only have one camera pointed at the fucking tomato cans. You don't have one at the entrance? Is, no. Is tomato <laughs> cans look, so listen, impressive no for everybody that this is the main you'd think cause you'd have of like tomatoes are from Italy. They're very oh, expensive. Okay. Those, that's the most valuable aisle in the entire store. People come from all over the all over the town to steal the tomato sauce from this one. Yeah. And you can see in the footage there's lots of people in the store. By the way, like, even no, if we were being like super the generous are safe. to the film, uh like his, oh. his dad leaves, he doesn't take the car, he just goes out to the middle of nowhere, comes back, and his wife is stabbed. I just, like, how would an, an investigation end up with him being put in prison? Well, His so fingerprints his, would be on the knife because like, he grabbed it, but they should also be competing... His, his, but the fingerprints, of course, problem, it's his knife! Though. Yeah, but he but, pulled but it but out. There's, wait, but there's, a, there's another problem. Just because the camera shows that he was at the shop doesn't really do anything, because he got there, like, ten seconds after it happened. So, like, that alibi doesn't even mean anything. That's actually true. He, he could, could surely you could argue oh, he killed God. her anyway. Oh, it doesn't, it, do, it actually doesn't mean anything because she gets stabbed like 10, 15. He hears it. He hears the commotion and runs in. Yeah, she's still so, like, alive when he camera, gets in the room. So, that doesn't that's actually right, mean yeah, anything. Yeah, that's so, like, fair. that doesn't absolve him at all if, if that's the logic that the film. Wow. So, like, that just doesn't work at all. That is the oh, logic great. the film has, yeah. Oh. Holy shit! So um, and they show no us place. they show us the scene. She's wow. still like she's still like gasping while he's there. So she's not yeah, actually. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't even work. Wow! Wow! Oh wow! Great, wow, we wow, made wow, it even wow, worse. Wow. Great. <laughs> well, and and this is especially relevant because he is absolved by being spotted in that store at the end of the film. So yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. Jesus Christ! And I was just gonna highlight like how bad this is already. We haven't even gotten to the multiverse. No, we haven't gotten to the time travel and the multiverse and all of the insane <sighs> shit that stems from that. Like, it's... Yeah. This is the thing, it's, it's kind of... It, this is one of those ones where it's just like, this is gonna be awful, isn't it? And then you're like, it didn't have to be this awful again! Why do bad. they... Like, why, why they are you so making, bad at this? Why do they keep making the, shitty movies? Like, just make it... Drafts. It could be mediocre, mm. you know? It could be like, eh. It could be four, five, six out of ten. You know, in that general middling kind of <laughs> no, that middle it area. To, it has to be like a no, one or two. It has, it has to. to be shit. <laughs> it has to be the worst movie ever made every time. Please care. Please <sighs> care. Please. They don't give a What's fuck. The, why does it have to be broken in every single regard? And now you're going to make a Batman movie. <laughs> Like, yeah. It's seriously like they just the first draft is just what they went with. It's just like an afternoon. Uh, the Flash says this, and then the Batman says this, and then the time travel ruins everything. And then there's two berries, and he eats salad and falls asleep, and then the movie ends. And like it's just done. That's that's it. Do we want to revise the draft? It's like oh, I might check it for spelling, but you know, it doesn't really matter. And they just go with it. No one goes Ugh. through these things and is like, oh, does any of this make sense? This doesn't matter. No, whatever. It's fine. We'll just, you know what? Instead of me making a good movie, what if we 
make more Batman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, oh, this is like the cowbell. This is like the cowbell skit. More cowbell. But we need more Batman. More Batman. More Batman. They did a few <laughs> Batmans in this, but there wasn't enough. They did need more. If only we had more Batman. The reason I brought that up, by the way, the whole, like, we haven't hit the multiverse yet is because we're literally about to hit the multiverse now. This is a, this yeah. is it. The, the next thing that happens oh, is he me... speeds off angrily, and then he goes, Wait, whoa! Wait. And he's in a coliseum um, of things. Does nobody have a comment about his father telling him to call the cops and him running out of the house? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, he's a kid, <laughs> Harry, call 911! So, he's... <laughs> like, he's smart. He got smart. scared. He runs outside, <laughs> hoping to find uh, the It is a little funny. Officer. It is really It is. Imagine he ran out immediately and said, My dad killed my mom! My dad killed my mom! <laughs> oh god, he told me to get the police, but I didn't listen! <laughs> it's a trap! The police are in on it! My dad's evil! Oh my he wasn't god. getting soup at all! He was getting a knife to stab my mom! If he was, <laughs> he was supposed to get death. soup, how come he didn't come back with soup? <laughs> this story doesn't add up! Oh my god. Yeah, I, I, I bet his fingerprints are on his own knife, that's evidence. <laughs> 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 I, I do have a comment though about um what was it called the uh about the, about the the scene in between the the coliseum and the flashback because something very funny happens that i feel must be highlighted very well because we 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 get this uh we, you know we see barry he's all sad oh no my oh no i'm sad i saw the house and then he like uh he, he starts running and we and we get this shot of his legs going faster and faster and faster he's speeding up he's speeding up and then he and then we get to the green screen shot he zooms off at super speed and he's his legs are going slower as he speeds up now what the fuck <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this shit screen. works. Okay, this is the fastest he's ever gone because this he—that's how he unlocks the multiverse, uh, I guess. <laughs> so, and right, when you so go really like, fast, yeah, you we, slow down, obviously. Um, well, you know that's how he runs. That's like his his run. Escaping, he's like, man. Well, it's like when so fast that he enters a multiverse that has a user right. interface designed for him. Yes, <laughs> you know you know when a you know when a like a ceiling fan or or a desk fan thing spins so fast you can start seeing it. It looks like it's spinning slowly. Like the blades they create like an oh, image. Around. That's, that's what you're seeing. Uh, it's not that he's point. moving that's... slower. He's he's just really really fast. Okay. Yeah, it's like the wheels on a car. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or a Beyblade. I thought that was meant to. Uh, convey like he's <laughs> now entering the speed force i'm just making fun of it i don't really <laughs> does this film even say what the speed force is or is is that just uh... so like is that an incredible amount of meta doing the heavy lifting i think they try to avoid explaining justice league too much do they about, have the rights yeah. to the speed force i'm sure they do like they just Tolkien thing it's just the less yeah, you explain you, about it the better the right speed force? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they do in the film. Okay, yeah. I can't remember. I think uh, it's, it's interesting how we don't all have a definitive answer in the affirmative, but it's, it's well, like, it's like I think they did. It's a complicated disaster. This, you know, it's, it's, it is a complicated. <laughs> it's very it's like spaghetti. It is very Lash spaghetti. Uh, yeah. So, gonna, oh, and how no, does this work with him going back in? How with him running super fast in the the Snyder cut or the? How does that? What? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Is he running but faster tonight. than that or s slow? I assume he's running faster than the time travel one if he can go to different dimensions. Oh shit, you're, yeah. Hang on. So, sorry, if that's what you're asking is like, what's the difference between him running so fast he reverses time and running so fast he has access to the multiversal DVD menu or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, what? what how um, does that even... Is it like, like, is it like I start on my left foot or start on my right foot? Or maybe <laughs> it, 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 maybe it's a pure speed thing where you have like little... Like little windows. If you run between this speed and this speed, you can cross yeah. dimensions. But if you run between yeah. this speed and this speed, now we're and now he... it's just time travel, and that's different. How did he not already know that he could time travel? He oh, you know, he kind he of did. did but, well, he did from the Snyder cut. Yeah. Well, well, uh, I when Mahler and I were watching the movie, I had suggested that this time travel thing it should have been something that was on his mind for a long time, like in between movies and stuff, where he's been thinking about yeah. it. You know, and he's. And he's like researching it and he's looking at all these books and he's watching videos and he's like learning about the what's the theory behind, you know, quantum this and, and time travel that and everything. And then maybe that's what clues Batman in to be like, oh, shit, is Barry thinking about doing some time travel shenanigans? I'd better say, no, Barry, don't do it. This is bad stuff. Don't do it. But instead, the film is just like, I don't know, they talk in an alley, I guess, about it. Well, yeah, because... Uh... Has he? There, there should have been that conversation. You're right, where he says like, "I reversed it enough so that we could kill Darkseid." 
maybe I could reverse it really far. And what, you know, mm -hmm. what does that mean? Can I, right. can I really undo some disasters? And then you have Batfleck be like, eh, don't. And then that's this it. Is dumb. <laughs> We're going to get to that, actually. But yeah, so he, he says he, our scars make us who we are and all that. So yeah, we'll get there. Uh, when we enter the multiversal Colosseum, Flema, it's it's the thing that uh, he, the director's trying to defend. Um, you see, like, think of it as, like, as was said, a Colosseum where he's in the center of it uh, on, like, a treadmill that's just running constantly. But he's running backwards, right? His legs are going backwards, I think. I, I can't remember. But they do at some point. Like like. <laughs> um, the way it works is, like, loads of... Think of it as a frame from a movie, but then repeated over and over again in a big circle, and then a layer up is a different part of a different movie, the same thing, and up again, and up again, and up again, and they're all, like, playing. But they're all not from the movies. They're all recreations in CG that are really bad, and apparently they are bad on purpose. Now, I'm willing to concede that there was some uh, intention of trying to make them look particularly stylized, it just looks like shit. Yeah, it looks which, really which bad. Which both of those things like, can be possible. Like, yeah, compare this uh, look to the look that the Kryptonian ship in Man of Steel decided to recreate the events of, like, the fall of Krypton. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the, like... This, um, I, I don't understand it because of how much time this has been cooking as a film, but I guess they were actually happy with what they had there. They were like, yep, this is the style we want. Do you think many of the animators are like, this is the style you want? And he was like, yes. And they're like, okay. So the style is called unfinished. We're just gonna let it be. That's fine. Um, yeah, and so he sees all of that and he concludes by poking... Oh, you remember this? He pokes his head through and they... It's, uh, I've seen the meme on Twitter where it's like, it's like so love and thunder bullshit yeah. all Lo over again. Love oh and thunder literally God. set out a challenge and the flash said, hold my beer. It was like, I got this. <laughs> it's the same thing that like disembodied head floating there uh, with, with weird CG bullshit behind it. It's like, wow, mm -hmm. you did it again. <laughs> did, did you guys not know that everyone Enough made fun heads. of the other movie for it? You've had like love and thunder has been out for how long? That people have been making fun of that particular moment of Love and Thunder for how long? I I just don't get it. How did nobody on the team it's be like, the we only should probably see that movie has? We should probably alter this, and you'd be like, how? And it's like, just don't do it with the floaty head. It looks terrible. It, it, people make fun. That just don't. Or do you think yeah, they were like, be fuck there, it? We've but got like translucent or something, or they're like, something like that know, could uh, work. Something maybe. But, but do you think that uh, there, no they were anything. like, there's so much bad shit in here. Whatever, just let it go. There's no point in trying to hide a little bit of it. <laughs> we've got to move on. It's like we, if I, well, we've got to move on to the other ninety-seven thousand things we've got to animate. If we have time, we'll come back and give it a second pass. And they, of course, never did. But mm -hmm. that was probably what they like. We've got to do at least all of it. You know, the first run through. Anyway, uh, from that anyway. he concludes, holy shit, I can go back in time and change events. Walk through walls, disappear, and if fly, I can he's find a way. the other guy. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, he goes to talk to really... Bruce, and he's like, you can travel back through time? And he's like, yeah. Which I thought was weird, because they already knew that. Um, and then he's like, that uh, sounds like it's gonna be irresponsible. And he's like, I figured you'd say that. Because you have no idea what the consequences would be, which is just, yep, that's the normal thing to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, but I can fix things. I can save your parents. And then he says the thing. He says, Barry, these scars we have, they make us who we are. We're not meant to go back and fix them. There's nothing broken about you. It's, you know, that's, that's, that's to be, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> and he says, take it from a guy <laughs> who's made a lot of mistakes. Don't live in your past. Live your life. Don't let your tragedy define you. Uh, you contradicted yourself. Wait, I did or he did? <laughs> he did a little bit. These scars make us who we are. Don't let your past find you. It's like, you kind of just did, though, a little bit. That's <laughs> true. Yeah. I yeah, understand yeah, um, the spirit of what he's saying. Well, Barry even says... It is kind of funny just, to be like, yeah. It is. I, I, th yeah. I think Bruce is, like, genuinely, I think Bruce is saying that he is a victim of that, and it's not, that's not a good thing. Because he says... Yeah, yeah, like, I've, I've been a little bit, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> like, Barry says your tragedy made you a hero, and he says it also made me alone. Mm -hmm. What he... Well, I think what they could have done is, they could have just had uh, Bruce say, well... My parents dying is a canon event. And no one would have given a shit. <laughs> well, uh, what, 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 the the point being in this case is that's what Batman is saying to uh to Flash. Flash ain't really uh. Well, 
I thought it was like the whole your tragedy made you a hero. Him saying it also made me a load. I was like, well, that's the way you've written that. That's going to prompt now Barry to say something, and he does. He says, "Do you want to hang out?" And then mm -hmm. Bruce is like, "Not this time. Maybe, maybe some other time." I was just like, "That that that almost feels like a menace statement, doesn't it?" <laughs> well, yeah. I was like, "You, why did you write it that way?" Because now you have to have it awkwardly end when it was like kind of the most meaningful thing you say in this whole movie, and then you have this ending and of like, "I'm alone." It's like I could hang out with you, and he's like, "No." <laughs> no, we don't have time for that. We gotta get in the multiverse stuff. Uh, by the way, that's the end of you never. See, that's the end of uh, ba that's Ben Affleck, Affleck Batman. Affleck. That's it. Yeah, that's Bye, Ben Affleck Batman. And I will yeah. say, I will it say, it wasn't both your fault. Both his Bruce away Wayne his Mercedes down the alley. Goodbye. Both his it Bruce was, were, Wayne and Batman right, appearances were uh, solid, considering they were both like two minutes long. At maximum. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, kind of. It's sad that uh, we never got to see a fully realized like Ben Affleck. Batman, Bruce Wayne, in the way it that could have been well, a great Batman. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's uh, it is a little bit sad, isn't it? Um, he really could what, have been a great potential that was. I mean, it's like it's they had three. I mean, super great. They had a great Superman actor, great Batman actor, and they're just like, well, we'll never get to know what that could have been. You know, no, that we sucks. never really will, and it's not that their fault. Sucks. It was what, the fault but, of the uh, what, uh, the writing and direction. What? What? Hmm? Did someone hear that? Did y'all hear that? I heard a whistle, but I don't know who that was. That was me. I was just uh, sending off Ben Affleck with a whistle. Oh, okay. All right. Don't grumble. Give a whistle. Mm. Yeah, he's gone. And uh, it's also, uh, it's also funny that Barry mentioned uh, that he's like, yeah, yeah, butterfly effect. I understand. And then he proceeds the movie not understanding the butterfly effect like at well, all. Well, so yeah. it's, it's a problem one way or the other. On one way, uh, Ben Affleck believes, or rather Batman b believes he understands the issue, which makes him a complete fool. Or he doesn't mm -hmm. believe that Barry understands, in which case he should be fucking following him. And you know what? Yeah. It would have been an excuse for another action scene to have Barry commit to the whole multiversal traveling thing. He's gonna do it, and then Batman comes to stop him, and then they have to, like, do a thing, you know? Because I, I think it's retarded that Batman's like, like oh, Batman, you're Strange, intending to save Batman. my parents and your mum, and you believe you can do this with no consequences? Well, you shouldn't. Bye. Like, mm -hmm. he's gonna do it, dude. He's gonna do it. He's obviously gonna yeah. do it. And and what he's what's interesting is that there should be this... So, there's a couple, like, little layers here, right? In terms of the, the sort of things that maybe a smarter, more intelligent, deep-thinking writer might have gone with. If you're Bruce Wayne, and you really believe that if this guy, this, this kid, essentially, it has the power to time travel, cross universes, do stuff like that, that means that you would be living in, like, existential terror, that you might just stop existing one moment, right. and a different version of, like, everything in reality is constantly... like It's, it's, like, a, it's like, you essentially have someone who's a reset button for the universe, and they can press it at any moment, and you just have to live knowing that that's something that they could just do whenever they want to. And that must be a really weighty thing to have on your mind. But there is also, when it comes to the element of being a time traveler, there's this idea that if you can, as was established in the, um, the, the Zack Snyder, the Snyder <laughs> cut of Justice League, right? If you can constantly reset anytime you want without consequences, then it devalues everything. Yep. No event, no person, no accomplishment, l nothing has any value. Every conversation that you have with someone, every thing that you do, everything that happens to you, you can just reset it. People aren't even people. There is, there, there's, not, there's not even like a person there because if you ever, if something bad happens to you that you don't want, or if you have a conversation with someone and it doesn't go your way, it's fine, just reset it. It, nothing has well, any um, finality. Nothing has any value to it. I mean, think about this, uh, Rags. From what we discover in this movie, it's not set in stone that Darkseid successfully invades and kills like all of the Justice League. But it is set in stone that the Flash's mum dies. Like, it's one of these like why? who's writing this shit? Why, <laughs> Who why decides that set... shit? Yeah, it's like why is this? George? Why is this a thing that has to happen? Why is this a canon of it? Why why is this a thing that just happens to be? Like seriously, is is someone? Is there like some deity, some some agent that's making it to where it has to be this way? Because there's no, like, there's no logical or intuitive link between these things happening, right? How come the universe resets 
if the Flash's mom lives? Like what? Mm-hmm. Like why is that? What? What's the link? What? How does one lead well, you know to what? the other? We'll go. Th- we'll go even heavier on that once we get the person to explain all the mechanics when we get there. The exposition right. scene. Yeah, sure. Because we're not. Well, we're a little <laughs> far away, I guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, Iris just pops up, and she's, like, on a hang, and, uh, there's a, there's a couple jokes, one of them is, she's like, wow, you have fancy friends, and he says, it was an Uber, executive Uber, uh, cause obviously what it was fucking super expensive thing, it's like, 50-50 joke, and she says, I'm not here as a reporter, can we talk, which is the quickest way to trust um, a reporter, no. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> So here's okay, the thing, just, like, yeah. uh, uh, go if you're a reporter, it's just like fuck, it's like you're if you're a game journalist, just fucking stay away from me. It's like it doesn't matter. You're <laughs> it's just like I, you're trying to get news from me. You're trying to get something. I just don't believe you, especially after the last thing that you said to me. You know, I just don't. You, you know, we're not gonna be friends. You're trying to weasel your way into learning into about a story. Things. Yeah, which sucks. Yeah. Imagine like go when away. they're selecting difficulty, they say I'm not here as a game journalist. I'm not here as a game <laughs> journalist. I'm not here as a game journalist. <laughs> no, then they actually play the hard mode. It's like, oh, That's finally, the, way they the way I want. Ah, <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> I can pretend I like video games. I, no, I can, finally, I can enjoy video games. Enough of this charade. Ah, oh, I'm not even yeah. getting paid to play this video game. I'm doing it because I enjoy it. Uh, so, grabs a, well, he, he, like, fast cleans up his room, uh, it turns into like a slapstick comedy for like five minutes. And yeah, kind of. I but, hated it to be honest. Personally, I didn't find it funny at all. I was just like, I, I like. like I, it was I think meh. it's. A, I thought it was. It's like yeah. It's like a lot of sometimes the jokes. There's a couple jokes in here that I was like, oh, okay, it was good. And this is also yeah, one of those meh ones. Of course, the Flash is like, oh shit, a girl's coming over, and he uses his super Flash powers to clean up his place really, really, really quickly before he opens the door. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's amusing, it's, you know, it's something, you know. It's, yeah. Yeah, I can I, tell I, just by, just by the, the way the shot was framed, because it was very jarring to me when they mm. were standing in the doorway, um, and he's walking over, and there's this very clear cut in the middle of the frame. He was going to lean on the wall, and the closet was going to pop open. Yeah. Uh, coming from a mile away. Mm-hmm. Uh, he phases through the wall to grab beers, and uh, as someone who's not that familiar with Flash's powers, I was like, what the fuck? What the <laughs> fuck are you walls. doing? Um, yeah. But that's how they introduced that. How that's, to do that. Yeah, he figured that out at some point, and that's something he can do. It's gonna come up uh, later in a couple of ways. Um, and the and the beer pops when he opens it. It goes, which uh, yeah. is another meme. Yeah, I didn't mind that yeah, one. That's, right. a, that's a pretty good, really good joke. It's a pretty good joke. Enjoyed that it, it didn't interrupt the scene. Like, it just happened, and mm-hmm. they brushed it off. They didn't dwell on it or well, anything. Well, we sort of pass by another little subtle one where as they're, as they're after he cleans up the room super fast and they walk into the room, he steadies the light fixture because it's kind of swaying a little bit, and he reaches up and he makes it still as they're having a conversation. Like, oh, that's nice little <laughs> subtle. Like, oh, that's a little, little slightly amusing. Oh, look at you go. You're sort of making some... You're doing a, doing a humor. All right. Look at you. So anyway... They're talking. Yeah. She says, I should have been more sensitive. And he says, I could have been less sensitive. And she's like, you lost so much. Both parents and technically through the system. And she's like, you wanted to fix it, right? That's why you became a forensics person. And he says, yeah, fix it. If I could just go back and fix it. I could fix it. And I was sitting there like, "You're." that was literally your point of view with Bruce. What do you mean? Why are you saying this? Yeah. Like, this is just what, discovered. Yeah. What? Th- yeah, this was... You- you haven't thought about this since the first time you realized you could time travel. That wasn't like your first thing you thought about. But like, I, I don't, no. I don't buy it. it. That's exactly what he was saying earlier. It's like I could make it so our parents didn't die. It's like, oh, you mean like fix it? But for some reason, yeah. in this scene, when she says fix it, he's like, wait a minute, fix <gasps> it. Fix oh my it. god, yeah. that's it. Euphoria. That's <laughs> you, you. What's the word? You, Eureka. That's it. <laughs> like you, we, I, we discovered the truth. Fix it. That's just what I needed to hear. Now I will do the this multiverse. This is like we did it. This is like if Iris shows up late for the date and she says, "Oh, sorry, it took me so much time to, you know, travel over here." He's like, "Wait, time to travel? Oh, <laughs> time, time travel? Time? Wait a second. Wait, wait there." And then he goes off and he. If I could turn back time, you should have just 
gone really clunky with it uh, in this movie and had Iris be like, man, you know, I never told anybody this, but my mom almost died if I hadn't told her to get some soup. And, uh, <laughs> you know, just that sometimes you just can't go back in time and tell someone to or drop a soup can, you know, you know I what I mean? You were going, I thought you were going a different <laughs> angle where she's like, man, sometimes, you know, I sometimes I wonder if, you know, if I had a time machine, what I would do with it. And uh, I would probably go back and save you know, my mom from dying and my dad from being, from being framed for Didn't her she murder. Say that, Doesn't she actually yeah. mention the desire to travel back in time? Does she? I, th I thought he... Oh, if, if we could only... I think she does. I thought, I thought he said something like, if I could only go back, and then she's like, yeah, you know, we, we all wish that or whatever. But, yeah, it's just... There's so many examples of how uh, rough the writing is in terms of just... There's, there's just no subtlety at all. Um, and it's kind of sad because like everything else is already going to be fucked because like the multiversal rules but you can't even get like basic dialogue to sound even remotely real it's just yeah. uh, the goals of pushing the plot along is, is all the writing is um yeah and I like also that he he goes on this ramble and it's like oh I can do this and this and this and this and just unlocks his supercomputer right in front of her and then leaves <laughs> it's like oh you probably don't want to do that. His, um, yeah. his logic, by the way, is that if I get her that soup can, she won't send the dad off to go and get it, and thus he will be in the house and able to protect her from the guy who stabs, right? Yes. But what, I... if, what if the dad just got stabbed as well? Dad yeah, would what if be the whole family got murdered? Hilarious. You'd be like, oh, fuck. No. Damn, I killed them both. I, I just, like, yeah, uh, it's so weird that he didn't want to find out who did the stabbing and maybe just stop them as they enter the house. He just fucking punches them in the face. Yeah, he just yeah. waits outside the house, you know, by there. And then once the guy shows up, yeah, he just punches him. He just clocks him in the face, saves his mom. Wouldn't he considered that to be, like, too much interaction? <laughs> the, 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 the consequence is the mom staying alive, is it not? That's the reason that everything fucks up. It's not like the moving the can was the reason everything changed necessarily. Because this that's another problem, is that the idea it, it, they literally use the term butterfly effect and yet don't respect what that means. Mm -hmm. That if you go back in time and are present there at all, that means you've changed everything. But you being there is a completely thing that shouldn't have happened. The idea that it's like, oh, moving a can versus punching a guy in the face, you know, consequently the they punch is way bigger, right? And it's like not necessarily. They should have gone with like ripples. Like, well, he's like changing something in time is like, you know, throwing rock in a pond where, you know, everything you do makes makes a ripple. So make sure that if you go back in time, you just make tiny, tiny little ripples that don't go very far. It doesn't really change anything big. You know, just, just do little things, do little things. The less you change, you know, the safer you are. And this is like, nah, spaghetti. Yeah. That's actually what they, as a comparison, that's what, you, what they do in the Flashpoint Paradox. That's like the only rule they put up. It's like, yeah, if you change something, it changes things in front and back that's all there's no multiverse shenanigans going on it's just uh mm -hmm. this is funny to see because they they base a lot of it from there and it's like you had it right there why did you add all these bullshit things to those because rules they needed batman and batman and, and batman, batman. <laughs> and i'm pretty sure yeah. Rod and um, batman bat fleck batman. says bat like fleck. even a change of the a blade of grass could make like serious consequence of difference and then uh barry says as he's leaving like i can go there and back without ever making much of a difference and it's just like you're just much avoiding the like you, it, <laughs> dialogue is easier when you don't have to actually address anything you're just like eh, fuck it barry's yeah. gonna do it anyway uh we don't want to have an interesting we don't want to have an interesting conversation batman. we just want batman and batman and superman and superman <laughs> I mean, it would have appealed to be like, if you change something, then like you might make it to where that like, I don't even exist. Like we don't, we, we don't well, ever you don't even exist, right? Or, or you don't even exist. Like the version of you like changes and we don't know how that, like, I, this is all theoretical. It's never been done. You might like, we don't know if it causes, so if we don't know how these time paradoxes might resolve if you cause yourself to not exist. And I mean, we like, you, you can't do this. Here's reasons one through 89. And, and there's many more, I'm sure you, you just can't do it. 89. But Bruce huh? is like, nah, you probably won't. Uh, you probably won't do it. It's fine. Whatever. Reasons... I'm going to go drive away in my Mercedes Benz. Reasons 1 through Batman 89. Batman 89. So he does it, goes back, puts the can in the cart, and uh, things change. Um, I'm considering 
us having the big multiversal discussion now, involving the information we get later, instead of waiting until later, because uh, foundationally it might be more straightforward, because then we don't have to keep revealing and going backward or whatever, like, in terms of re-explaining everything. He does it, and he starts, like, moving forward, and he starts seeing these events where his mum is celebrating his birthday and hanging out with him as he's growing up, which, of course, didn't happen originally because she was dead. And he's, like, smiling, looking at it. And I think one of the first thoughts that we were having was, like, oh, but you're not experiencing that. Someone else yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're you're giving a you. you're giving a different version of Barry a life where he lives with his mom, but like you aren't like yeah, you're you, not gonna experience any of that yourself. If anything, like what you might conclude now is that you're an anomaly. You come from a deleted timeline. You're yep. just existing in this bubble and you're about to teleport yourself into a world where there's a different Barry. Like that should probably be the first thought you have. Cause the, yeah, because Barry is supposed it, it's kind of a problem with the movie. Barry's an idiot in this movie, but they say he's super smart, and some of the things that he does kind of depend on him being super smart, but the way that he mm -hmm. talks and the way that he thinks about things and what he does, especially regarding how he thinks time travel would work, make him seem really, really stupid. And so, uh, with how the rules work, is that you go back in time, you change anything, it'll fuck the whole timeline in terms of it pivots the whole thing so everything's different. But some things are the same, because there are intersections. Uh, there's still a, yeah, you because of course, you know, there's always going to be a city called whatever. There's always going to be a Batman, I guess. There's always going to be a lighthouse a and a girl. Yeah, yeah, Ooh. it's not like, oh, actually, the dominant species on Earth is highly evolved arthropods or something like that. No, you know, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing. It's that kind of different. Um, where it's different enough to where you don't notice it at first until someone says... Oh, well, what about that stuff? Like, and so to <coughs> try and iron this out a little bit, uh, if we're using the information we have from the whole film now, just mechanics-wise, uh, it's said that Barry doing this creates the multiverse. Yes. So, if that's true, then before he did that, there were no other universes? Uh, Which like, would be the same problem that, problem that Loki has, right? That every other... Marvel timeline didn't exist until Loki, but multiverses were made and were were already elaborated but, on in Doctor Strange. Right. Well, yeah, uh, let's yeah. let's not get tangled up in Marvel's no, rules. Because, no, These no, ones no, are more this, because in the same way, there should have been a multiverse created when he time traveled in the Snyder Cut, right? Well, just the idea that he would create the multiverse in and of itself was like really like it doesn't just exist sort of on its own. Mm -hmm. That, that really yeah, or, shouldn't be how it works. Or it's just, or they're, they're just like theoretical kind well, so of multiverses, but I'm trying to be one reality. But... Kind to the film as possible, right? The pivot explanation comes in, and then Bruce says, when you fuck around with it enough, it creates the multiverse. So, did Barry do it, or did the spooky purple Barry do it when he did the thing Bruce is kind of alluding to? Where you go back and forth, uh, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until it just goes. Pfft. Um, because I have so many issues, no matter what the answer is. Uh, one of them, for example, is the implication that we have just timeline one, and that's it. That's just, that's everything. That's all of it. Barry does his thing, and he creates Batman 89 universe? Yeah. Question mark? Really dumb. It's awkward. It's really complicated to even uh, make and then sense of it. <laughs> to go to that so, universe, or to be in that universe, and to speak to Batman himself. And Batman seems to be at peace with the idea that his is the universe as a result of a skewed Prime one. Do you but, know what I mean? Yeah, the, right. You have that, but then there is also... In, the way that he explains it almost makes it sound like Barry didn't create new timelines... He essentially catapulted himself into another timeline where there was like a crossover point. You know how like he does the he does the explanation of you know how like general time travel rulers imagine there's a strand. This line represents time. You do something at X point, it branches off from X point into a new one. Whereas mm -hmm. he does the overlap of the spaghetti that goes you know backwards and forwards in time. I kind of read that as oh, so like Barry's changed the universe that he's in. He hasn't like. So does that mean so much that he's put only himself one... in a different timeline? Like he... there can only be one timeline at any given time, and it's just no, however not you that, mix it but... and match it. No, 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 it just, like you legit... just scramble it. No, no, no. I was thinking like actual like multiverse travel, 
that he's not changing timelines. He's essentially putting himself into existing into different, different timelines. So then did he happen. affect his original timeline at all? So the problem is, so I don't go know, there, because, theoretically. because something that Barry says is, like, I created a world with no metahumans. It's like, well, you didn't create it, right? Like, that, it's not that you create, but that, to be fair, he says that before he meets Bruce Wayne. Um, mm. I think that the film plays fast and loose on purpose, because it doesn't want to actually decide on what its rules are. Is it time travel? Is it multiverse travel? Is it a mixture of both? I have no idea. I think it makes zero know. sense no matter what you choose. You kind of just have yeah. to no talk matter. about the different potentials. Well, yeah, because because to, to touch on that, something that Barry starts to realize throughout the film is, well, wait a minute, I only changed time at this point in time. Why is it that people, you know, who were born before this happened weren't born or things didn't play out in that way? And then um, Bruce is like, oh, time obviously isn't linear, right? And it's like, okay. Um, okay, you if know, you say like, so. The, the, obviously. The consequences, the consequences of the choices you make don't only span into the future, but they also span into the past. And that further confuses me, because it's like, so you didn't go to a different multiverse then. You created a multiverse, essentially, by doing this. A multiverse where it not only deviates in the future, but is significantly different in the past, which... I don't really understand that either. Well, it sounds like, like this is the original instance of it, but yet Bruce has the most clarity-induced take on all of this out of all the characters. Exactly. Why? He was so but, sure of his uh, of And he his does it immediately and calmly. Yeah. And he's, a, he's at peace with the idea that his universe is a result of a different one being skewed, or that Barry jumped into his from, from his own one. Like, why is this so normal to him, and why does it feel like he's explained it before? What's his history yeah, with the multiverse? It's normal to him when he presumably has, like, no history with the multiverse in... No. Which, again, this is meant to be a continuation of the Tim Burton films. I basically don't consider it that. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real. I don't you, look you, at those Tim Burton films and think, yeah, this is, like, the direct sequel to those stories. It just doesn't... To be honest, yeah, if you watch the two like of those that. and then you think of Snyder vs. Zod arriving in it, it's just like, no. Nah, it's just... <laughs> no. It really is no. incompatible, isn't it? No, because what you have here is a is an because if this is supposed to be the continuation of those films, what is the Tim Burton verse? Oh well, it's a mangled version of the DCEU that Barry created, um, and um, you have the two films there, and then he cleans up Gotham in between, and then Zod comes down and skull fucks the planet, and that's the end of the Tim Burton Batman universe. Like you just can't Tim do Burton that. probably enjoys skull fucking though. True. <laughs> I think that uh, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. That's just kind of my conclusion here. I don't think yeah. it makes sense at all. And the idea None. that it's something that Barry can directly interface with convenient, simple user controls and everything as well. I don't really understand that. The fact that the ability for him to travel backwards or forward in time is bound to his life events rather than anything possible. I don't get that either. You know, that like the only places he can travel to seemingly are points in his life. Right. rather than any place at any time because does the speed force recognize his own existence all the way back to when he was a kid before he had the speed force that could give him some kind of connection to those points in time rather than just being able to move to any point in time and space ever um do, do you get what i mean yeah um but there's well there's i was also gonna on your on your point about the catapulting thing wouldn't he catapult himself the second he goes back? Because that's already a different universe. It has. To, well, the problem is that like a lot of time travel stories don't want to deal with that. But like the fact that you ex you said it before, the fact that you even exist there, you displace the air particles. That's going to change reality. Yeah, those two universes like, well, can't stupid. coexist. Like, they have they to be can't different. Coexist. It is a fundamentally different. It was the same problem that fucking end. Wait, like, no, we don't need to talk about. Well, we, we do, because Marvel, like, this film movies, has the exact same fucking line that Endgame does. He's like, I bet you learned a lot about time travel from movies. Well, they, they don't get it right. Like, what they tell you in those movies is <laughs> uh, bullshit. Yeah, it's, it's like, stop it's not, saying that. It's yeah, so it's annoying. Back to the Future is a bunch of bullshit. It's like, Back to the Future makes more sense than you. Fuck off. Like, don't mm -hmm. shit on Both of you. better than you. <laughs> like, in terms of storytelling. Because, yeah, this is another one where it's like, it, it almost, it's like, oh, we're clever because we're not going with the standard rules. It's like, have you ever thought why they're the standard rules? <laughs> have you ever thought that it might just be because they make a little more sense? Or a little if less he, if fucking confusing. Because then well, if, if, if he it's created that... Story with them. If, he, if he did create that multiverse, it means he created the Wombo Flash version. And um, that kicks him out, uh, but that yeah, can't ex yeah. but that can't exist because that didn't exist before. Well, didn't and Pimple Flash say that he 
he enabled his own existence. He made Barry create him or something. That's something yeah, he says. Yeah, it was the ultimate. But, yeah, but it's, which um... just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I mean, they <laughs> called it an endless paradox and fixed it with it's that in their mind. Sort of it's thing. a paradox. Um, it's, it's, well, it's, something, it's, it's something as well that's because because we basically find out that this is true. Like the younger Barry that he meets in this alternate universe is not him. He's like a different. It's not him in the past. Mm -hmm. He's a different person because when he dies, you know, spoiler or whatever, that <laughs> kills Dark Flash, but doesn't kill right. normal Flash because he's from an alternate timeline. It's something that a lot of time travel films struggle with. Mm -hmm. So X-Men Days of Future Past, when Wolverine goes back to the present, he like kills essentially the yes. version of himself that existed in that timeline. He supplants his consciousness. Um, there's time travel stories that have those kind of problems of dealing with like you know, if you essentially Where transplant you that person what into the consciousness that exists there, this film is different. It seems as though you essentially exist in a world where there is just another version of you. When you travel to a different timeline and change the past, there's a different version of you, which of course poses problems at the end of the movie, because at the end of the movie, there is Barry in this universe who has no memories or familiarity with anything that's happened in this universe and it's like well so where's the barry that was here where's the barry who did know uh george clooney batman who exists right. in this world where yep. is he, he so we get we get a serious problem for that in the uh the desert part where um like the big wasteland part if we're told yep. that uh barry yes. 2 is traveling back in time over and over and over and over and over and over again there should be like thousands of flashes yeah there should be yeah. there should be thousands because of in flashes in the desert scene, you see the two fl flashes yeah, in that time currently, and then they just exactly. walk away from it. And it's like, oh, wait, where did where they yeah, go? Yeah, there should be four no, flashes not... when one flash would have been enough to wipe out the entire army. Oh, God. Oh, easily. Which, by the way, when you said like, four flashes, I thought you said something else for a second. There was, a, there was an episode <laughs> of, uh, it was one of the Family Guy uh, Road 2 episodes. I think it was Road, Road to, to the, the Pilot that, de that dealt. No, I, no, it wasn't that one. It was, um, it was one where oh, they traveled the pilot, back in yeah. time to the pilot. And they deal with the problem of duplicate, you know, duplicate um, Stewies yeah. and Brian. And then they have to try and deal with that. Yes, Family Guy family handled guy this made better. more of a serious attempt. <laughs> more of a serious, meaningful Late attempt at actually dealing with better. time travel. Well, you, I mean, that's the reality of it. This film is about time travel and multiverse. And they don't, they don't know what their rules are. They, they don't know. I don't think that the, well, I don't think well, that I the don't director will write it. Yeah, because it's, trying it's, to... it's challenging. You know, to deal yeah. with it if you actually have like concrete oh, no. answers to these problems. Uh, so it was just yeah. highlighted. That's true. Batman and Robin is canon to the Burton Batman. There are characters that connect it and histories. That's true. And Batman oh, says right. in that movie, this is why Superman works alone. Superman exists uh, in the Burton universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, no, but the problem well, we, is. But that, we um, don't know but... if Superman is an actual person or if he's just a character. Mm. Right? Mm. So in the Burton verse, right? Well, you mean like they're they referencing a comic? It but it would be Batman Returns. Well, wait a second. That means that it would be an insane coincidence. Maybe they just have a different character named Superman who only works alone. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But Burton's safe. He's fine. In that universe. Also, Superman no, I, I don't buy it because Keaton, Keaton Batman is the first he's ever heard of Superman from uh, uh, Ezra Miller Flash, and wouldn't he? At that point, be like it's like the funny. comic character, yeah, if that were true. I think uh, in this film, they've decided that Batman Forever and Batman and Robin aren't canon. They've decided that those aren't. That's their um, mistake just... to make. That Ooh, is their mistake. mistake. To make. <laughs> that is their mistake. Um, Arnie's Mister Freeze is alive and well in that universe, and he should have been in this. No. <laughs> he should have been. No. And then, oh, of but course, we get to that universe by the end. Well, because we get George Clooney at the end, don't you see? And. That's something to further elaborate on. Flash doesn't seem to give a shit that he he deleted potential his best friend potentially seemingly did yeah. delete Ben Affleck Batman from existence. Yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't give a shit. Um, his potential him. father figure, even if they would have gone that particular route, which they could have but didn't. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, his. Yep. He's yeah, but we'll we'll get there. Oh. He cares about it for a little bit. Um, at the very beginning, yeah. he's he's like super concerned with not wanting to change anything and wanted to go back. Uh, but then he does like a complete 180 when he realizes that this new, this younger Barry isn't going to get his powers. And, oh yeah, uh, we're, we're almost that, that will have some effect on him. We're almost there because I, I have so many more questions as soon as he gets to talk into that Barry and and the conclusions. Our ba mm -hmm. should we just say Barry one and Barry two? I think that's probably the easiest that's way. What to they are, that's what yeah. they are in my notes. Yeah. In my I notes, call, it's call, Barry one and Barry two. Well, it's Barry and Barry two. I called him Young Flash. <laughs> Them I've just been calling Barry, them Barry, Barry, and Monster Flash. Monster Barry. 
Um, so, yeah, uh, I wanted to punch the actor when he said, Is that Barry? He's early. What universe is this? Oh, God. I'm like, uh... Thank you. Gross. Okay. Uh-huh. And then, uh, and then Barry with his mum is like, "How's your day been?" Or, well, your 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 mo- your month, your last eighteen years, which which is weird because we have shared memories, or or do we make new memories now? Or, or I legit was like, "Oh God, is the writer having a seizure? Like they don't even know what their own <laughs> rules are." We can only uh, hope, Mahler. We can only hope. It sounded like they didn't know what their own rules are. They're just like, "Fuck it, I don't know. <laughs> do I have memory? Do I not?" <laughs> It's like, yeah, that's good enough. Whatever, we can move on, I guess. No. Isn't this crazy? All that all that movie did for me was I really wanted some spaghetti after. I really... Mm. I never want to see... This made me the opposite. I never want spaghetti again. <sighs> no, spaghetti is a little delicious, though. Spaghetti. spaghetti is the lowest tier of pasta. It's still delicious, though. I like me some tortellini yeah. myself. A tortellini. So, new Barry, well, Barry 2 arrives, and Barry 1 is like, what? When it's just like, why would you have assumed anything different? Eh, whatever. And uh, he tackles him and gets up to his room with him, and they start, he starts trying to explain this situation. Oh, I, yeah, we get, it's so stupid, because he gets punched out by Wombo Flash. I, I mm-hmm. think we mentioned that. He gets punched out, and then instead of being like, oh, I'm probably oh, not right, where yeah. I wanted yet, because I saw... The eighteenth birthday cake thing on uh, on my HUD, <laughs> my time yeah. travel HUD, and he's like, "Oh, that's my house. I'm gonna go in." It's that's like, also no, no, annoying. No, no. The getting punched out by purple flash because it's just like, why didn't you just dodge it? He's not even coming that fast. You can clearly see him. Yeah. Like it, uh, and he doesn't even think about uh, it after. He just goes, was like, "Oh, that happened. Oh, that's my house. How Let's does go in. how does it work for like where he ends up? Because we, I mean, we talked about those not actually being his memories or his experiences. That's true. So when he gets punched and, out, why does he end up in... Uh, and why can't he go back in immediately? Head very well, he hurt. can, uh, but the thing he is doesn't. That he can, but why? he chooses not to because he needs to get his powers removed later on to create drama. Yeah. That's why. What is the legitimate implication no, of why? It, is he curious? I don't think, no, no, there's no real argument. I think it just has to be that he is there yeah. now and he wants to see what's happening and he gets so yeah, caught up in it that he doesn't... Because one of the problems there is like, oh, I need to make sure that, you know, uh, Barry 2 gets struck by lightning so that I keep my powers is something that he comes to conclude, which is a strange conclusion to form. But also, like, if that was something that wasn't going to happen anyway, you would have already lost your powers, right? Because, like, if time is... You know, it's, it's like in Back to the Future, it's not like Marty needs to go back to 1995 and then he gets deleted, right? Like, if the events are set mm-hmm. in motion, that's that's it. He's done. And it would be the same here, right? If the events are set in motion that he loses his powers, he would have lost them already. Like, it's, it's a strange it, conclusion to form. It is fascinating to think, because uh, some people have said he needed food for energy, he got to recharge the pot. It's like, those are things that he could solve easily. He doesn't have to do what he does. But let's just pretend mm-hmm. the Purple Flash missed or that he didn't punch him out. And he actually got to where he was going, which was just present day, but having changed the soup thing. Uh, he'd, he'd arrive on Krypton, wouldn't he? He would. He would arrive on the terraformed Earth. That would be new Krypton Yeah, at that that's point. right, if he had got punched out. And that would be Earth. so oh, fucking funny. Because he'd be yeah. like, so my mum having soup means Zod wins. Okay. That <laughs> yeah. makes sense. So Congratulations. Because I, I, I guess my... my... So it's by design that Evil Flash punches him at that moment and specifically sends him here? Yeah, it was him. Yeah, he was was trying to create himself. Yeah, so that he could go back in time and everything. I'm not even going to ask how he was able to do that, but... That's what I was trying to point out earlier, but it's just so dumb that it's hard to explain. Every fucking conversation I have had about the time travel in this film, every single person has a radically different interpretation there is no one who has come to the same conclusion the for the most cinema. garbled exposition i've ever seen it's so fucked up it's possibly one of the worst be, ones yeah, like this is super happy with that so all over the place and they they kind of in universe say it'll get all over the place as if that makes it better <laughs> it's like, okay well yeah we know it's not gonna really pan out and make much sense cool so you didn't even fucking try did you like, no nope. 
you, you gave up before you even started <laughs> in terms of trying to have it make sense. Though, here's a question. With all of that out of the way, which film has worse multiverse, like, mechanics? This or Doctor Strange? Multiverse mechanics. The Doctor Strange's multiverse mechanics uh, incursions, incursions are the main issue. Yeah. But at least I incursions, understand it. like... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Incursions, like, uh, are more nuts and bolts. Like, they're actual rules, and the only thing about them is that they're always really convenient. They never happen when they should. But, mm -hmm. you know, with how they work, it's like, well, you know, if I go into a universe where I don't belong, I'm constantly emitting an aura of, ooh, we might have an incursion at a 0.01% chance. Ooh, could be any time now. Roll the dice every time. So, you know... Nice. It, what if you take those multiverse rules and combine them with the TBA stuff and everything to do with the sacred timeline and how that works? Oh, okay, that's where it's going to be really hard to... That's when it... Yeah, ain't it? <laughs> this, this one still might be worse, because this one, it feels like it's got, like, every time travel system in it all gobbled up, so that you can't make yeah, any sense yeah. of anything. Yeah, I, I wasn't entirely really sure, like what the correlation, or what the movie wanted the correlation to be between time traveling and multiverse uh, stuff. Time traveling like a... creates the multiverse or something, the kind of how we discussed, I, I think, We're but not before, but here. it does this time, but it didn't the other time. With the MCU, I can understand what they're trying to do. They're doing with the multiverse theory of time travel, um, which um, I heard about years ago, so I kind of got what they were going for. So uh, maybe that's but the bias. Remember, the, the ancient one says that removing time stones from a timeline is the shit that creates timelines. Yes. Except that's not mm. true. That ain't, yeah. That's not true. Loki says that that's not true. And the endgame insists that if you basically put the time stones back, you remove all of the impact that you had on that universe, including all of the shit that those guys did when they went back to New York in 2012 that absolutely affects it. Like, the fact that the Tesseract is no longer a Tesseract. It is a... Like, that That doesn't work at all. It's a gem. It's, it's now a little gem, which means that everything changes because the Tesseract was always a cube in the main MCU timeline. But apparently it's reconciled into one timeline... So when you take the... I find it fun to compare, because you really are trying to figure out, like, which one makes the least sense. Like, the <laughs> least sense. And they're both fighting real hard makes... to get that trophy. They are fighting very hard. I think it's a they definitely yeah. are. They definitely are. Really I will strong. still say the DCEU edges, us out, edges it out for nonsensicality, just because there's no... I feel like with the MCU, there's a framework that's garbled, but I can see it if I squint what it is. Nah, I can't see I it with I, the DCEU. I can't see it, it here. Can... I can't see it with my MCU either, though. <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, also, uh, Ezra Miller's annoying. Uh, Barry 2 is even more annoying. Barry uh, 2 is pretty... He's yeah. radical, bro. He's... Oh, dude. Yeah. Which is uh, was, yeah, was, was uh, mean of them to do. It's like, you didn't have to, but you made it that way, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, two chances, so, but fail them. I mean, so, since like everything is so fragile with changing timelines and stuff, uh, it was I wrote down a question: Why did Bruce Wayne seemed to be the only person who appeared differently? And Barry was the same. His parents were the same. God was the same. Yeah. Um, well, they get to choose whatever they want. They could literally have everything be the same, except that bunny over there is now a squirrel, and they could be like, "Yep, that's just that's it." Shut up. Kind of the same so thing with like, Marvel, right? You know that Peter they can Park always just choose whatever they want. Yeah. Always look the same. You know that kind of issue. Because, because uh, I, I, I agree with you. There's so much that's different. We don't have a Wonder Woman, an Aquaman, a Cyborg, or a a Superman, or a normal like the same Batman that we had. Yet everything else seems the same. <laughs> it's like okay, everything, everything pertinent to the to that the soup, man. That soup made so much difference in a bad way. Oh, Imagine, it, you know, he puts the soup in there, too. and we get double the superheroes, and everything's just great. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, then, and then someone's like, see, Barry, you shouldn't try to fix things. He'd be like, why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just <laughs> looks like it's okay. Next time I want to put three soups in that card. Whoa. Let's see what happens. Just everything no, explodes. No, Larry! So, Too much soup! <laughs> um, <laughs> a storm begins to arrive. And uh, Barry One is like, whoa, that's how I got my powers. If you don't get them, 
then I don't get them, maybe, and then I don't get to go back in time, and then I don't know what happens. This was once again another line where I was like, the writers have no idea what's going on. <laughs> they, they haven't. It, when he said, if you don't get your powers, then I don't get mine, maybe. I was like, whoa. Because <laughs> well, that makes no like, sense well, I, at all. Yeah, I can't just... go back in time. It's like, can you not right now just go back in time? Right oh, now. You can. Right yeah, this second. Good. Well, yeah, and, and, and how do you know time. that Barry 2 is supposed to get powers in this timeline? What, what, how do you. How does this work? Like, what does that Barry have to do with you, necessarily? He's clearly not you. This is all new. This, none of this ever happened to you. It's like, but he's, he's like, still in the world of, yeah, it did. I don't have any of those memories, but they will become me, I guess, maybe. Yeah, like, but why so you quickly from, be new? from being so opposed to changing anything immediately to, oh, I have to make sure that everything goes just as it did? Like, shouldn't he have just... When he saw him arriving, when he when he saw Barry two coming, he should have been like, "Oh fuck," and then just ran away, like fully, mm -hmm. and been like, "Oh, I'm going outside, and I'll be right in just a sec from now. My hair's gonna be all unfrazzled. Uh, fuck it, whatever." <laughs> bye. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just chalk it up to them remembering wrong. Because the fact that Barry two is like, "Oh, I'm supposed to be in that facility, and that's where I'll get the powers," but I didn't have any intention of going there at all. It's not like him talking to Barry two at that time disrupted that. He was never going there anyway. So I just, I just don't, I don't understand. I, I don't, know, I don't know what the fuck's going through Barry's head, and I don't know how he just concludes yeah. like you've got to get your powers, otherwise I don't get by. You're like you made that I up. Think, what I would say is, I think the only way to read that is if he believes that this version of Barry leads to him, like that he is an extension of of that. But person. I just went over so how he can't possibly he, conclude that. Yeah, but he can't because well, if, he I mean, can't, since he, he has he, powers and this young Barry doesn't have powers and has no intention on being there when he gets his powers. Yeah, he's half an hour he, away no, from no, no, when no, it's supposed I, to happen. He had no intention of going there. He he can't, but he does. <laughs> he conclude that like he shouldn't <laughs> exist anymore. Uh, I think that that's his his belief essentially. Is he thinks like, well, if it doesn't get struck by lightning, that makes me a paradox or something, and I'll get deleted. Um, but again. It's it's like you said, right? There's really like no reason to believe that at all. It's just, it feels like the there's just the characters aren't actually there. It's just the writers being like, all right, we got to do this to get here next. You're like, okay. They, the reason why they're doing it is because they want to get rid of uh, Barry One's powers and give yeah. Barry Two powers for memes and for plot uh, mm -hmm. to keep him trapped in that universe. Well, yeah, and to skip to that Didn't moment, they just have him have powers already. Um, he doesn't explain- this happens like three times in the film, Barry 1 does not explain shit all to Barry 2 before something significant happens. So for example- Yes, it's so annoying. I, I want you to get your powers, okay cool. And Barry 2 never asks what that entails, and Barry 1 never explains what that is until the moment, and then, what, Barry 1's surprised that Barry 2 flips out? You want me to sit here while I get struck by lightning and doused, doused in like, science chemical shit? Okay, no? Like any normal person would react? Um, yeah, instead of maybe you should have warned him ahead of time because it all goes wrong. He gets zapped and yeah. loses his powers yeah. while Barry 2 gains powers, which is like, okay. There's never that scene where they sit down and Barry 1 explains Barry 2 all of the ins and outs. And that would have been funny. It would have been funny to have that scene. He could have made some jokes of, there, yeah. A lot of comedic things could have been done. But alas, done they were I not. I'm also phobic of that scene, like, in every context, just characters explaining very basic things, or they, thinking about very basic things. Mystery intention, right? But they don't know how to do it without just keeping information from the audience, I guess? And thus, from the characters in universe, too. It's, uh, I don't know, just a sign of incompetence every time it or comes across. don't give a shit. Oh. Um, also, they tried, like, a joke of Barry 1's tooth breaks and falls into Barry... Two's mouth. Barry One's tooth breaks and goes into Two's mouth. Yeah, and then falls himself. That was strange. I don't know. I, so I, I was just like that. Was, that was just kind of strange. Yeah, it's just not. And then he glues it back on with like yeah. glue. Um, and then it falls and it just out. Doesn't, it it never comes there. up again in the mm -hmm. story. Oh, no, it, come, it falls out of the very end of the movie. Well, right at the end. Yeah. Oh, that's the big oh, payoff. I didn't. Oh, it's I didn't. A very funny oh, payoff. He gets like punched in the face. Oh. Um. Okay. Forget. That. He doesn't notice his powers are gone until he's like all the way downstairs trying to escape. I thought that was really when strange. 
mm-hmm. you would think Same. that he would know with the connection to the he'd speed feel force different. that he'd, he'd yeah. know that that's gone. He'd feel sluggish. You'd think so, but no. But isn't it funny how he ran in a circle and was like, I'm slow and looked Listen, really awkward? Listen, I will take a piece of that as they were making fun of the retarded flash run that Snyder invented, which I think is funny. <laughs> If that's what that is, like, I, well, I approve. It is interesting to think about stuff like that, right? And the fact that his costume makes the lightning yellow like it is in the comics. Yeah. yeah. It was blue for some reason. Like, blue mean? is cool. And um, it's a very adult color, and it's very cool. So they go back to their apartment. Again, I'm, I'm kind of skipping a couple of things, but if you guys really want to mention anything else, you're welcome to. Um, no, I'm good. Stupid Barry. Uh, yeah. Well, let, okay. let me see. No, you can you, you, you read it Are while sure? I keep talking, I see, and then you can cut in if you have anything. You don't have to do the poem. You don't have read to read out the, the yeah. Well, you know I mean? um, well, I didn't want to surprise you. I didn't. I want you to I wanted you to be prepared for it. Yeah, but the problem is, like, it means that if you find nothing, we just can't talk about anything <laughs> for a little bit. All right, that's fair enough. I just fun. give up, and we could just assume that there was nothing there. <laughs> oh, uh, I actually have something that happens before the uh, lightning bolt because I, I found it very strange that they're making a big deal about the fact that he has a date with Iris um, and that he's going to fuck up the date if he goes to get the lightning strike. But all I could think was, you know, people get held up. Maybe just call her up and say, hey, something came up. Could we just push it back an hour? And that would be fine. But Probably even 10 minutes. Them... 10 minutes, yeah. Just just like, just like give them, give a little bit of leeway. It's okay. It is courtesy. Yeah. You're just doing, you know, you don't have to blow her off just to get powers, you know? In fact, it'll make you very, make it very easy to get to her after you get powers. Just saying. But oh, well, well and you could almost, instead of calling him Barry 2, just call him Stupid Barry at this point, because he nearly destroys the city by experimenting with his powers. Mm -hmm. um, instead of yep. waiting a second and listening to the person who had the powers help him yeah and, and you can tell the movie's like yeah but he's a he's like a younger dumber Barry and it's like n nobody's that fucking dumb where they've given like essentially powers to do absolutely anything in terms of speed and there's a guy right next to him who is him from the future who could tell him everything he could possibly need to know but instead he's just like blah, 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 and then nearly kills many people I actually was uh I was like, are they actually going to have him kill someone? Is this going to be why this is like the evil Flash or something? The power hungry, but no, they don't show anyone explicitly die, but he comes fucking close. He comes uh, it, very close. Not a stretch to think someone dies. There's I a mean, bunch of car crashes, so, you know. Yeah, this just, just roll the dice on each one of those. And he like fucks with a grid. Me. Like a whole bunch of the electricity goes down in a bunch of buildings. Ugh. Well, yeah, he makes like this stuff. little staticky, shocky thing, and it travels along the like floor or something, and it hits a pole, something like that. I don't know. I don't. Know. He goes back, know. and he's super hungry, and then this is this weirdest fuck interaction. This is what I mean about like there's some jokes feeling, like, huh, and then there's some jokes he's like, why did you write that? Um, he opens the fridge and pulls out broccoli, and then Barry one is like, that's rotten. And Barry two starts eating it, and he's like, oh, it's like eating for the first time. Here, try this, and he puts it into Barry one's mouth, who then eats it. And then goes, Ugh. accepts the gift. It's like, like you just pointed out it was rotten. Why are you eating it? What? Why? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, to himself. And then you know, get out of my mouth. You know that the, the writers would be like, it's funny. It was rotten. It's funny though. Oh, yep. Nothing is funny. Pretty well. funny. <clears throat> but Barry too opened up flash. the fridge and thought it was rotten. <laughs> like Barry one didn't hear him or something. Oh, I think, well, what I'm saying is Barry 1 points out that it's rotten, Barry 2 says eat it, and then Barry 1 does, and then goes ew, and spits it out. It I eventually point, spits just... it out. Yeah. It was, I, like, I, sweet I couldn't keep track of which Barry was <laughs> No, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say the dumb one was, was like, oh, but no, oh, damn mind. it. So then... God damn it. Uh, I think you get, uh, Barry 1 gives Barry 2 his suit ring, and then, um... Mm -hmm. Their plan, as far as I remember, is just, like, they need to get, like, he, he says, if I can get you to do the crazy time travel shit, then maybe you can get me to the future. I think that's Barry's new plan, because this is insane. But they get interrupted, because Zod is invading. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, how inconvenient, yeah. but at how, the same time, how terrible sort of planned. <laughs> is it? I guess yeah. it's or planned is it, that this yeah. is the day, it's P specifically Pipple Flash, this day. Pipple Flash organized all of this, it makes complete sense. He was, he was like, this is the uh -huh. perfect time to punch you out of the sphere of multiversal fleems. Yeah. He knows how to knock that Barry guy to the specific day that he needs. I thought it was funny when 
he was like, oh my god, you were there on the day? And he was like, yeah, I made like a proto suit and tried to help people, but I couldn't uh, do a lot. And I, I was getting the same vibe of like, how many times this, the Snyderverse had to go back to that day and try and be like, no, no, there were people trying to save humans. <laughs> <laughs> like, there, was, there was an attempt to reduce the collateral damage, I swear. It's like the Order 66 Barry, say, like, of the shot. Snyderverse. Where they just keep going back and changing shit? Because it's like, <laughs> listen, okay, I know it looks bad, but um, yeah, it looks bad. But one day this also, will all make sense. Uh, yeah, right. and I, I guess there yet. But what did you think of that scene? So were you saving the kid? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's fine. He's all right. He's trying, yeah. and it is. You know, he's a. He's a scared, you know, guy. That's what you know when we meet him in Ju Just Justice League. He is, he is, uh, he's pretty upset, pretty scared, pretty timid. And of course, if I was in that situation, I'd be shitting my pants, powers or not. Uh, mm -hmm. but he at least does something. You know, he does save, you know, a good girl. And you know, he's yeah, it's it's fine. It's something. Comparing something. that to like the opening, uh, when he was in the hospital or at the hospital. Yeah. Was... Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And the tone. Oh, I, yeah. I, you can see that he actually really, really cared. He really wanted to help. He wanted to do something. Um, yeah. Phenomenal timing, though. He becomes the Flash the night before an invasion. That is. Uh, so was the timeline the yeah. same? Oh, it was because he recognized yeah. the date. Yeah. And yet yeah. it's mm -hmm. also fundamentally different, like <laughs> significantly. So <laughs> everything else. Is Stop different. it. You're ruining it. Yeah. That which Apparently means it's that so in order to know that's the day to send him back, it would have meant that Evil Flash would have had to have had the memories of a version of the Flash that hadn't existed yet. <laughs> so, but uh, if you don't so think about it, it's not a problem. I thought it was so funny that even actors are different in like leading roles in movies. Everything is different, well. and yet everything like, is the same. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Barry one says, "If I can find the Justice League, I can prevent this whole thing from happening." And I was just sitting there thinking, like, "Have you learned nothing from all of this? You're suggesting, like, oh, we can stop Zod if I just keep fucking with this timeline that I have now jumped into. I don't understand. Like, what? Why? Why does he think that he should be doing anything at all? It's it, it, sh surely it's only going to make things either better or worse, depending. Well, worse definitively, because it only seems to do that. But eh, whatever." Yeah, if he um, thinks that that's like a viable solution, shouldn't he also think that, or shouldn't he more so think that uh, I'm traveling again would would solve it? And then so shouldn't shouldn't his top priority be getting his powers back? You'd think you really, 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 but really would think. Since later on in the film, they just conclude that it's the kind of thing that you could get back with like a scientific experiment, rather than oh, you're just screwed, like you can't replicate right. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, they find out that Victor Stone is not currently Cyborg, there's no word on Wonder Woman at all, Aquaman is nope. not born, uh, his dad, who, it was neat seeing Boba Fett, um... <laughs> that was kind of amusing, <laughs> um, I am Boba Fett. It's the, that conversation wasn't too bad, he's like, is Arthur around? And he says, you want to speak to my dog? And he's like, no. <laughs> Is, is your wife the queen of Atlantis? And then the camera just pads over, and there's this lady. Is, it's like, well, no. she's a whale. <laughs> well, yeah, and then, and then Barry, you can hear him say on the phone, maybe is she like a fish-like woman that washed into your life? <laughs> and <then> <laughs> 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 he just is very funny That's... asshole and then hangs up. I thought that was funny. It's not, yeah, it's, it was yeah, right. not bad. It's not bad. Um, yeah, and he says, like, I completely destroyed history. And it's like, yeah, a little bit, apparently. I don't know. This universe got really unlucky with its dice roll on heroes, huh? Just Batman. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, no, no meta humans, as you said. Um, so, yeah, we can pretty much skip all the way over to meeting Bruce Which, now. Why would he even say that, actually? There aren't many, because, like, Wonder Woman isn't a meta human. Yeah. Does he know um, that? I can't remember what everyone knows. I mean, he has to, right? Like, he knows that she's, like, from Themyscira. Like, that's not meta humans. Yeah, you probably wouldn't know. I know Bruce Flash knows. Is a meta, Flash is a meta human, but super, I mean, Superman's not a meta human. He's a Kryptonian. Uh, Aquaman is an Atlantean. I don't know that that counts as a meta human. Like, well, wait, Bringy, I happen to have it on very good authority that Zeus is a Kryptonian, and therefore oh. <laughs> uh, Wonder Woman is part Kryptonian <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I want to 
I want to kill myself. But anyway. Never ever let that be canon. Wait, you're Why gonna have to no, jog. No. You're gonna have to jog my memory. How is Zeus a, a Kryptonian? Uh, oh, Lord of God someone, in chat, someone in the chat's made a good point. It, like, are the Themis like Themyscira? Does that exist in this this universe? I don't know. No. Nobody no, knows. If there's no Wonder Woman, it means that there might be no Themyscira, right? Do they not care? I mean, of course, it was a problem right afterward. Is they? I guess they didn't care about Zod. Um, well, they would when the about... whole fucking island gets oh, obliterated. And... And of course, as well, because someone's pointed out Justice Society, they exist in the DC, <laughs> so there's no black Nope, guy Justice Society do not exist Ooh. in the- Whatever you don't <laughs> see doesn't exist in this strand. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. So I guess there are no metahumans, and maybe he knows what they are, but I was just thinking, like, damn, the Justice League, I don't think it has any- Like, Victor isn't a metahuman, right? Like, does he count as a metahuman because uh. of the cyborg plots? Why well, I, I thought metahuman meant light flash. Essentially, you're a person who has like acquired powers. Um, uh, to be powers honest, somehow. they they kind of expand the definition of metahuman over the time over time, and I think it varies on depending on who's saying it. Like sometimes it's a very specific thing, like with a very specific origin, and sometimes it just means, oh yeah, you're a superhuman. That's that's um, right. It depends. That's something that they better it. have a clear idea of in the DCU, because otherwise it's yeah, confusing to, uh... to people. Answer Rag's question though. Uh, just there was a Snyder Con thing relatively recently, and he talked about some of his future plans and how he was going to reveal that Zeus was a Kryptonian <laughs> in future films. <laughs> so oh, Kryptonians, you know, some Kryptonians can wield lightning, I guess. It's so bad, and I and it was cool to see the Snyder fan base be like, "That's great. That's actually great. Actually, that's so cool. That's so amazing. We oh like my that. Gosh, that's I a can't fun idea we that were, we like. We were robbed. <laughs> um, uh, well, you know, speaking of of all of that, uh, I wonder how this new timeline is supposedly handling uh, Darkseid and his original <laughs> quest. Don't even, don't even. You don't think see it, it doesn't don't exist. You don't it. see it, it doesn't don't exist. Don't is, Granny, is Granny Goodness or whatever her name is in this universe? <laughs> Granny Goodness. I hope so. Kamala I hope Harris, so. what is her name? <laughs> Not um, Kamala Harris, who's no, the other one? The, oh, the, the one who lied about being Native American. <laughs> uh, Elizabeth Warren, that's um, who he's looking up, yeah. Elizabeth Warren, yeah, she looks, <laughs> she she looks like Warren. Granny Goodness. <laughs> What did Snyder mean by this? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, anyway, we're all we're the way over to Bruce. That's where I'm going next. If anybody wanted to go anywhere else, be sure to let me know. No, I want to go over no. uh, Well, I could bridge. check my notes. You do that and let me know yeah, when you find something. Rags, I, anyway. What, Rags, what is that indignant tone? What What is that? The, the only, the, there was never a point against not reading the notes. It was just, you don't need to announce it. You can just read them and then see. Oh, wait, because if anything? I did, then Fringy would start saying a bunch of stuff and distract us instead of carrying oh on. Oh my god, alright, moving on. Racism, alive and well, in this particular <laughs> yeah, strand. Really. Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, on. I don't understand what the fuck's going on here. Uh, they arrive by taxi, and so, picture yourself, you're Bruce, you're a hobo for some reason, you're making your food, you, you, you're also painting, I think he There's was? There's a reason! Huh? Yeah, there's a reason, I think. But what? I haven't even gotten to what my problem is yet. <laughs> oh, then I'll put a then I'll put a little I'll put a pin in it. And all right. We'll so you're Bruce. You're doing all that, and you're a hobo. And then you look out the window and you spot a taxi with two Ezra Millers coming out of it. <laughs> so you panic. Oh, oh he lives. <laughs> the, he has a place to live. You panic and you run into your cupboard, down, hoping they'll come into your kitchen so you can surprise attack and hopefully kill them. Why? Why any of that? Um, Why instead would he, he just be like at the door being like, what do you want? <laughs> I, I don't know. What but the fuck was all gonna, of that? I was convinced they're gonna show me the dude here in a second when he's gonna stop fighting. So I, The back cave really tied the mansion together. Uh -huh. Yeah. I uh, I just thought that was absolutely insane and not a good start to seeing my, my best Batman boy returned to the screen. That for some reason he just wants to kill Ezra Miller. <laughs> like, but, I mean, I, I guess this is, you know, I can see why he'd be defensive, but I just, uh, yeah, I thought that was I a little very kill strange. I kind of Ezra Miller now, too, so, you know, it, it's understandable. That was bizarre and insane, and, um, yeah, I also didn't want to see him hobo style, but it's really low on the list of issues, I'd say, mm -hmm. with uh, this version of Keaton Batman. He is a bit unkempt. Um, 
So, yeah, that, that, that's, that's my comment for that whole intro. I don't know what else to say. I just find it insane that All that right. was what he was doing. Yeah. Um, he even uh, throws a bottle at Barry's head, like, full on. Yeah. And that shit would hurt. And Barry is just up and going yeah. soon after. He's mostly fine. And that's human Barry, by the way. Like, not powered up in any way. I don't even... Because you can heal when you have the speed force, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah, he don't have that, so he ain't using that shit. Actually, that's a good point. They show, um, because because remember in the lightning strike scene, they show like um past Barry um healing up from the lightning hole in his chest. But Barry should the present Barry should have that same lightning hole in his chest, but he shouldn't have the healing powers to heal up the lightning hole. Oh, you, you, you are now. actually correct. Yeah, he should have taken serious damage from that, but fucking that would get in the way. Good point. Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> So would that really be all it takes to like I didn't think about this, but like the exact same thing to happen twice, would that just Yeah, we, we just kinda of didn't go over the why is it that that happens instead of doubling up his powers? Why does that happen instead of doing right. nothing at all? Why does it do that? And it, I think that's no. just a moment of the writer saying, Fuck you, we get to decide what it does. <laughs> it's like okay. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's okay. true. Yeah, I don't really have an explanation for that. It's just like that Nobody happened. Nobody does. <laughs> Moving on. So uh, the first thing um, Bruce says on the topic of time travel is, time isn't linear, right? And you're like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are not prepared. To Where are we going? As, as, as you already timeline. pointed out earlier, like he's just he's like checking the spaghetti, right? And it's like, well, actually, time is not linear. Well, he wasn't it, even looking at what Barry was pointing at. Like he had like a, a spoon, a wooden one, like a straight one. So he went from here to like there, and he didn't even see that. <laughs> so, it is genuinely fucking nuts that they basically drop this on him, and he can explain it better than they can. Like, yeah. Why? It just says, you probably saw a movie that said if you change the past, you create a branch. Time doesn't work like that. When you go back to the past, you take you create a fulcrum, and you create a whole new strand of spaghetti. It's retro-causal. It goes both ways, many ways. It's legit like, what the fuck are you saying, old man? Why, wh why could I mean... this... How could this possibly be... What? But, uh, yeah, it all makes sense to him, and he's totally chill with it. So there you go. We've kind yeah. of gone over the time travel -y stuff, so we don't have to spend much time on it, but it's insane. Um, and I suppose it's kind of funny, too, because we all know what it's all for, was just to have Michael Keaton Batman here. Why? Oh, yeah. And at some point, you just want to be like, maybe you should just have him here. You don't even have to explain it anymore. You guys are really bad at explaining things, so... Just don't. Some couple of... <laughs> People in chess like, but he's just Batman. Him... Yeah, but the way he he explains it to him is like, yeah, that, I've done this before. Like, I, I, like... I know exactly what's going on. <laughs> I feel like if this it's is like the he... first of the creation of the multiverse and no one else has done it before, the, the, the these three flashes or technically two, but you know what I mean. Um, then Bruce Wayne, Batman eighty nine guy should probably have zero information on it. If if that, maybe it should be negative information. You should have. A, Maybe he watched Endgame and he was like, "Wow, that's really bad time travel." I bet it. I bet it's actually this. And then that's that's what he how he learned it. Yeah, because it, it doesn't sound like he's theorizing. He's like, "No, that's how it works." <laughs> I, think he, I think he says like, "Time is linear." Obviously, like he he says it in that. No, it's not linear. He says obviously. it isn't linear. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like as it like as if it's just a thing that he knows, not that he's speculating. Mm -hmm. Um, as that. Isn't it interesting, though, how much time is dedicated to, like, scenes trying to explain it? Mm -hmm. Don't explain it. <laughs> like, at all. It's just, yeah. it is very I... similar to Endgame, I think, that the arrogance with which they explain it, and it's just bullshit. Yeah, it's pretty annoying. I've never seen a film with so much exposition, and this goes to Barry's powers as well, because they go over his powers, like, a lot. Um, as well, when they're trying to teach past Flash how the powers work, but both the time travel and the powers, they spend so much time trying to explain it, and then they proceed to completely contradict it um, later on in the film, or even earlier in the film. It's like I I've never seen so much explanation for stuff that doesn't actually happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, fucking hell. And he also says, so you guys are the reason this odd character is about to destroy the world? And there's some Superman guy with, like, laser eyes and can fly who can stop him. I was so confused by this. I was like, wait, 
it's it's Barry One's fault that Zod is here now. I thought that was a part of the, the just the canon of this universe anyway. Like this would be happening no matter what. Uh, uh, apparently not. I don't. Know. How, it's, it's not his fault that uh, Clark got skull fucked by Zod. Okay. Kara is now the Matrix. But is it, or is it just that this universe always existed as it did, and that Barry is here because he's been fucking around and jumping multiverses, or did he create this universe entirely? Which, by the way. What does that mean for you ex existentially? Like, if you're Batman, he's like, yeah, yeah, I guess you created me because you were fucking around. That's interesting. My whole life is just, you know, at your whims, I guess. It's just, like, fucking chill about it. Please hey. don't leave. I don't want to <laughs> not leave. exist. Well, that's the thing, right? It's like, oh, we try to fix it. It's like, fix, fix me existing. Yeah. Fix. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. But of course, uh, our, our boy, Keaton Batman, is on board with helping them, right? Like, he's... he's, he's well, they say, he's... uh... You know, he's Batman, and so, you know, can he help? And he's like, I'm not Batman anymore. Gotham is one of the safest cities in the world. It's like, okay. Oh, good, good job, Batman. Good on you, That's man. That's how good of a job he did, Mahler. That's Fucking the great. reason, is because Batman was so good that he could, he succeeded. I mean, Isn't I'm not, great? like, fully against the idea that Batman may one day retire or whatever. That's not the issue. <laughs> it's yeah. We're going to oh, get to the issue. Of course, he's very... Of course, he's very invested to protect the city and the whole world because he did such a great job. Well, so the logic TV. is Superman beats Zod, so we need Superman. Superman's got to be on Earth somewhere. He just mm -hmm. hasn't been found. Maybe he's in prison, whatever. We need the world's greatest detective, i.e. Batman, to help us find Superman and save the world. And, like, they have a musical cue and uh, it's, the camera's on Keaton and he just goes, pass. Pass. I was like, what? <laughs> And uh, legit, uh, okay. I've talked with several okay. people who really like this film, and the best they've got for this is he refuses the call to adventure. That's like the hero's journey sort of thing. That's what they always do, and then they accept. Well, just, but then the next oh. question is, but why though? But why though? <laughs> why? Well, okay, so why... Okay, if, uh, so Barry believes that everything is going to play out as it did on in his timeline, so why is he trying to find Superman... If he knows that Superman's going to appear at some point anyway, I think is he, he why believes is he convinced? they need to save Superman or enable Superman. It's kind of weird. It's like they know he's trapped somewhere or something. But, like, so but you're right. They shouldn't know that. Though. They should. They yeah. should. If anything, they should assume like, uh oh, we don't have a Superman. Like obviously, in our, yeah, in the universe where we won, we had a Superman. So uh oh, yeah, we're in trouble <laughs> because Superman is way more is... powerful than all of us put together. At this point in the in Man of Steel, nobody knew. Superman That's true. Was. So yeah, then I guess his logic is that it must be the same, and that he must be out there. We just got to find him. It's it's quite I a hope. So. You might want to get a plan B, <laughs> considering how the Strand <laughs> shit works. You know, that's what I mean. He's like, you know, Victor Stone and and Diane Prince and stuff. It's like there's no reason not to assume that you just don't have a Clark Kent. And obviously, the reality is they don't actually have one. He's dead at this point. Uh, so, yeah, Batman doesn't want to get involved. Like, okay, that's cool. That's part of Batman's character. He doesn't want to make the world a better place. He doesn't want to use his, you know, wealth and his expertise to... Well, he saved save Gotham. You know, Isn't that enough? Does he have to I mean, save yeah, the I world, mean, too? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have an obligation to the whole world. Isn't one entire city... He single almost single-handedly he probably just saved gotham isn't that enough why do you keep asking it's ridiculous more that they and would more expect and more. more and more of him yeah let him paint and eat past when will people like learn it's <laughs> so just gonna say me, me, when me, will me, they me. learn when will they me, learn me, 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 me. this so, is especially weird considering what kind of what he says later uh when he uh dies <laughs> <laughs> it was weird that, and i know we kind of discussed that uh already but it was weird to make that dis the decision um, why he isn't Batman anymore is because Gotham is safe now. Um, yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Like, the idea of a Batman retiring, I don't, I'm not, like, against it fully, but it seems a really weird choice that, like, he he comes across as though Gotham is just the only place he could help and it's done being helped. It's like, it is? There's just nothing else to do? Okay. That feels a little odd. It kind of reminds me of um, Dark Knight Rises, where Christian Bale like becomes crippled because he doesn't move much anymore because there's no crime to solve, or whatever that was. <laughs> he got leg braces to fix it, though. It reminds um, you of Crisis on Infinite Earths, where that Batman. Oh, turns exoskeleton, in, mech yeah, exoskeleton Batman. man, and he's like, I just fucking killed them all. <laughs> Good stuff. Nah, now I'm here with my manservant.
So, uh, Barry 1 is like, alright, Barry 2, we're gonna break into the Batcave and use his technology to find Clark. Like, um, good luck with that. Obviously, it'll be booby-trapped to hell and back with hyper-security, because it's Bruce. Obviously not, though. They just break in and it's fine. And he's watching them fuck around with whatever they want on cameras. I thought that was really odd. He's just kind of like, yeah. hmm, wonder what they get up yeah, to. Yeah, you go nuts. Have fun. Yeah, uh... And, and security on the bat suit closet that you get, there is for the bat cave. <laughs> yes, um, and you get like Batman theme and the whole cave and all of his his gizmos and gadgets, the Batmobile, and it's it's the first big instance I think of the film being like, ah, uh, ah. Uh? <laughs> you're like, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> there they are. I, I yep. too recognize this. Yes, yes, yes. Move up. And uh, I remember. I think I think Barry just says Bruce has a backdoor into NASA. I'm searching for unidentified flying objects the lad did within the last twenty years or something. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, what a useless set of results you'll get. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's just the thing you could do, I guess. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Backdoor. Yeah, whatever. It, I guess computers are designed to be usable. I suppose it's got a really helpful and easy to understand UI. Um, and then the film remembered it's still got. Computer character stuff to do. So, uh, Ooh, damn it. Barry 1 is like, stop messing around, Barry 2, and then Barry 2 goes, okay, mom. And then he goes, shut up! You mess <laughs> around! You don't take anything seriously! You have no idea! You have no idea! And the other one's like, why are you so mad? And he's like, you yeah, used this... monkey as a dartboard! Mom bought us that monkey! I, I thought this was so bad. <laughs> Like, it's so unearned. <laughs> oh my god, you guys just it fucking... Comes, comes out of nowhere, nowhere. Yeah. It came out of like, fucking nowhere, like, yeah. You, you said the word mom. It's that like, reminds yeah, me of Multiverse like... of Madness, and no, it does that to me. <laughs> uh, seriously... I I... Go ahead. I kind of really uh, liked this part, but it's probably because I... Wanted to yell at that Barry too, so I. That's so he... finally a connection to this character. I think I do want to yell at Barry too. That this is a scene that comes from like it, it could probably be a good moment in a in a film that actually builds it up. I feel like this just happens out of fucking nowhere. We haven't really. We needed to do more work of developing them two's relationship, being that Barry yeah. one is getting increasingly stressed out knowing that uh, everything is falling apart, and that even if all of this was to work, he still doesn't know that he's allowed to keep his mum, you know, alive and safe. Meanwhile, Barry, too, is like, you know, wistfully just like, whoa, whoa I have powers, this is great, I love this, it's so much fun. And he's like, you have no idea the pressure I'm going through sort of thing. I, that's all a valid, like, uh, relationship conflict they can have, but holy fuck, where was, like, the stepping stones, man? You just, like, hit the fucking big red button suddenly, and you're like, we're doing this now, shouty time. It's just like, whoa, okay. Um, I don't feel like it was developed well at all. It just comes out of fucking nowhere like a truck. I was, I, I was, I was blown away by it. I was like, holy fuck, okay. Trucks are well, trucks are known for coming flash. out of nowhere. Oh, in movies all the time. It's just, mm, characters well, will look only... left, there's nothing, look right, there's nothing, look left again, and... And then as it hits left. them, you hear the horn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trucks are known for traveling as this as the fast as the speed of sound, so that they're they're like racing the waves of their own horn. Barry one and Barry two are people. Barry three is actually a big truck. Yeah, oh. goes real fast. That's a very joking community as well. The uh, uh, the yelling at the other to force drama. Yeah, uh, I. I, I think that the drama is to be farmed. I just don't think they did a very good job of it, and then they just randomly banked on it. They were like, we may as well put this right, here, because yeah. we've got limited time. Uh, everything's so disjointed. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, he doesn't, And then he ends up not telling him, because well, yeah. he didn't tell him about the original timeline where his mother died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if that was going to make a difference. Yeah, I wasn't uh, sure about... He finds out anyway. What what the reason is to keep that away from him because everything is so absurd anyway. You could probably have told him anything. Like I come from a universe where everyone dies. Right. You know, like the I'm, idea that it's I'm like if I tell him to... my mum died in my universe, then that will what? What would that do? I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure Barry too would do what he does, which is just like that's sad. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's that's sad. Um. It feels like uh, a payoff I mean, they generated because they didn't know what else to do. Like, they treat it as a payoff that Barry 2 says to Barry 1 is like, I, I know, I, uh, I knew, because he, like, eavesdrops on him, right? At one point in the film? Yeah. 
I just, yeah, I didn't yeah. see anything coming out of that. I was just like, okay. That's <laughs> For some that. reason, sitting under the command center, I guess, having some banana bananas. Mm hmm. And he's like, what the fuck? Um, banana bug. Barry One picks up a pen and notices that it's, I think, a gift from Alfred or something. And he says, I know you're mm -hmm. listening to Bruce. And he says, Certain things always intersect. You had an Alfred, my Bruce had an Alfred. Some things are just drawn together. How do you explain that, except maybe fate? Ugh. And I was just like, sure. ew, what? The Bruce Whoa. Bruce and Alfred are fated to be together. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't like this. It, to me, it's the meta is absolutely the bleeding the fuck in. The first eyes met, no. we knew he was fated to be my butler. You know like that fans, fans would say that. You can't have a fucking Batman without an Alfred. And it's like, well... <laughs> I know what you I mean. mean. Somewhere out there in the multiverse, there's well, gonna the, be one. It's not yeah. just that there's some way there's that's gotta have happened, but it's like there's a story to tell with something like that. You should never just like lock off the idea because it just sounds so alien to you. And that's what's bled into this now. It's like, of course, Batman always has to have an Alfred. And it's like, your fucking universe doesn't have an Aquaman. Is Aquaman just not like Alfred is more canon than Aquaman is, I guess? Yes. Like Why? <laughs> Cos the that's, cosmic that's Alfred. Stone. Um, yeah, and, and this, by the way, him saying that, that alone, that's what convinces Batman to join them. Yeah. I don't know why. Really quick. I don't know what... what I don't did, get it either. I, I, it was a very what, convincing pen. What was what, it? Was the, it the, what was the... No oh, correlation sorry about between. your parents, I'm just trying to save mine, I think. Well... I think that's what they were trying to do. What does that have to do with... Uh, you already knew that. Like, I know, you can't I fight know. fate, might as well help Motherfucker, save the world. You, what information does Bruce have already? Oh, that they're just trying to save the world. Yeah. The world? <laughs> like, what? Yeah, what his parents, though? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, doesn't... Does this conversation... Because I was thinking about this, because as of now, Bruce thinks that they're working to stop Zod. Then Barry says that. Should clue Bruce in on that he's actually intending to travel back in time? Or to, to manipulate the timeline again? Which would... Uh, I think what this movie is trying to say would like destroy this timeline As, well that Shouldn't was the question Bruce... when we uh, earlier when i was talking about how we use the word fix it's like what does it mean to fix this does it kill keaton to fix this what does that right. do or is this universe always here and as fringy theorized a bit earlier like did he hop over to this one by accident in which you know what i mean like but no matter what it is it doesn't make any fucking sense and you don't know what Keaton thinks of this world, and you don't know if that plays into his motivations either. But ultimately, what does it matter? Zod is about to terraform the whole planet. You gotta do something. No. Right? And he's like, nah, yeah, pass. Like, how can you just sort of be passive about something that threatens you personally, even beyond the desire to help the planet that you live on, and all the people who are a part of it? Yeah, but Gotham is the safest city on Earth, and Gotham will become well, a chunk that blows off from the Earth, and that will be the 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 thing that the happens, safe haven. and that's why he doesn't want to save planet Earth because crypt Gotham will become a little asteroid that everyone lives on. Think about it. So, uh, they conclude. I I didn't catch how they figured this out. I don't know if anyone else did. They they're like clock is being held by a mercenary group in Russia. How did they figure that? Anyone? I think it's just it's just the help. It's it's convenient Batman knowledge. <laughs> Did they just Google it? Clark Kent, hidden where? And then it says mercenary group Russia. Journalism in this universe yeah. is really good. Isn't, isn't it the way it goes? He falls asleep, wakes up, and then the file is just there. That's what I. Th yeah, I got confused. I was like, is, did something I happen? I think what they're implying is that. Bruce just did the work while they were asleep. Oh, okay. Put some coffee in there. It's so good they that they wouldn't show us the specifics because <laughs> I don't know how the fuck he was going to discover that information. Um, we need yeah. this thing to happen in the movie. Yeah, he Quick. says, I'll I'll help you get Superman, but then you're on your own. And it's such a, like, but why? Yeah, but why? I'll you go to Russia, <laughs> and after that, I think I've done enough for the world. I'm happy to solve the first problem, but the whole world-ending part, that's a you thing. That's not a yeah. me thing. Um, you know, cause that's weird Batman. because that's Batman. You know, at this point, you, you feel like his motivations should be... There's no, um, I don't think there's any benefit to the story for this, too, because a lot of people would say that, uh, you know, like, it, it's a matter of he, he, he's he got to, like, be convinced into something. It's like, why wouldn't he just be a go-getter for this? 
Like, he gives no reason. I actually, I think I said on FNT, if if he could give me something, like he believes he's um, in a mental state slash retirement mode that he's going to make the situation worse, he's going to be unreliable as a team member, he doesn't believe in himself right now. As much as it's cliche as fuck to bring in a an almost like legacy superhero and make them shit, or a legacy action hero make them shit, you know, you, you can have that be his state of mind for just like five minutes, and then you can see how idiotic the two Flashes are, and they can be like, listen, we're trying to save the world. Uh, we could really use your help. And he realizes, like, oh, yeah, I should be with him. Something like that. But instead, they give us nothing. He just says no. Nothing at all. I have no idea why he doesn't want to save the world. He's tired, you know? He's just tired. They didn't give day. us that, Friggy. If they had said, you know what, I'm really tired, I need to go sleepies, I'd have been like, well, that's something. But they didn't but even give us that. He's got a bad back. No. He's got a bad back and a bad knee and a bad brain. That doesn't do anymore. My whole point is that if they'd given us a reason, well, that would he have been knew how than he knew how time worked. And so he's got a pretty good brain. <laughs> he knows how all the time rules work. The but world he had how its to chance. feed himself. The world had its chance. The DCEU had its chance. <laughs> um. So Irrit he's got irritable bat syndrome. What? <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's what they mean by IBS. So the mission begins. Uh, good. And uh, they're launching from Batman's bat plane, bat wing, and uh, yeah, it goes, and ready to go. goes in front of the moon, and the theme plays, and he's flying down, and again, I was just like, it doesn't belong to you. Yeah, like, this isn't yours, <laughs> this is from this. some yeah. other better thing. You are, you are reaping that which you did not sow, you bastard. <laughs> bastard. And how I feel about this is not your doing, it's the doing of Tim Burton and his team from years ago. Yeah, it's, you I don't get credit for this. Like, I'm not gonna music... give you credit for this, you're just gonna That's remind the me of better movies. The theme is so awesome, it's just like, oh, that's great, and then you're like, oh, but this is a Flash movie, fuck. Oh. Mm -hmm. You make it stanky. Not pump fist. Uh, you know, Barry 2 just does his electrical flames and gets all the way up there. Barry 1 has to, you know, get help from Batman, and he attaches the grapple, and then he, like, climbs onto Batman, and he just sort of, Batman stares at Barry 1, being like, what the fuck are you doing? Which I thought mm -hmm. was kind of fun. Especially the payoff of him just grabbing him, and then once they're up there, he throws him to the floor. It's like, yeah, Batman can, 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 can... Humiliate the Flash all day, every day. That's fine with me. Do it again. More Spit specifically, humiliate Ezra Miller. But yeah, it was that uh, got that mild that the kind of chuckle out of me when he had the yeah the bat grappling hook and Miller was yeah da -da, put his da -da. leg up on him. It was it was a little a little funny. I mean, that's what this film has. Every yeah. once in a while, you like huh. yeah, it's got it gives you some chuckles here and there. You like oh, all right. um. Then there's a joke where they accidentally make a bunch of noises and alert everybody, but one of them is a shovel slowly falling over, and Barry is right next to it to the point where if a normal human saw it happening, they could grab it, but he has mm -hmm. super speed. And I think we had enough time to, like, say out loud, like, Barry, grab the shovel. Yeah, which is already like, way more just... time than he needs. By the way, the they, flash. Also, yeah. they also climbed down in the, down, like, a big hatch, and when they arrive at the bottom there's just a just a circle of windows with people in them yeah so it looks a some bit of them weird, would have but... seen them anyway i don't know what the fuck that was no they were busy working oh okay but yeah, luckily there was, a, there was a shovel there <laughs> with that that they could bump into and knock over um yeah and this is where the uh the guards like shoot at them and he moved barry two moves barry one and then Barry One like fucking vomits torrents of green goo, uh, which is obviously just for the funnies, quote unquote. But I, I was like baffled. I was like, "What the fuck was this?" What are you the throwing people? up? Oh, that green. too. What yeah. did you eat? Yeah, th it was like an Exorcist reference. What the fuck is going on Maybe. here? Maybe. Yeah. And, and I, was I was waiting for time. an explanation to that, and then <laughs> never happened. <laughs> Keep. He is still in the cinema to this day, waiting. <laughs> <laughs> waiting. Oh god. Like, and I was also just thinking, like, wait, is that literally the only consequence of moving someone? Is that they'll just throw off at the end of the run? Is, is that what? what really it's all the babies. It'll like, be fine. Babies throw up randomly anyway. Yeah, there you go. It'll yeah. work out. Mm. It was the broccoli. <laughs> 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 
Uh, so oh, Batman... he ate a lot more than I thought he did. I thought he spat it out. It expanded. It swole in his stomach. Batman action scene, and for the most part, I liked it. It was Batarangs, grappling yeah, hooks, it was... bouncing off yeah, walls and using people against each other in his tech, and he's, like, good at it. And I was like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> kind of the neatest... Yes. I th yeah, it was actually kind of neat to watch. Yeah. It's probably... Yeah, the, but... yeah it's like... There's three parts in the film, and they're all like Batman related that are like worth seeing. Uh, Shad made this point, and I kind of agree. Just wait for all the HD clips to be on YouTube and then watch them. You don't need to see the film. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. It ain't worth sitting through all that Flash movie to get to a couple cool Batman scenes. Um, and yeah. so, yeah, they make it to the next level in the game, and they gotta unlock a puzzle. It's a combination puzzle, and Batman is trying to hack it, and then Barry 2. Just goes and he's like, I tried all combinations, and then the door opens. Of course, it's like, okay. wow, you're really lucky it that it, it doesn't lock like you out. Ones. Exactly. Also, they but, beat all eight guards for this uh, part right now, so there's no one else. They, they've yeah, there's that. Them. There's just the clearance is just a code. There's nothing else to it, yeah. and then of course that he can type it all in in like a split second, and the computer processes all of that instantly. It doesn't have like any kind of. You know, you yeah. type one, two, three, four, enter, and then it goes like processing, and then next try. Even something as quickly as like a split second, you'd be like, well, that would take Barry forever still. I mean, if it was half a second in order to try all combinations, that could be like depending on how many digits, like mm -hmm. a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand different combinations. Oh, yeah, that was just that. I think that was just the writers being like, we got to make it a little harder than just an open door, make it a combination that the Flash can do instantly because he runs fast. Like, okay. Or Apparently we could have just had Batman. Tries. You know, Batman could have just hacked it. It would have been better. Batman <laughs> could have. He could have said, "Hey, I gotta hack this door. Can you distract the bad guys and everything to keep them off me while I do that?" And yeah. Then, and then there's a little bar at stuff. the top of your screen that's loading while bad guys spawn, and you got to take them all out as a flash while the yeah, bar's hacking loading. progress. And if one of the bad guys runs up to Batman, he goes, "Ah, ah," and then it shows the bar go red and it's starting to go down. Yeah, flashes. Yeah. So yeah, they could have made an easy sequence out of that, ready for the video game, but no. Keep um, the bugs so, off so of Haxi. The Flash's perspective, was he like sitting there for an hour or two hours or Um I get well if he typed in every combination, yeah. And he would have that would have been I didn't even think that about that. That would have been insane. That actually, mm -hmm. yeah, from the Flash's perspective. I yeah. mean, if it took him so he'd have to do like zero 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 one. No, zero 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 two, zero zero zero, and you have to do that for every well, single one until eventually he hit it. And this would also assume like, that the computer is fast enough to keep up with him too. Yeah, like it can and process. It, it wouldn't tries. because the computer would be in slow motion. Yeah, mm -hmm. none well, of there, it works. Yeah, there you go. The computer would have been in slow motion. It doesn't make sense. Awesome. Well, yeah, because when he hits yeah. a key, wouldn't it like? go in, and then it wouldn't come out for ages. You know what I mean? Like, up and yeah, down? Yeah, it would be left yeah. there where he left it. That's true. Yeah. This it's works if it's like a guys. mechanical puzzle, like a Rubik's Cube you could solve instantly, because it's just all purely mechanical. It, it doesn't rely on, you know, like, a thing to do itself. Lock. Yeah, it, or if it, yeah, or if it's like opening a safe, something I like will that, say though, where you can just do it. I assume, computer. I assume it would work, but I was just thinking, like, because if you took a Rubik's Cube and moved all of its sides really quickly to the perspective of Barry, and then, like, a thousand ways, and then that all plays out in, like, a split second, would that do something? Would that have an effect of some kind? Do you know what I mean? Um, say that one more time? So, you have the Rubik's Cube, and let's say you spin one of the sides a thousand times at the speed of a normal person in Barry's world, but that's all done within a split second in the real world. When that plays out, would it not, like, spin really fucking fast to the point of maybe even causing enough friction to set fire sort of thing? Maybe. I assume could, even I if suppose. it's mechanical, that might happen. Hmm. Yeah, the cube would get really hot, a couple people are saying. I'd assume so. Well, it's something that he talks about, right? When well, the friction with the clothes and stuff. Going really fast. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Hmm. Um, and so... Yeah, they, they open the security thing, and Kara's in there instead of Clark. And, again, just because they just want to piss me off, I guess, Batman sees this and goes, that's not him, let's go. Let's go. What, what, I was yeah, like, what, what is that? Dude. What the fuck? What is dude? that? It's clearly a, a woman that's been trapped in this, like, horrible place, probably been tortured. It's like, could you at least entertain the idea that she's innocent and needs your help? Yeah. Like, maybe? No. No. What baffling no. shit. Like, I don't know why they wrote him this way. I don't get it. Uh, 
Yeah, she's not in Gotham City. So that's <laughs> jurisdiction. She holds up a, yeah, yeah. like an ID and she's a Gotham citizen. He goes, oh, okay, okay, sorry, I didn't realize. Uh, <laughs> okay. He's like, I don't help women. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they need to learn to help themselves, damn it. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, te- I'm a teach-a-fish kind of guy. Teach-to-fish kind of guy. So they start uh, walking down a hallway and they r- bump into a random scientist and they all just stare at each other. And then Batman does a sort of like a psych out moment, like he like, like he's simulating to going to run for him, like scaring him. And he does it once. The scientist does nothing. He does it again. But the scientist like drops his drink and run, goes for his gun. I thought it was funny as an interaction. I think that was pretty funny. I love the idea that there's just a scientist there doing his daily stuff, and <laughs> he sees these these gaggle of weirdos. Yeah. Looking at him. Well, and then it funny. it's kind of funny on Batman's part to be like, I can't be asked to fight this guy, so I'll just scare him. And then it doesn't work to be like, <laughs> and he's just like, huh? <laughs> he's just so confused. So, yeah. Mm. Um, the Flash says, Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Hits him. And then he starts screaming because he's been shot. And I was really confused because I was like, how did, how did the scientist shoot you? And it's like, No, he got shot because someone's behind him shooting a gun with a bunch of other guys. Yeah, which I was like, where the fuck see. did they come from? No reason. How did you yeah. not see him with your eyeballs? How did we not see them? Well, so this <laughs> is the thing. The walls. Uh, Barry too has to have not seen or heard them because he could obviously react well before they could do anything. And then, of course, you have to have Bruce and Barry one not see all those people when they're looking right at them, because then they'd warn Barry too. So it's just like, what the fuck? Uh, they weren't in the shot, so they don't exist. Uh, Very true. See, they weren't in the Rip-a-roo. shot. So. Don't see it, they don't something exist. Something to think about. Something to think about. There's a lot of things. Um, and yeah, throughout the rest of the the, the section of the movie, d- d- Barry 2, is that what we call him now? Barry 2, the, the, yeah. the young Barry. The, the, he's like out of commission because for some reason he doesn't heal instantly. Oh yeah, or Barry 1 didn't teach him how to do that yet, which is driving me nuts. Like... Because he says, like, don't worry, you'll heal. It's like, you haven't yeah. told him about that? That sounds like a pretty obvious he, fucking thing to tell him about. He heals from the lightning. Well, yeah. uh, it, it seems like it's an automatic thing. He uh, seems to not know about that, though. Why wouldn't Barry want to have explained it to him? You know what I mean? Because we don't or, have that. What I'm saying scene. is it, it doesn't seem like something that he has to train to do. It seems like something that was just automatic, which is you know, confusing because it's not healing the, the bullet wound. Um, I, I, I assumed it was something he could sort of control, like Barry, uh, when he's wounded, he can activate whatever power and then it will heal it up. And so if that's, if, if it's mechanically working that way, then why, uh, wouldn't he, first of all, not just that, but also tell him that he's absolutely vulnerable to being shot, which is something else that he doesn't understand, which is like, how, how did, what have you told him? Like anything? It seems like some of the basic shit, you know, it's like you can run real fast. Yeah. Uh, don't run people too fast because they'll vomit cartoon goo for ages. Um, you can phase through walls. He does. Te- yeah, we see him teaching him those two things, and that's it. And it's like, might want to let him know his his strength abilities or whether or not he can be m- wounded. But then, of course, why didn't Barry too ask any of these questions? Neither of them feel very human. I feel like I would be answer- asking or answering all of these things. But. Well, yeah, he would, Barry too would be like, "Whoa, you got powers? Tell me all the things you could do. I want to know about all of them." Because he's yeah. so excited to get powers. You should ask what the powers are. Because, so, you know, that's probably what he'd do. Then, if I can try and... I got it. Um, think of a, a cup, and then above the cup is a ball that fits the cup perfectly. That's where Kara was being stored. So they've right. gone down now below that ball into the cup, where there is a drain that they're trying to blast open, and all the soldiers are following them. And all the soldiers decide that instead of, let's just say, dropping a few grenades down there, or sh- I'm pretty sure they can just shoot at them, they want to break the ball above them so that that falls down and crushes them. That's their big plan. And it's, it's gonna... really weird. I just well, don't... it's also weird because they have two uh, levers they can use to get rid of cables, but only partly, because that yeah. doesn't... Dis- that- that I remember, doesn't get, uh, disconnect everything, and then they have to shoot the last one with a grenade. And I was like, what? what? Yeah, it's bizarre. Because it's just like, so if you just had a button that let it go, that would be it. Yeah, just one button to let it all go. For whatever reason you need that. Anyway, and then, of course, they it. do eventually drop it, and it only covers their escape. It doesn't do anything to them. It just makes it so they can't follow them directly anyway. Yeah. And it's like, oh, well, nice. <laughs> 
Good job. Good job. We did it. Um, then they get to the top, and they're attacked, but it's okay, because Supergirl now has been hit with the sun, so she's powered up, and she can beat everybody up. Yay. Uh, a worthy note of fun in this scene is that Barry, one, tries to run across the battlefield while Batman's fighting people, and Batman punches him in the face, just in the middle of battling. I thought that was, that was cool. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Do you think it was an accident, or was that a thing for him to save him from some shot or whatever? No, I assume that was a genuine accident. You just don't see that enough in these sorts of movies. I think okay. that should be in the more, because Batman's fucking fighting for his life. The idea that if you're going to run past him as a friendly, like, there's a good chance he he's going to fucking fight, hit you. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I do, I, I do, I do yeah. also enjoy that. Um... So, uh, yeah, I mean, they get out of there, the Batwing takes him away, and... It was something that I thought was kind of neat, if I'm interpreting it the right way. Uh, we get a shot of, like, Batman's cowl is on the floor, and there's bits of blood and bits of his armor. And he's sort of giving himself a bit of, like, uh, he's sewing up a wound. And he looks in the mirror, right. and he smiles. Yeah, he's like, yeah. And, of course, I get the implication that they're saying, like, you know, he's, he's happy to be back sort of thing. Uh, yeah, that's what I thought as well. That's what I got. Which, um, you know, I've can we always just have only Keaton Batman. Can we just get rid of the rest? <laughs> I'm fine with Affleck Batman. I'm fine with Pattison Batman. I'm trying to think of which Batman I don't want to see, and it's like, well, I'm kind of fine with a lot of them. I don't, I don't hate any of them. It's not like Joker where we have Jared Leto. We don't have Jared Leto yeah. Batman, luckily. But don't tempt him. If we him. don't have Jared Leto, who's gonna give me a reach around? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that fucking dialogue, man. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Kara explains that she was an infant, no, he, uh, Kal-El was an infant when she, when he left, she was sent to protect him, their pods got separated and Zod must have tracked her signal. It's kind of an alt-universe situation, because we eventually get from Zod that kal -El ship was intercepted by Zod, mm -hmm. before he even reached Earth, while she, I guess, did she crash land in Russia and then they captured her, was, that was the... I guess so, yeah. Because yeah. that's this that's what they do in Flashpoint Paradox as well, right? Uh um, something like that. He gets captured, Superman. Yeah, but he he's not in Russia or anything, but he gets captured and kept under lock by the US government and they get right. him out of there. Oh yeah, does he crash in Metropolis in that and that's why the police find right. him? Right. Yeah. He crashes right. in Metropolis. There's like a huge crater in Metropolis they go to. Mm-hmm. Um so, yeah, um, so I thought this part was really weird. I guess I missed something, but he says, uh, 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 Barry 2 says, you're solar powered? Good for you. Oh, and we'll take this too. And he picks up her Superman suit. I was like, where the fuck did that come from? Oh, that was in the cell with her for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> so but... that was my theory, and then I was just going <laughs> to follow the follow-up question of why the fuck is his Superman suit in her cell yeah. with her? And why doesn't she wear it? It looks more comfy than his fucking lab coat she's wearing or whatever it was. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't think she gets to choose her attire. In her well, then, but it's just yeah. in there. She could just put it on if she wants. I don't yeah, know. Just that, that's just, uh, well, she doesn't want to change while they're watching. Fine. It's also weird because they should. Barry should probably make the connection. Oh, wait, this is like a Kryptonian suit. So this is probably like a Kryptonian they captured here. So she would definitely going to need her. And when um, Batman says, like, oh, it's not him, let's go. It's like, no, 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 that, that's the time stuff, yeah, that's right. that's like, stuff. That's like two layers of retarded, isn't it? Like, Yeah. <laughs> it's like she might be very powerful and useful. Also, she could just be innocent. <laughs> like, she could just yeah. be a person. Uh, boom, 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 yeah, and boom. so Barry 2 says, you know, Takara, like, are you back to full strength? And then she, like, blows up a gargoyle. And she's like, okay, yeah, you didn't need to do that. She spits <laughs> on it. It's like, you're back on power, and she spits on it, and explodes, and you're like a sonic boom, I think. Yeah, and you, I was just, like, you want Bruce okay. to be there being like, oh, that's cool. That's, yeah. that's neat. That you, yeah. <laughs> I'm also glad you're here at my manor and destroying it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh... You know, I wanted to join you for this fight, but fuck you guys. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this world does need to end, you pricks. So, Barry <laughs> once... Talks about how he needs to recreate the accident that gave him his powers so he can help fight Zod. And then Bruce is like, yeah, or it'll kill you. And besides, why would you want to fight to save this universe? I thought that was such a bizarre question, because I immediately think to myself, like, well, because he cares about innocent people getting killed, I guess? Yeah. Um, and then Barry one says, well, because this is the universe where my mum is alive. And I was just like, fucking Barry. hell, man. 
No, this Barry. should be because they need help. I want to help you. you I'm yeah. a good person. Barry, maybe you, know, you could stuff like, like yeah. that. Just, you know, helping people. And by the way, he gets this right later um, because Kara asks true, him does. why he decided to save her. And then he says, because you were someone who needed help. It's like, that, because, that's what, that's the yeah, that's what, that's, yeah, good job. That was the thing you were supposed to say, you moron. You did a hero thing. Good job. <laughs> God. Uh, yeah, so Batman's like, you're gonna electrocute yourself then? He's like, yeah, and he's like, want some help? I just don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. I feel like Bruce Wayne Batman would be like, listen, I know that you think you get your powers if you're electrocuted, but I think it's way more likely you're just gonna die. Mm -hmm. And I think it's better if you don't die. And ultimately you might need to, you know, become a new you. Like, your powers don't define you, that sort of thing. I feel like that's where Batman would go. I don't think Batman would be like, well... Fuck it, right? Whatever. If you die, you die. Yeah. Which is it's like, actually uh, funny. I guess the. Oh, go ahead. Uh, well, I guess I just read that as like, do you want help figuring out how to do that? Well, he's the one um, that throws the switch. Yeah. Right, and then, and right before that, he's like, he oh, says I also it's think insane, insane. But he still does it. Yeah. Yeah, that right. doesn't. I don't think that's enough for me. I get that the film is like, see, he thinks it's crazy. And it's like, yeah, but then he wouldn't do it. Like, uh, you, you can't, yeah. like, that's like half... Yeah, it's definitely weird about them. You went halfway with it. Because I, I really want people to understand what I'm trying to say here. It's like, I think his point of view is this kid is so lost, he's about to kill himself. I should stop mm -hmm. this from happening. And, you know, you'd be like, well, no, because that's how Flash does get his powers or whatever. It's like, yeah, but Bruce doesn't fucking believe that shit Bruce right now. Bruce doesn't believe that. Yeah. I don't even know if I believe it. No. <laughs> to be so, honest, dude, with everything we've seen, I don't know that that will work. I, I don't know. I don't even know. It just sort yeah. of happens, I guess. Yeah. That's just how it works. Okay. It was interesting to see the comparison in Flashpoint uh, Paradox, because in this one, it's not Bruce Wayne, it's uh, Thomas Wayne. And he, he went, Dad. like, the, the yeah. super insano mode. He, like, he uses guns and kills people. Like, he has no problem with him. He's like, I don't like know, this fucking guy. Joker. I'm just going to execute him. That's fine. <laughs> so Someone said it already worked in the movie. First of all, Bruce didn't see any of that. And secondly, that's what I meant by even me, even me having seen it work, I don't know that you can recreate that with any blast of lightning. I don't know. I know people so who've been specific. hit by lightning who just fucking died. Yeah. Well, it's so... also the, the chemicals on top, right? Well, yeah, did they? But they, yeah. but they uh, fucked this up you, as well. That sounds like something that would be almost impossible to mm -hmm. get right as well. Like, to know yeah. what composition, how much of it, you know, and you could recreate it perfectly. It's like, why would you take that risk when you're very likely just going to either kill or cripple yourself permanently? Yeah, he just puts those chemicals on the side and he just goes for it. Go lucky, uh, I guess. Yeah. Flash is, like, the way Flash gets his powers, it feels like they really didn't care. Yeah, they so needed to knock him out of having powers for that whole sequence of the movie, but you kind of, I don't know, it strikes me as being like, you could have just let him keep him. Yeah, not a lot would have yeah. changed. I guess you wouldn't have this sequence, but, I mean, this sequence gets funnier anyway, because it doesn't work. He gets zapped, he's covered in mm -hmm. blood, and, like, he's smoking, and he's like, eh. And then he's like, do it again, and Batman's like, it's fried, I can't do it again. Yeah. So, and from, f before anything else happens, in that moment, if you're Bruce, you're like, I just electrocuted a kid to the point where he's nearly dead, who knows what permanent <laughs> damage I've done. Probably shouldn't have gone along with this, but hey, whatever, mm -hmm. fuck it. And then Kara comes along, and she's like, don't you worry, I'll grab you and fly you up into the storm directly and get you electrocuted. And Bruce is like, ah, oh, there you go. There's no <laughs> OSHA on Krypton. Uh, I wait, just... By the way, really funny, uh... Because she, she fucks off after she has a conversation with Barry 2 uh, yeah. on top of the thing. And she cool. goes to the place where Zod landed and sees like getting all these soldiers getting fucked up. Mm -hmm. And Zod notices her. She's like, no. And she, he looks at them, at yeah. her. We cut away. And then she just comes back to, to the manor. Yep. And Zod doesn't follow them, uh, follow her. It's like, nope. that's, that's the reason you're here. Yeah, you, no, you want that's... Her. That's huge. She has the genetic code to unlock the embryos. Yeah. Wait, what? A poorly written Zod in every universe? No. Hmm. It's no. Interesting. <laughs> It's hey like man, this. Terrence it's Stamp, like this, this. This scene when she sees him was supposed to be after the electrocution scene. Like it feels like it's misplaced. Yeah, like it got edited out of order. Yeah. yeah. Is there? Is oh. there a? I guess. It, pardon me if we covered it. Is there a reason why the Flash doesn't want to get electrocuted for his powers before they go to Russia? No, no I think it just comes with a bit. That's, 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 
And that's okay. what I was asking earlier is why okay. wasn't that his like top priority? I don't think he even I considered it. As lightning. An I don't, well, from the future, right I need to Funnily enough, uh, someone in chat said, like, oh, yes, he won't do it, and then you'll just get killed by Zod. That's a better plan. Like, no, my whole point is you should. it's better you stay alive to fight Zod in any way, shape, or form. You could even be the guy in the chair for the team, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. if you're it's just better that than being dead. Out, Why yeah. would you want to be dead instead of that? And it's like, you treat it as though his options are be dead or be Flash, when his options are be dead, be Flash, or be alive. Uh, yeah. and be flash and be, be dead most likely as opposed to be flash be flash is very yeah. unlikely I spent time training and coaching yeah flash as well yeah and like i said there's an easy message there of like your powers don't define you and then he gets given them back through some other means you know something else happens but he gets used to the idea of not having powers and then he gets them back that's, that's like that's like super standard uh, superhero storytelling Spider-Man 2. Yeah, you, you don't you don't need to do it the way they did it, and I just think it's especially funny that he's this corpse almost on a chair who's like, electrocute me again, and then Kara's like, <laughs> I will do it. And it's like, why? Why do you think it'll work? Why are you yeah, killing it? Electricity, mother. You know, like, does she even know what's going on? No! <laughs> I, think, I thought, I think I joked with Mahler when we were watching it. Uh, cause like, cause she's from a different culture entirely. Does she, ah yes, this is a this is a a warrior ritual, a warrior's death ritual or something. Yeah. I will help. I will help you <laughs> die and obtain honor. You and will go she, to she Valhalla. Sees, she sees her. Uh, she's him get up. It's like, oh no, I fucked it up. Oh, let's go back up. Let's go back she's to like, the she's floating him up, and she's like, this is a badass way to go out. He's like, no, no, no. I'm I'm gonna become the Flash, and she's like, oh, ho, ho, yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Flash of lightning. Yes. I get it. Good joke. Right before you die. Yeah. <laughs> It's also weird while Zod that, is on pause, apparently. Yeah, he like, just waits. Barry wanted him to hit hit the switch again, mm -hmm. uh, like because he, he was like near death. Uh, you'd think that going through something like that would cause so, him to step back and. I got the impression you know, that uh, uh, Barry one legit yeah. feels that either he has his powers or he's fucking nothing and he'd rather die. Like mm -hmm. that's the impression I got at that it's, point. That's how it read. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's not the, something the that they've ever really done. Like it done. came out of nowhere, you know. Right. Yeah, because so he's like, he do it! And determined. it's just like, oh shit, okay, alright. And I know that well, someone might be like, well, of course, because he wants to make a difference in the world. It's like, no, 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 just like, why wasn't that in the film then? There should have been a conversation with him and Batman, or him and Barry too, about how he's nothing without his powers. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's like, hypothesis. like the normal thing you do, but... But the thing is, they're, they're trying to recreate the, the incident, right? So the yeah. first time they do this, all the chemicals explode all over him, doesn't work. So if he just hits the button again, it just shouldn't work anyway, because the chemicals are not around anymore to cause the same reaction. Ah, uh, you and fool, you don't understand. You have to satisfy two aspects. There is chemicals mm -hmm. all over you and enough lightning. He'd done the chemicals one, now he needed more lightning to finish that part. You oh, yeah, but more. if he goes like up, he goes, through, he goes through the rain, and then the... Yeah, that makes the, more, that's, the chemicals become more uh, potent when you do No, that. stop it! <laughs> you just don't know how science is, you foolish. I, they don't know what science is. Science is becoming the Flash by dying. It makes You're enough You're dying. Sense. Got him. Um, and then we watch a bat suit get completely desecrated. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts the fucking flex on it. It's like, no, stop I really, it. I think it's a huge missed opportunity for this film to not have him sawing it, painting it, cutting it, blah, blah, blah. And it just pans up to a Bruce Wade looking at him really sad. Just like, yeah. fucking hell, what have you done? <laughs> Or you could like, it could have helped you. Like, you know, I have the tools. You could have just not make it makeshift. <laughs> Didn't have to fuck it up. <laughs> and that you could know, have I've been how they spend their fuck. Got a printer right there. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, um, shit as well. I hate it. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I think Batman is like interesting group. What do you say we're called again? Like Justice League, and you just said they're like, "Fuck off, stop it! <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself." Well, yeah. what's funny about this to me is that they never name themselves the Justice League in either cut of Justice League. Yet now they're just called that. It's just funny to me. Yeah, like Meta being named it between the scenes. All right. Um. Yeah, and he and he says, uh, "So you in?" Which yeah, you need to be reminded, Batman is still not on board with saving the world, and uh, yeah, that's when you get the famous moment from the trailer. You want to get know. nuts? Let's get nuts. Which you know, sounds like compare it to the context uh, in the first film of why he fucking said it. Yeah, because he was hear. doing the whole whole. 
I don't, I don't. I haven't seen the movie in a bit, but it was like because of the Joker, right? And he was trying to get him out or something. It remind me. Yeah, uh, definitely I mean, not. Joker's in uh in um uh Vic oh it's Vicky Vale, right? It's yeah. funny, I've already forgotten her name because <laughs> you know, it's not as interesting as Catwoman. Um and yeah, like he smashes the cutlery after he was basically yeah. telling uh the story that could be read as being somewhat about himself and then screams, You wanna get nuts, let's get nuts, because Batman in the Burton movie is a little bit unhinged. Right, right. He's a little bit he's a little bit uh yeah. But, but here it's just like, oh, that's the line that you know about from the other movie, so he's gonna say it. And, it's, and it's just, it's all what, wrong. What the is, context is all wrong. The delivery's all wrong. It's just a meme. Yeah. It's just the line that he says, because you remember that line. It's like, yeah, but I remember why he said it, not just the line. And it's, it's funny, because I've like seen people movie. do the comparison to I'm something of a scientist myself being a positive comparison. It's like, you recontextualize a reason for Norman to say it. It's the same reason. Okay. So it is a meme, but like you yeah. actually have in universe sort of smoothness to it compared to this, where it's just like, why did you say that? What was what? He said it because because he's aware that he's a character <laughs> in a fucking movie. More of a caricature. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, um yeah. So we're moving on but to yeah, the Yeah, things do get pretty nuts, because that action scene, holy shit. Well, oh, that's, we, I was about to say we, we we're ready on to, to the, talk about what happens next. I'll we're on to the third act. Yeah. Yeah. We're so close. I can, yeah, I can, I can go to sleep soon. <laughs> so, uh, ba oh, they're heading well, in the team, and Batman's like, "I'm going to stay airborne and take out their sky power," which I thought was a really awkward line, but that's fine. It's mostly fine. Uh, and he said, and, and then Flash uh, Barry one says to Barry two, "Remember, your suit needs breaks because you're going to build up too much charge." And then Barry Two says, "Wait, what?" And I was just yeah. like, "Please don't tell Why me this isn't something like earlier? this." Is what I mean, every single time in this movie, they rely on being like, "He told him, see, he told him," but you're gonna see it all floompy because he didn't quite explain it the best way he could or something. It's just like, "Why though? Why do oh, they never guess... say what they have to say?" Nope, no, not like Batman's a strategist or something that would oh. get everyone to put all the cards on the table. Don't you love the strategy employed by the military? Standing out in a big open <laughs> desert, fucking just shooting at things. It's not working. Just randomly shooting. Yeah, <laughs> like it's uh, randomly shooting. At it's, things. it's random chaos. It's just it soldiers is. standing around, just shooting mm. guns. I guess and, you know, and things. This is battleground. Really, really worth emphasizing. Um, you know, you look at a film like Avengers, where the battle is set in New York, and all of the ways that they use the environment to make the battle dynamic. Um, and, and, you know, tailored to the skill sets of each, each character has a different way of navigating that environment and, and fighting in that environment. And then, of course, because there are civilians there, you get to see the Avengers saving people, which yeah. is really nice in a superhero film when you get to see heroes save people. I um, like that. whereas crazy. here, big empty field, it's a big, just empty running desert. around, no landmarks to deal with. Um, no differing terrain, just a big well, flat empty field, which not only doesn't look very interesting visually, but isn't an interesting place. By calling it an open field, I you think you're giving it too much credit by calling it that. It's not a field, <laughs> it's an open desert. I was going to say, there's no geography. We don't know where anyone no, ever is anywhere any, at any time. This is I like in a like game, one... if there's nothing to load. If it, It's just like a flat <laughs> brown plane. I think there were a couple of like... I don't think they're rocks? mountains. They don't, that, yeah, they're big rocks. They don't count as mountains. They're big rocks. Well, Small and so mountain. the Bolt map in the Far Cry Two map editor. The prevailing <laughs> theory about this, which I think this could answer it, but there's also other theories, right? So the, the prevailing one is the the criticism of putting it in places with high populations is bad, and heroes should never do that. Zod is here. This is where Zod is. Yeah, Zod, so you don't Zod have to make it so that. Choices. Yeah, making it in the city still works. It's just that I think it could be that, but it's also like way cheaper to just make this fucking desert your landscape. Uh, well, I mean, you know, what do you. It's. it's If all of your terrain is flat, that just makes it a lot easier, I yeah. would imagine, than if you're on a bridge or if you're in this building or you're in this general area. You Smashing have to actually skyscrapers up. and having cars and people everywhere and windows and trees and just everything you can imagine. That's going to be way more difficult than brownish, light brownish floor. That's it. You're like, okay, mm -hmm. light brownish mm -hmm. floor. Was there in the MCU as well? Why they were um, in the desert? 
It was where they were in, I believe that's where they met in Man of Steel, like when they met with uh with Clark. That yes. was uh, that was like really think so. Well, so, this is, so this is just the direct continuation of when he was attacking them earlier. Uh, yeah, they put the battle um, it's on the same pause. area. It's the same area. I think it's the same area that Kara visited. Yeah, left. but of course, I'm just and highlighting like a writer could have put Zod anywhere they want. Really, they, they, yeah, you, you can know. put him in a place that's more interesting instead of a big mm -hmm. open desolate wasteland with nothing but, in it. Uh, I am amused by the idea that they put them there. So it's like you can't complain about population control, <laughs> yeah, collateral but, like, damage. That's not, yeah, but the problem, the problem was that like. It was so much collateral damage. <laughs> Superman didn't do much to stop it. It, it was well, you remember... indifference to the collateral damage that was the yeah. problem, not the fact that anything was happening, you know? Wasn't it a, a BVS line where it's like, oh my god, the fight's been taken to blah 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 blah, that it's like, that, that place has zero Sorry, population, it. good. I, I uh, yeah, 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 they kept saying that. Well, you know, downtown Gotham is mainly empty, it's like, no it isn't. Shut yeah, up, like, yes, it's an industrial yeah, it was, area. It was, it was like, it's uninhabited. Manhattan. It's just this very well, just quick be like if you said, Oh, yeah, you know, like like downtown there's Manhattan. intelligent life anywhere. You know, lower Manhattan, there's nobody there. It's like, yes, there is. It's New York. But, but uh, well, I, think New in, York. I think in Batman v Superman, it was the, whatever, the, the harbor, the dock. Yeah, it was the Doomsday yeah. Island. No, 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 yeah. no, it was also Metropolis. There was they two, said, there was two places yeah. they said were, there was th yeah. No, three places. There were three places, guys, get it right. It was, <laughs> it was, three it was three places. places. It was, it was, um, because uh, Metropolis was where, uh, where Doomsday was. And Doomsday jumped up onto a building, and then they had like the CNN helicopter thing saying, "Oh, it's mainly empty because it's nighttime in the business <laughs> area," which it, again, it's a New York equivalent, so it, it ain't. And then they went to uh, it was Rikers Island, right in the middle. Yeah. That, and then they're like, "It's uninhabited." And then it's like, "Why did you bring him back to the city?" And then uh, I think Batman said, "The port is, uh, you know, uninhabited. It's empty." He took so that three times. That Man yeah. of Steel criticism hit him so hard, like, in terms of insecurities. Well, it should. It was a really, it was just a terrible idea, like, the, to have Superman causing this much collateral he's like, damage. like, you should feel insecure about your shitty fucking movie. <laughs> it was a terrible idea. I don't know why you, I don't know why they did it. It was like, crash land you... in the middle of London, and they're like, it's nighttime, most people aren't there. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. it. You know, like, well, of actually having Superman say- Because there was that thing in Smallville where, uh, the, the guy fell out of the helicopter, Superman grabs him, and it's like, are you okay? It's like, oh, yeah, big hero moment. And then right away, one of the fucking Kryptonians comes along and starts attacking you. It's like, oh, that guy's probably dead then. So it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? They did that here as well, remember, when, like, Kara said that person in the helicopter, and then they just died straight away? Because <laughs> they don't want- they don't want to- they don't want to deal with, like, actually, you know, saving the civilians, right? They gotta- like, so they are going to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Well, not the problem is that I think a lot of the times people forget, like, because the the the, the 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 terminology has become so muddled by you know you know repetition and it's just sort of fallen <laughs> away. But superhero is a combination of two words, mm -hmm. that <laughs> being super and hero. Implying as if take a hero, and this is like the super version of what that is. But they really don't want to, you know, even entertain that concept. Because in their minds, I guess a superhero is just a very powerful person who does cool stuff, I guess, oh, or just, something. But you look at a lot of the older superhero movies, and you see it even in the ones in the 2000s, right? Spider-Man was saving people in X-Men. You had, like, in, you know, when Wolverine was fighting the guys when they uh, came to the, came to, uh, the, the school. school, like, saving the kids at the school. Um, Superman saving people in the old films, Batman, you know, saving people, like, I don't know, we, I feel like we've lost track of the saving people part of the superhero thing, where we're, we're like, so disconnected from saving people. Um, well, we're busy fighting and, uh, giant, giant multiversal monsters. Superheroes play DPS and a play support, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess. Well, I think well, it's really funny to think about because I think because I think I know the reason they did what they did in Man of Steel, and that's because everyone was complaining that Superman Returns didn't have enough action, so they were like, "Okay, you want fucking action?" So they get their pump out and they start pumping up the action, but oh no, the saving people part keeps shriveling up, and suddenly you have this huge engorged action part, and suddenly there's like one person being saved in the entire fucking film. So this but, is kind of uh, the give and take. 
it ain't it, it's not just dc marvel has this problem too of a, a oh, lot yeah, less saving like you know i mean at the end of endgame that's a big battle and a big it's not as empty but it's still devoid of like like clear sort of landmarks and people to account for other than you know combatants um that's like another instance of, of sort of moving it away from a uh, hero saving people and and it's like, what is the instance here? It's that very strange segment with the babies falling out of the building. That's like the Flash saving people. This bizarre, strange like set piece. Instead of just people trapped in rubble, the bridge is collapsing and the cars are sliding down into the water. Oh no, the such and such is about to fall on what's her face. Oh, an old lady is in the street. What are we gonna do? Like really, like, sat, just stuck up a tree. Shazam, well, Shazam did that, and how much did that count for? <laughs> you know, with uh, with the audience. Remember, it opened with them saving people. I do remember. Oh, I thought you were talking about. Do you? The first yeah, because they Shazam? used that song that was in like three movies: Tetris, that, and uh, Mario. <laughs> yep. Held that was, for that was kind of fucking uncanny. Yeah. <laughs> like, how did that happen? Yeah, but, yeah it did. <laughs> No, no, in a matter no, of, no, yeah, no. in like two days, I heard that song in like three different languages. <laughs> so, uh, back to the movie, unfortunately. Um, I, I, I've always uh. said I've been very unhappy with Keaton's characterization, um, even though I'm a big fan of seeing him in general. That's what I've, I've said several times on uh, other streams. I'm trying to separate my easy-to-manipulate heart to my recording this and understanding it mind of what's going on. There's a line he has as they're entering in. They're getting shot by um, random people. And obviously there's a bit of a meme here of like, what, they're shooting at us? It's like, yeah, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They don't know who's on their side. It's like, there's something to that, I think, especially with a, you know, a crazy bat vehicle. But then you do think like, maybe they would recognize that because um, Barry too recognizes the Batmobile when he sees it. Because he's like, oh yeah, this used to be on the news all the time. So it's like, you may think that you'd have the opposite cool reaction of all the soldiers see the bat wing coming in and they're like, holy fuck, it's Batman. He's come here, like, he's out of retirement. retirement. Like, yeah, and that would be really, like, encouraging, which I think would have been a way cooler way to go with that. In any case, they're shooting at him, and I couldn't quite catch the line, but it sounded like, to me, that Batman says, these are the humans we came to protect? And That's then exactly Barry, says, Barry says, they don't know we're on their side. Why the fuck have they got... Bruce Wayne referring to the people down there as humans. I had the same thought. What the I was fuck? Like, why would you say that? Oh, why yeah. would you say it that way? Like you're from. So you guys not often <laughs> refer to uh, your fellow man as humans. As humans? <laughs> hey, humans, what's up? <laughs> oh god, How the do fellow like humans. Like Clark and Man of Steel, it's metamorphosized into Batman. Every time the Amazon driver is delivering something, it's like, is this the human that's supposed to deliver my package? Is this the correct human resident? Isn't it strange that they're like, oh, they won't know that they're on our side, that we're on their side? It's like, well, they probably will when you start fighting those guys. That's what I mean. It's but, like, you can go that direction for that kind of commentary of like, oh, yeah, we're war as hell, whatever. But I, I just, why not make it so they recognize the Batwing? That'd be really cool. Yeah, like, oh shit, it's Batman. He's here to help us. He's back. He's come out of retirement to stop a fucking crazy alien god from killing us all. That's amazing. He does yeah. care. Uh, I think, I don't know. <laughs> he I was probably criticism... chomping on the bit to save us. That, the criticism to that might be calling into question whether or not Batman is international. I, I, I would, if I was writing it, I'd allow right? that. You would, why wouldn't you allow that? Like, he'd be famous, right? He's like that crazy bat guy who saved a whole city from crime. Well, our, our Batman is internationally recognized. Mm -hmm. And, and he's, 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 yeah, that's actually, real. I was about to say, that's, that's fair. He's a fictional character in our world, but if we saw a big bat wig flag across, we'd be like, fucking Batman is here! <laughs> Fuck up the aliens, dude! Woo! And wouldn't the Batwing have like a speaker on it and he could just basically, he would just get on and just like, this is Batman, stand by. Hello, human. Clarifying humans. he's there to help. This is Batman. Hello, Let's hello, fuck up this Batman. alien race. Hello, <laughs> puny humans. Puny <laughs> pores down there. <laughs> humans, I am on your side. <laughs> Batman, why, why would you say it like that? Silence, <laughs> Earthling. Do not this question the, the Batman. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they arrive and they have that amazing shot that has been referenced ah, everywhere oh, of them arriving. So Fortnite, Fortnite. <laughs> the two flashes. We love Fortnite. We love Fortnite. Um, but oh. seriously though, when they arrive as two flashes and a super person being super girl, it's just like, oh, so this fight's over. You guys, you yeah. guys would have won with one flash. You got two. 
Well, it's just Batman, uh, not Batman, Superman alone beat these guys. You've got Supergirl, who is also Superman, plus two <laughs> Flashes, plus Batman. Yeah. Yeah, and to it's be totally, like, totally Batman... Barry is just gonna, gonna use his, his Flash time and just gonna break all the necks or something. No, be really easy. you fool. Why would oh, you assume that? So that would be insane. insane. Oh, that would be really scene. smart and effective. Doesn't he end up like facing his hand through one? Well, so okay, oh. so so the yeah. scene is about to begin, <laughs> and you're like, yeah. "This will be it. We got a Batman, two Flashes, a Supergirl, find an army of Kryptonians. This will be fun, right?" First thing right. Barry one says to Barry two, "They're Kryptonian, so we won't be able to kill them, but we can slow them down." Three seconds later, oh. he kills one. <laughs> so what? What? Flash why, has a good understanding of what Kryptonians are and how powerful they are and their weaknesses and vulnerabilities. But how does he think that they were beaten? They, like, <laughs> the funny part, I guess, is he was like, oh, well, he sees them all as just Supermans, loads and loads of Supermans. It's just like, so nobody told him what the reality of the Kryptonians were? He just assumes they're all like Superman? It's like, does he never wonder how Superman managed to beat them all at that point then? It was like, no, no, he kills one in three seconds later. That's what was mentioned. He actually does. Yeah. He phases into the guy's heart and then kills him. And it's like... So just do that with all of them. That's useful yeah. and also terrifying. It is kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's the villain move from the Flash show, actually, which is funny to think about being used here. I just um, This is the force lightning of speed powers. It's one of those uh, yep. competency things again. I'm just like, does does the filmmaker know they just said he can't kill him and then he killed them? Do they know this? Is this something they, they intended? What's going to happen in the action scene? Like, that they filmed. <laughs> they keep pushing them over. <laughs> they keep hitting them and pushing them so and slowing them down. Your what the danger would actually be if they went into flash time and they just moved them all. Uh, well, we saw what You're right, they make them all you fall in their masks. They throw up well, this Nickelodeon slime we, uh, into their masks. I mean, we saw, <laughs> right, when uh, Flash fought the power demons, he, like, kicked the shit out of them. Yeah, right, it's because yeah. he's incredibly overpowered. The idea that really it's like, cool. oh, well, he's he's against people who are strong. It's like, okay. Yeah, but he's fast. <laughs> And that or that compensates exactly, fast, which makes him strong. And we see and that. And they forgot the Kryptonians are meant to be fast him. too. Well, but yeah, they, they, they're clearly nowhere reason, near fast enough to beat out the Flash. Except though. in some instances, they are. Like Feyora was fast enough to keep up. Like you remember that part? Like and Zod, well, yeah, and Zod does too. <laughs> It's, what? it's just inconsistent. Flash, it's his one thing! His <laughs> one thing is his fast! Why would you make them just let me have this. Yeah, they're not even just powered up. They are the limited power Kryptonians. They're not yeah, even supercharged. Just keep, take off all of his gear and stuff and spend a little bit more time I feel like they Earth, forgot you know, about that. They're not as powerful just without around, that. Let them vomit inside their own yeah. hands. So fucking lame, dude. So it's like you got to know you have two flashes. Of course you have to nerf him. You got no action scene if you don't. It's like yeah, exactly. I guess so. Oh, oh, but speaking of nerfs, uh, we found out there's a new weakness to the Kryptonians um, in this scene. Um, a very interesting weakness that totally does not ruin Man of Steel even more. Uh, are we ready to talk about this new weakness that we discovered for Kryptonians in this scene? Why don't you uh, enlighten? I'm curious. I'm not exactly sure what you're going for here. Oh, okay. okay. I think I, I might, but so, I, I want to, you know, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, okay, okay. So so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So what do we, I'm going to go over what we've established as a Kryptonian weakness in this universe so far. So we've got uh, Kryptonian atmosphere, um, and we've got, uh, well, technically other Kryptonians, and we've got Kryptonite. Um, I don't know if red sun radiation is a thing in this universe. I can't quite remember. It used, they seem to have substituted with crypto, Kryptonian air. Mm -hmm. um, but we got those. We got those. So... Um, in this film, in this film, we discover, we discover, so, so first, um, we must flash back to Man of Steel. I know, I know, terrifying thought, terrifying thought to think back that's to okay. the beginning of this, but that's okay. Um, so remember in that film, uh, General Zod had a little blade that pops out of his wrist and he used it to he kind killed of, Russell uh, Crowe with it. Yeah, he gave him a little shanky shank. He gave him a little tiny shanky shank. Um, so, but we, but that's understandable because they didn't have powers on Krypton. They're 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 vulnerable there. But what we discover in this film, so so Supergirl goes up and he's like, yeah, you, you what happened to the fucking what happened to Kal El? It's just like oh, the infant didn't survive. It's like no. So they fight and they fight, and then Zod grabs Supergirl by the neck. And remember, Supergirl, fully powered Kryptonian at this point, who inexplicably gets really good at her powers really quick. But whatever. Um, yeah. So she. So he gets out the blade and stabs the fully powered Kryptonian in, in the chest. And there's no resistance. There's, it just goes right through. So we discover, okay, so General Zod's blade can, can penetrate a fully 
Oh, that's a nice sentence right there. Can penetrate a fully <laughs> um, empowered Kryptonian? Oh, my. And then later on in the fight, mm, we well, let's just say, I don't even know if I want to get to that because I feel like I want a full description of what happens later. But let's just say we find out that um, all it really requires is a jagged piece of Kryptonian metal and it can just Does he do that up super fast, though? Is there, is it, is it, th that would be slightly better if he did it with the, the speed force and the, the armor piece, or was it just normal? I think it was... I can't quite remember. I just remember that it, it felt like a lot of bullshit, and it was kind of pairing up with the fact that... But no, you're right. Uh, uh, could get stabbed. All yeah. of this fucks with everything, but the thing is, is everything is so fucked already that it's like, yeah, why wouldn't they just fuck it up even more, right? Like... It, add a few bits on we're about to get to like the insane multiversal part of it we haven't even hit that oh, yeah. yet technically um but yeah i mean well to, to sort of get there then uh they uh they, they the zod says they they caught kal-el and he didn't survive the process of them trying to draw out of him what they needed but it turns out car is the one in this universe that has the information they need for unlocking the embryos and so they need to draw her blood out of her i guess um I thought that, uh, you know when, when she says, what did you do? And he says the infant did not survive and she like rages out. I kind of liked that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Even though it's it's like what I'm liking is imagining more of her history and the characters involved and like how that, that would be such a big deal and it would make her enraged, especially if she has this duty to have protected kal -El. It's like, yeah that, yeah, that works for me, but it's just like, it's so unfortunate there's so little here. This is wafer thin. There was incredibly mm -hmm, yep. little for uh, Kara. It's kind of unbelievable. I don't, I don't like if it feels like she she was barely a part of this film. Well, and she was kind of cool. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, I liked her a little bit for what little that there was. That you the, could for the minute we had, <laughs> she was <laughs> yeah, just like, like it, you know. she shows up and she's there, and there's a little bit of character like seeping through just a little bit, but then she barely even gets a chance, and then she's dead. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it for her. Interesting terminology. Because she seemed uh, very much about the mission and, you know, helping people where she can and the, the duty bound with the whole Kryptonian stuff and uh, seeing that the world has fallen apart and that Zod likely got here from chase tracing her ship. I was like, there's a lot here that's... But for the five seconds that you managed to get all of that in, like, you know, the, we could have had more of her and it would have been okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Absolutely. So, I understand. I think it was like a total waste. Yeah, like a complete, a complete and total waste. I completely agree. Like, especially because, like, the thing about like, Supergirl is that she's kind of what a lot of people who aren't as informed think Superman is. Where she is from Krypton, and she was, she grew up on Krypton. She arrives on Earth as a teenager, and there's interesting things you can do. Literally having a Kryptonian perspective, um, coming to Earth, but uh, exactly, film doesn't do anything with it. Well, it's just you know the contrast between like like Clark is. It, it's, it's something that I'll keep pushing at this point. Like, Clark is a human. He grew up on Earth. He was raised by human parents. He is fully yes. immersed in that experience, whereas Kara is Kryptonian in the sense that she knows what Krypton was like. It's a, good, was... it's a good sort of perspective to contrast, but 100%. the reality is that she didn't have the time. She didn't have any time here. Um, I was just nope. about to say, he's not human, he's American, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll allow Americans to be considered human. You know, I think Bruce would call you guys humans. So you, you yeah. definitely qualify. <laughs> Hello, There's Americans and, and humans. Somewhere. Uh, yeah, so she's mad, and she starts beating the shit out of him, lasering him. She seems to be dominating, which if you've seen the other films, you'll know, yeah, of course she will. She's going to dominate the fuck out of him. He's not going to stand much of a chance. Um, put a pin in that. But then Batman oh, okay. is uh, f flying around, and he manages to, like, attach himself and trick two enemy Kryptonian ships into, like, you know, going around, like, a mountaintop and smashing into each other. I couldn't fucking believe it. I was like, these guys have ships that are bazillions of technologies ahead of your Batwing, which hasn't been updated, presumably, in, like, ten years, maybe even more. Mm -hmm. The idea that you just, like, tricked them into hit killing each other, I just, I, I, I know it's Batman, That's but I was just like, of... I don't know. That's that. the kind of dumb shit. Whenever I see it, like the whole "ooh, I'm gonna trick them into shooting each other" or in the bumping into each other and crashing, it's like I just don't, I just don't believe you. It's hard to buy. Like, it. That's just that's a really tough sell that you were able to that that, that you could do that at all. Um, if just you don't, don't do that, if you split up this whole battle on this this area, um, you get like ten percent Kara versus Zod, 
10% Batman flying around, 10% Flash is actually hurting people, and about, you know, 70% of Barry 1 and Barry 2 talking to each other. And it's, it's, it's hard, man. Hard to, to be like, why? Mm -hmm. Why'd you keep stopping and talking to each other? And it's because there's just barely any prep for Barry 2, so he just keeps fucking up, basically. And they had to do it like that, because if he didn't fuck up, they would have won immediately. <laughs> yeah, it would have. So, yeah, yeah, it's a really okay. fucking lame fight. You barely see, like, interesting parts of who the people you actually give a shit about. Because, uh, yeah, I think we've actually, I've actually described all of the notable things before every, everyone dies, so. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There's not that much to talk about in this scene. It's just, no. here's your action it's scene. It's a really that... shitty fight sequence. Yeah, that's really shitty. And, uh, along. like, Kara's beating the fuck out of Zod, and he's, like, rammed into a wall, and then it cuts to her and she, like, falls over tired. And I was like, fuck off. Like, yeah. you, I knew that moment. I was like, you had to nerf her, because she she'd obviously win. And so you want me to believe that the logic is she's newly super-personed, and so she's been, she did a bit of punching and lasering, and now she's exhausted. Like, boo. Superman didn't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> you know, Zod I would, didn't have to deal uh, with this shit when he was fully Yes, you're right, Zod got this time. pretty quick as well, but oh well. And of course, uh, she wearily grabs his arm to access the world engine and shut it down, but because she's turned his back on him, he just stabs her, and she's dead. Yeah. Boo. Lame. Absolutely lame, lame. lame as fuck. Boring. Lame. Lame. If, if you're gonna kill her, could you at least have had her get ganged up by like all the Kryptonians in a big fucking fight that she she gets overwhelmed by, and even have Batman try to help her out or something? Something. Don't just get stabbed in the back because she turned <laughs> yeah. her back. What the fuck? That's so boring. Which, uh, by the way, when that happened and how little fanfare it got, the thought I had. The first thought was like, wow, really? And then the second thought was, oh, they're going to rewind this, aren't they? This ain't it. This ain't, mm -hmm. like, the end. They're going to try again. Um, because well, you can I guess... tell with the film the kind of tone that they have when something significant happens, like, especially a character death, and it just it's played really um, straight and, and basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was like throwaway. Um, but yes, that that is a that's a fair inference to make from this insane story, anyway. But it kind of has a funny backfire to think about, um, which we'll get to. So that happens, of course, and then it, it, it you know like the Flash actually dominating in their fight, but somehow they they allow all that to happen, even though Zod is like the main one they need to take out, and they could take out in the time it would take Supergirl to blink. I just it's just so annoying, but whatever. So we cut to Batman. And he, uh, he looks at the mothership and he's like, I'm gonna take out that ship. And fires some rockets at it. It has shields, so his rockets do nothing. And then they just mm -hmm. shoot once at him. And it damages his ship in such a way that he can't eject and he's just fucked. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, like what? what? And then he says, Why I'm going down. And, and Barry's like, no! And he goes, but don't worry, I'm gonna take him down with me. And I legit didn't know what they were fucking trying to say. They have Batman announce that he's gonna f kamikaze, that's it for him, he's done now, but he's yeah. gonna take someone out with him. He crashes into the mothership and it does nothing. Like, it's yeah. like, what the- what? It's like, <laughs> it just it's dies, hilarious. and you're like, okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, Batman. <laughs> it's the- it's- it's so fucking lame. I Did just can't really describe how- No. No, it just I would, it, why it, would it, it, it hits a shield. It hits a shield and it's it's nothing. It, <laughs> it was for nothing. It didn't make any difference. Oh, like no. it was just You could have at I, least I, like what we'd be saying if it had worked, it's like why did that work? But I would have taken that over just making him go over and didn't do anything. But then but then yeah, at that yeah. point it was very clear. It's like, oh they're gonna rewind this. You can't oh, yeah. have Michael Keaton's Batman blow up like without <laughs> it doing like... any damage and then did not, he... you know, play it very <laughs> seriously. And it's just how casually he just decides that he's gonna die now. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, yeah. oh, I can't. I'm having trouble, uh, you know, it, getting the cockpit open on my ship. Uh, I, I guess, I guess I'll die now. I guess I'll kamikaze into an alien spaceship <laughs> instead of. Well, I guess I'll land and figure out how to get out of this thing. Or maybe I'll and like turn around and yeah, do hit we even my need on a rock or something? Do we even need to talk I'm about how that is to... not a Batman thing to do whatsoever? Just to be like, I it's give up, not... bye. <laughs> this is what? not Michael Keaton Batman. Like, Certainly not. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not in the same universe as Batman and Batman Returns. It ain't. 
And thank it re God. yes, it scrambled everything up because of time something, and there's clearly something yep. wrong with his brain. And Bruce Wayne is uh, something's going on. Something's going on. This isn't him. It's this that he is didn't have world. like another way of getting out. You'd think um, you would fucking think. Yeah, you don't have a bat gadget to cut through your uh to cut through the. Uh, remember, just to be clear, r remember in Batman um, Returns, he punches through his own the bottom of the his own Batmobile <laughs> to get the little radar device on the radio transmitter off. So uh, I don't know. Maybe he saved all the really good material. Well, someone for pointed the out he could cut through line. that like Russian steel, but he can't cut through his own window. Russian steel is that cheap shit. It's, it's that a cheap bat shit. window. <laughs> the bat window made of bat steel, bat Super amantium. Steel. Yeah, this is the good stuff. Uh, so could he not? Oh my God, just land it. It would be no. a bump. Yeah, just an emergency landing, and then just I, figure it let's out. Let's be honest. He just wanted to die. He was done. He just didn't <laughs> he give a shit. To. He was like, ah, fuck it. I'm done. I'm bored. Um, I got a note here that after he both of those... He he didn't tell anyone. Uh, I got a note that after both of those <laughs> events take place, I've got uh, Zod gets his flame juice to restart the Kryptonian race. Happy ending. Hooray. Happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> he wins. It's a Good ending. Full circle. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Super gross. Batman dies and it's lame. Supergirl dies and it's lame. I see you covered uh, the majority of the important parts of this scene. Then <laughs> it's yeah, a, you get a free it. you get a free kill part. on Supergirl and Batman, and that's what you do. Someday. Yeah, they get like it, it. They don't even like Mahler said. You know, Supergirl getting completely overwhelmed by all the Kryptonians, or Batman doing everything he can to like save soldiers, and or, or maybe he come tries to come to Supergirl's defense, and he just gets overwhelmed as a part of it. Um, yeah. Or maybe he dies trying to help the Flashes, and it's a very personal sort of like close-up death to them, which really is extra, e even more motivation for them to go back because he died trying to save them, and they feel more of a need to set things right because of that. You know, something, but instead we got this, and it's like, man, you just, you just suck. You fucking suck as a writer if this mm -hmm. is what you come up with. You just suck. Fuck you. Well, and uh, I, I think with what Freen said earlier, like the it becomes clear what the goal is. Flash goes, wait, but they don't have to be dead, right? We can just go back. And what's interesting to me is they should have just done the Snyder Cut mm -hmm. go back. That go back would have been more suitable here, right? Instead of the multiversal go back. Yeah, the the free one that has no negative consequences. Exactly. <laughs> just do oh, that one. Yeah. Don't do the one with the the strings attached. The one. Just the... do the the free redo. Well, so just that's load, why. That, do the load game. I would say that's where this this movie had already <laughs> lost its mind, but this is where it just absolutely blows up. Like, they do the same thing, technically, that Barry first did in this whole movie to make this whole scenario happen, but nothing changes in terms of the timeline, if you know what I mean. They go yeah, back. The same exact they don't, battle is happening. And yeah, they don't in pivot. The exact same positions. They don't enter a new timeline where everything's changed, even though they're doing the exact same thing. I know that you'd be like, yeah, but he went back like 18 years or whatever. This one, this time, he only went back you know, however long. And you'd be like, yeah, but it's going back at all, isn't it? It doesn't matter what time you're in. That's the point. It, it pivots the, no matter what. The counter be, uh, the first time he did it, he went back a very long time and then traveled a little bit ahead. Ended up in a spot where everything had changed. Well, but according to Michael um, Keaton, it, it alters the whole thing, no matter what you, if you go back, whatever point you change anything at, it'll now pivot the whole thing. But if you go back to the, to the point which you changed it, uh, that would be the same. But uh, how does that work then? So if you never actually traveled forward, instead you lived going forward, would it not have the dramatic changes in the past as well, or no? Uh, yes, both in, I think... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I don't know how it works. <laughs> no, because when he goes back to, uh, like... The store? Correct his first mistake of moving the can of tomatoes, uh, things changed then either. That yeah, that's the problem. I don't think that makes sense either. Once they tell us that, like, see, so, you know, you, you, you're, in, you're at 10 on the scale of time, and you go back to 5 to do a thing, then you go up to 8, and everything is different now, and even Michael Keaton says, even 1, 2, 3, 4, and 4 are different. So then, if he had gone to 5, changed something at 5, and then just lived in 5 for a while, does Michael Keaton Batman just sort of begin to s just appear? Do you know what I mean? Like, how does that yeah. timeline begin to turn into the pivoted one? Because it only does it once he changes something, right? But we argued, shouldn't that happen the second he goes there? Because that's already a change. 
I don't know why we've entertained this conversation again. <laughs> We're not entertained. <laughs> it's horrible. We should um because we also they also don't replace themselves. They go back and there's two yeah. more flashes there. So yeah. no we have four, four flashes, flashes. But those two don't get involved in anything even though they just no, see just... more flashes running around. Which it's, by uh, the way should probably be like, oh fuck. There's four of us. Four. Oh, geez. oh we need to nerf them more. No, just ignore them. <laughs> yeah. So is there is there a reason why uh just rewind to when they first show up to fight the Kryptonians? As because I was thinking about this. This is, is the problem with a lot of time travel media. Uh, why don't you go back further? Why did you pick here? Yeah. You know, I gotta well, do this. Oh no, I showed up two hours before or ten minutes before instead of like days before, weeks before. Right. So they probably should do that. I wasn't there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wasn't there already already there like a ton of different flashes? Um, and if they because if, if this is part of that same timeline. Well, we talked about it earlier, but they should end up with yeah. like millions of them running around after what yeah, Flash there should be does. A fuck ton of flashes. Uh -huh. yeah. But they don't. Even do in, that. if I can't remember, maybe I'm just forgetting it. But if they go back in time to save Batman and Bat or girls, girl, alien lady, don't the, aren't they going to be copies of them in that one that they go back to? Um, I don't. Know they go back anymore because they if they go back in time, right? There's going to mm -hmm. be four of them now in that battle. The two originals, quote-unquote, and then the two ones that just went back in time to save Bat and Super Doesn't that Bat also Lady make the future... Role. Like, doesn't that also create the future in which they go back again? It doesn't means there it should actually be... It'll own, I don't, no, I don't think so. I don't think it'll create the future where they have to go back. It will just be now... There's four of them, two of which having came to that point from the back end, and two of them came coming from the other way around. Well, well, this is the really yeah. weird thing about it, is that when we see them come out of the time stream, we see them come out, and we do see four flashes, but then the film forgets that there's four flashes immediately yeah, after that only, shot. We only deal with the two, with our flashes, that's the only one we deal with. Yeah, and they, they go die. around. We don't even know what the other ones do. Maybe they vaporize them by going mm -hmm. in. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> and then they just go to their deals. But yeah, I did, there should be two more doing stuff in the background, at least, or whatever, and be like, what the fuck? Why is there even more of us now? Uh, and yeah, and if we have like this loop going on, there should be multiple. At least there should be multiple uh, uh, flashes, too, because he's the one who goes in and out of time. Right. It'd be interesting yeah. if they showed up uh, at the beginning and suddenly just saw a bunch of flashes appear. It's just all flashes. They would have to put it together. Like, oh <laughs> shoot, we're gonna try to go back in time. That's a lot of dead Batman. Corpses piling up. <laughs> this is a pile. <laughs> Zod is like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Where are you going, going from? Oh my. What God. weaponry does this planet have? I had they no have idea. clone technology. Yeah, they well, just assume another... it's clones, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually freaking time travel. Well, uh. that, that's the other thing, right? Like, um, we don't actually Zod really doesn't have any reaction to the other superheroes there, um, which you would think they would at least give him like a huh? What the fuck? Why is there a bat person there? Why are there lightning people here? Uh, oh well, like they don't even do yeah. that. He's just really nonchalant about the whole thing. <laughs> they well, might it seems well like not be like there. it seems like Barry too is not even like a match for him at all. Like, every time we see him go in and out, uh, we, we get there in a bit, I'm sure. But it's like, just grabs him every time, notices him. He fails and fails again. Uh, I'm sure we get deeper into that one. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's fucked. It's just completely <laughs> fucked. <laughs> this movie is quite fucked. Um, I would say it's supremely fucked. Um, so bad. Yeah. Man, that More soup can't be that good. Like, come on. He phased no. through one of them. I guess you could say this is Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, this film. Or maybe yeah. Attack of the Killer Canned Tomatoes. What was uh, that with the phasing? Hmm? This film? I guess it looks like this film, but if it wasn't this film, what does that look like? An Attack of Canned Tomatoes. <laughs> you know. Really fast tomatoes. Just really fast around. tomatoes, as Just opposed to around. the slow ones. <laughs> running around planning on what though i don't know it's gonna be like a like a movie like the killer bean movie 
you know, it's just like really badly animated or really funnily animated and just going around being cool and shit. Just with tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Right, yeah. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes movies did they make? And they have like a Four super tomato and a, and a flash tomato and a super girl tomato. Yeah, let's go with that. Maybe. I will say, oh my like, god. In, in, in this action scene, it was like, it really was hard to like gauge exactly how strong or weak like either Barry was. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it, between seeming uh, super strength, like they're running really fast to like being not very strong at all, as well as like because they have like accelerated healing capabilities, right? They, yeah, but then, they do, yeah. But then, like, kind of looks like uh, injuries are permanent because remember, Flash gets that uh, that scar. Yeah, we later find out that that's a permanent one because Evil Flash has it. Uh, as well yeah. as obviously the impalements with the uh, with the super sharp objects as well, which yeah. presumably he could just phase them out of him. He doesn't even need to pull them out; he could just phase them, and then they'd fall out. Yeah, do you love how the Baraka blade that he gets just happens <laughs> to land perfectly to be a stabbing implement? Do you just love? How it really, that's well, going? rather than being really inconvenient and debilitating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> of course. Jeez. Well, I mean, how else would it be? That's insane. They fucking not only gave the Flash a Baraka Blade, they accidentally gave the Flash a Baraka Blade. Which again, you know, that was another instance of the film being incredibly predictable. As soon as he got it, it's like, yeah. ah, he's the evil Flash. He is gonna use it. <laughs> this is oh, kind of funny, yeah. right? Because you, you do think for a second, it's like, they thought that was clever, didn't they? Oh, they thought no. it was clever, but like, it wasn't, <laughs> because of course, he's starting to get more unhinged as the battle goes, and he's getting impaled in a way that looks similar to that evil Flash. He's yeah. obviously evil well, when Flash. He, when he is like, that scar, uh, as you just pointed out, it's like, <laughs> he would have healed that. Like, that doesn't even, that's just, that's, that's right. terrible. Stop. <laughs> See, he's I think damaged. it's hilarious because he's been going in and out, and somehow he managed to get hit every time he got in there by some kind of <laughs> yeah, he did. kryptonite thing. And to a degree where he's covered in it with head, head to toe. And for th- some reason, he never got ripped him out when they're getting in the way and making it, it harder no. for him. This is kind of mm. like a. Sim- what do you call it? like a symbio- symbiosis? I, I don't know. Symbiotic I, relationship. No, symbiotic yeah. thingy, yeah. Um, this is really weird. He's, he even has like shoes with it. Like it's all over his body. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Their first attempt with uh, fixing everything, so to speak, is pretty weak, as we just mentioned. You should probably just go back really far so you can actually strategize. And if you're going to go back, right, you may as well make the most of it. But no, they only go back like a minute before both of them die. And so they're like, okay, Batman. He's like, I'm going to take out the big ship. It's like, no, Batman, it's shielded. And he goes, roger that. And just moves off. And it's it's so, like, <laughs> choppy. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Was there no way Batman could discover it was shielded without that? It's like, whatever. Um, And then Batman's like, the big guy ain't shielded. And then Barry yeah. is like, yeah, take him out. And so I guess we'll do Batman first. It's like he fires his the minigun on his ship at the at the huge Kryptonian guy. He basically mm-hmm. just eats all of it and then jumps onto his ship until it eventually crashes. And then Batman and him have like a one-on-one, which Batman engages, by the way. Batman didn't have to run into him head first. He could have flown away. Yep. He, he decides, flown away. I'm going to go for him. That's a great thing of, of like weapons. You can just go far away and then shoot them from there. It's pretty, pretty, pretty useful. And so, yeah, mm-hmm. Batman takes on a Kryptonian in a one-on-one fight and loses, shockingly, um, because... <laughs> The way Batman wins stuff is he's a strategist. He uses yeah. his strengths against their weaknesses. He fights smarter, not harder. He doesn't just go "fuck you," blah, blah, blah and uh, I'm gonna punch ya. Yeah, uh, he dies hands. again. So that's fun. Um, for some reason, it's, a lot of people it's... found this death like satisfying. I thought it was stupid. Again, it's very stupid. Same. Nice. So, like, he goes out fighting, and I was like, he goes out like a fucking moron, again. Batman yeah. is smart. Batman is really smart. He's I also clever. Just saw He's tactical. I also just saw him die, so I, I kind of already tried to do this, and now just doing it again. Yeah. Like, okay. Um, and so, uh, we'll was... get... Go ahead. Uh, okay, I was confused um, at which point the film was trying to tell me that the time traveling wouldn't work. It was really at that point 
Uh, well, because what I thought happened was I thought he said tried to. What does he say? Oh, he said we'll we'll bring you back or something. Um, and he says you already did, guys. At first, I thought he was. I thought Bruce was saying that he knew that he had time traveled. Um, no, okay. I read that as yeah. him saying like, "You already tried that. It's not going to work." I thought that was the point at which the movie was saying that time traveling solution would not work. Um, but it, I don't know why he'd that, think that. Yeah, or because we totally. That, well, I'm Batman. If I die, then it must not even be possible for me to survive. There's no way I. Well, it, up. saying right. the time travel just like it just doesn't work. It's like, is this canon with the Snyder cut? With the payoff is he saves everyone with time travel. <laughs> Hello. <Yeah. laughs> like why? Why are we pretending like it doesn't work after one failed try? Which, by the way... Because remember, you can change events, as we discovered by him not, you know, getting killed by the ship and kamikaze -ing. I mean, like, you can clearly change events so that a different thing happens. Yeah. And also the can of tomatoes that caused this entire thing to happen in the first place. Just mm -hmm. saying. The implication I got, even though it's only two times we see it happen, is like, no matter what you do, Batman dies here. And it's like, no, we've done two times, and both times he killed himself. So maybe if and we tell him, Batman, don't kill here. yourself. <laughs> don't kill yourself, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Maybe Set we'd save him. that Batman has to die in a battle that he wasn't even originally going to be in anyway because it didn't even exist originally? Like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, that'd be a way to save him. Batman, we don't need you anymore. He'd be like, yeah, okay, cool, bye. Because he doesn't care. Yeah, I'm going to go make some also spaghetti. Just, um, the, the notion that it's impossible for them to win as well when it's like, I don't know, man, when he got impaled and got the Baraka thing, he killed Feyora pretty easily, so just yeah, go get Zod. Yeah. Phase your yeah. fist into Zod and it's over. Exactly. Use your flash time. Yeah. So stupid. Well, speaking of that, right, because I've already implied the, the truth, which is Kara dies again. How? Well, yeah. her against Zod, she already nearly won. All she needed to do was kill him instead of turning her back on him. So the flash turns up to help her too, like flash two, and you're like, oh shit. So it's definitely over for Zod now. Flash yeah, two yeah. or Barry two's plan is to run around Zod really fast to essentially create a smoke screen so he can't quite see very well. And then... Supergirl's gonna fly in and punch, fly in and punch, fly in and punch, fly in and punch. Punches don't seem to be doing much. Zod's like, eh, eh, eh. Oh, my God, that's annoying. Yeah. Damn. I was reminded of uh, Thanos when Doctor Strange and Spider Man are doing their combo. Uh, mm -hmm. And Thanos grabs Spider Man by the throat and crushes him down. And I was like, oh, I'm guessing something like that'll happen then, even though it makes no sense in this context because you can't see shit and she's coming in super fast and she's stronger than you. But of course, Zod punches her as she comes in, because he sees her coming, and then uh, she hits the ground so hard she's knocked out, and then he just stabs her again. She's dead. Yeah. It's like, oh, that was lame. Absolutely again. lame as fuck again. And Barry, too, like, got knocked out of his little tornado when it's just like, if you just super speed punched him in the heart, he'd be dead. That's all you had to do. Yep. Yeah. yeah he, These like, rips and doesn't get up. Absolutely uh, baffling that they showed us that to then never let anyone use it ever again. It's just like, what? It's like, it's like yeah. the ice powers that, that, that Defender Strange has. He just can only, only once, you can only use it once and then it goes on a five year cooldown. When you talk to the people who make this stuff and they're like, it looked cool. It wasn't meant to be something they could do. That's why we're so <laughs> impressed because it looks so cool. You did it. Good job. You, you like, succeeded. You can tell that you succeeded. That looks so nice. Um, and yeah, so after this happens, Barry 2 is like, come on, Barry, let's go again. And then Barry 1 is like, no, there's no point. And I was like, yeah, there is. <laughs> you can just save him. You guys fucked it up again. All you need to do is actually win this time. That's it. That's all you have to do. Yeah, use, use this crazy powers you showed us in the beginning of the movie. No. And they don't even implement the whole nerf with the calorie intake. That's just not a thing anymore. That's just, yeah. they just go nuts yeah. this whole time. It's like, no, we're good. Um, and yeah, and they, yeah, they kill Big Guy and Fiora um, pretty easily. And again, it just supports the whole idea that like they could win. They could have won, but whatever. Um, and Barry 2 is like, let's go crazy, and starts trying to keep doing it over and over again. And he's like, as he's doing it, he's like reporting back to Flash 1. I think at one point he says, like, I need you as well. You need to jump in. And if he has, like, essentially infinite time by standing in the multiverse thing, why isn't he standing still and saying, please come with me? 
I've done this a thousand mm -hmm. times and I'm still losing, <laughs> please. Mm -hmm. But no, he just keeps going without him and losing. I don't know how he loses that many times. I, 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 <laughs> I almost want to see it. It's like, how could this be possible? And then how many flashes are running around in that reality where you've kept traveling back to it? A billion. A billion it's an army. Probably, yeah. Apparently not enough to win. And it never and it never resets the spaghetti verse to where it changes everything and it's not even everything's oh, right they keep, where they left it. You keep showing imagery of Kara dying in all these different like scenarios, but mainly it's just Zod grabbing her and punching her and stuff. And it's just like the film completely forgets that the average fight between those two, she wins. That's how, how the mechanics have been built previously. You can't just like, nah, Zod wins. Fuck Zod you. just wins because he just does, I guess. I probably, she probably turned it back in most of those. That's, that's, that's an easy way to get it. You, he should just warn her every time. Zod has a knife on his gauntlet. Don't let him stab you with it or it'll kill you. Um, then we get a quote that, uh, generally speaking, about this whole movie, I don't know what the fuck we're supposed to make of it. Uh, Barry One says, We could try a million times. We can't fix this. No matter what we do, this world dies today. Uh, he's, yeah. uh, I feel like that, uh, uh, so, so for me, it's like, if someone was submitting that as dialogue for their superhero movie and I had to like approve it, I'd be like, you're going to need a lot of justification to let this line come into this movie that we have to let the world die. That's, that's something you're going to have to really justify. And it's not at all. It's just like, no. uh, why we could all, you guys, the flash could easily have destroyed the world engines himself, but no. Nope. No. We're just gonna let Zod win. Yep. Because Barry once decided that's just fate. He wins. Fuck the Batman 89 universe or whatever the hell this universe is supposed to be called. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, I Barry. guess he's just like, yep, yeah, I guess fate's real. Destiny's a thing. It's just supposed to happen, it's, I guess. It's been... It's, it's bad just, enough that's how it is. that he thinks that, but he's also decided himself that you can't save their world. And it's like, who said that? Like you, you, you already agree that you can change some things. The fact that you've been around at all means that you can change things. And But you've decided you can't change that? That sounds like something that you probably shouldn't give up on, you know, the whole world. It's like saying, we're like, we, yeah, we can take steps, but we can't walk down the street. Um, yeah. So then Barry 2 says, you're the one that told me I was a hero. Now what? Are you saying you don't want me to be? And I was like, like that's Ugh. not... I feel like you're <laughs> missing the real substance here, which is, how about we actually, like, keep trying, though? That's the thing, you really <laughs> want to see how that scene turns out if Flash 2 just said, so, I'm gonna try and save these innocent people, and I'm gonna keep trying, and you can stay mm -hmm. here if you want, and watch me, like, fail over and over again until I some point succeed in saving my family. Which, by the way, I know it's dumb to say, but, like, Flash 2 should be probably appealing to that, it's like, this is the world where all of my family and loved ones live. Uh, okay. Maybe you yeah. can understand me not giving up as fast as you. Yep. But no, we don't do any of that. Mm -hmm. He just says, I am the Flash, and nobody <laughs> has to die. Like, oh, God, okay. It's, it's like a, it's a, do you know who I am kind of line. It's like, I'm <laughs> evil line. I'm <laughs> me, but evil. Yeah, someone said, as Flash 2 does keep trying to be fair. It's like, yeah, but his justification is, I am the Flash. <laughs> Which is like, ugh. <laughs> Instead of appealing to the fact that, first of all, sounds like, you should just want to try and right. save this world, Barry One. That's something that you should probably be motivated to do, even if it seems hopeless. But, I don't know, man. This <laughs> this movie's almost nihilistic at certain points. It's like, well, we're fucked, because fate says so. Everything's fucking meaningless. You're like, no? No. You kind of need that, that other character to be like, no, actually. Um, yeah, because Barry One then says, not everything has a solution, sometimes you just have to let go. Uh, and they even have flashbacks to the stupid math scene. Yeah, instead, in, in, in case you're stupid and didn't remember that. Absolutely <laughs> fucking insane that he's appealing to that memory in the, in the context of let the world burn. Sometimes you just got to let the whole fucking universe burn. Sometimes the Earth just has to die. You know how it is. I mean, it's like, oh yeah, sometimes we're superheroes. I love me some Barry Allen Flash, you know, where he's like, <laughs> fuck it, we lost. <laughs> you go, woo -hoo. Yeah, I'm out of here, fuck this shit. Um, yeah, and by the way, Barry 2 says back to him, you're full of shit, dude. Which is like, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good response. <laughs> 
there's like some point that they're trying to go for in terms of like accepting reality for what it is but the problem is that the character can just rewind time and he did like it in the snyder cut and that's canon to this film apparently and that that was i mean which is weird just just remember but before <laughs> sorry <laughs> fuck no uh, oh, no, before he no. said that, he was like, "Oh, I have to break my one rule." Do we? We don't even know what that rule is, but yep. now, right? Like that's just something he said. Yeah. Like that's kind of, that that kind of implies he knows some shit is gonna happen when he does something, but that's just forgotten now, I guess. It says like weird things happen with time. It's like, hmm. Oh, okay. okay. So even let's if try. the Snyder Cut wasn't canon to this movie, and this movie was trying to tell me that messing with time you can't go back and fix things uh even if you try like a hundred million ways um i yeah. still think even as unbelievable that as that is i still think there's a better way to execute that than what they were doing yep uh then purple flash shows up and he starts uh he starts like Zapping. It was me, Barry. He starts zapping Barry one, and <laughs> it was me, Barry. It's that shot it that's been okay. shared around a lot that looks awful of Ezra Miller screaming as he's electrocuted. It looks just awful in the multiversal really wombo. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the flashes are like angry at each other, and they start zapping, and it like puts holes in the multiverse ball. And old purple mm. Flash, it turns out to be younger, well, older Flash too, and. He looks like this because he's trying to save everyone over and over and over and over and over again for like a thousand years or whatever. Yeah. And, and which, yeah, I was just saying they'd be like, uh huh. <laughs> like, I just like, don't right. care. Yeah, I, the film has I a really figured. uplifting message. Yeah. <laughs> well, again, it's a problem that there's like a message there about the nature of like accepting reality for what it is and, you know, moving on and things like that. But the problem is, again, you know, people can't rewind time. Flash can. And there's, like, there's a conversation to even be had there as well about what does it mean to save people if, like, somebody dies and then you rewind it? It's like, have you saved them or are you essentially saving, like, a duplicate of themselves? You know, those sorts of questions about, you know... <laughs> but I don't think the film is ready for that kind of, uh, that kind of conversation mm -hmm. about whether it's even possible to save somebody by oh, rewinding time or if you are necessarily saving a different entity. Um... Yeah. yeah, they're not ready for that. There's someone in chat that said, uh, I am the Flash, Dr. Han. I am the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am the Flash. I am the Flash. <laughs> um, oh, which brings that's, us that's to that's possibly the part that everyone would have wanted us to talk about the most. Uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, the fun cameos. The cameos. Uh, this is... Uh, Stanky, when we Stanky said like cameo. this is kind Why of all here. where it's all peaked out as this era of filmmaking, this feels like the most like kind of gross key jangling crap we have ever seen. And, and they took yeah. very little time to justify this in universe. They just wanted to show you things you like on screen. That's yeah. it. Head hurty. It's bad. Uh, the first one we see is like the earliest, I guess, on screen Superman. Yeah, is that Christopher Reeve? Is no, it was before, before that. No, 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 no. It's George Reeves then. Yeah, was that one George Reeves or was it even earlier, like the 30s serials? Um... I assumed it would just be the first because that would, I don't know, make some sense to in terms of... Well, I, I checked. I'm pretty sure the first one that shows up in, in the same uh, thing is then George Reeves. Okay. Well, yeah, there you go. And, then, and then we got the Christopher Reeve one, I think. Well, no, Wally West uh, well, is next. We had Wally West, right, and then we had... Uh... Adam, okay. wait, Adam West. Wait, well, go, yeah. The order is, Wally West is original Superman, Wally West, Wally West Christopher Howard Reeve yeah. Superman, and then Adam yeah. West, then Nicolas yeah. Cage Superman, and then Reeves again, or Reeve. Yeah. Um, okay. Wait, wait, what was Wally West well. in this? Yeah, he, he pops in second. He's the second one. It's black and white. Uh, oh, that would be but, that was that wouldn't be Wally. Wait, aren't you talking about Jake Garrick? That's Jake Garrick. Yeah. Oh, okay. I yeah, don't. Wally I don't West know my flashes the, that well. Wally West, Wally yeah. West is like one of the newer, like newer. He was after a crisis. Mm. He, um, yeah, he, the he, one they showed he was originally Kid Flash. Yeah, because they they tried to bring in some uh, other older flashes into the infinitisms, right? We saw he get he like uh, sacrificed uh, himself so that yeah, Grant yeah, Gustin yeah, doesn't yeah, have to. Right. Like, that that right. was not the guy who showed up here. No, I figured because that guy was in black and white and no. shit like. 
well, no yeah. CW cameos here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boo. <laughs> well, something that people have talked about, right? Uh, Grant Gustin, the guy who played Flash for what, like a decade at this point, is alive. Uh, <laughs> actually able to agree to this. Because, yeah, there is that conversation. I like the idea. Uh, he says a fucking Reed email to them to... saying, I am alive. Like, I well, am alive. <laughs> you know, Christopher That's why Reed he's not in there. It's just Christopher Reeve doesn't get to, like, agree or disagree. Like, he, he doesn't no. get a choice in whether or not he wants to participate in this or have how, his how likeness. The, how does that work? Like, do they just I have, have to no write, idea. Do they just have to write to the, the IP and then they can just do it? Or do I they actually, ask I, I family don't know. members or whatever? Presumably it's uh, whoever inherits. No like, it could be family members that approved it. I know that... Mm -hmm. Isn't that how they did it for talking? I think? I don't... I, it's like the thing the estate, is, I, I, don't, I, think. I don't think I know. I, I'm not sure how it works when it comes to somebody's essentially rights to their own image, especially when was that baked into any sort of agreements that they would have made in the 70s, you know? Like, oh, I, yeah, no, I actually it's... don't know. I have no idea. Um, um, but, <laughs> well, but and so maybe day, to like, yeah. try and make this clear, like, why, why is this so kind of gross? It's... You, you open up a little portally thing, and then it's like this static, not very well rendered Christopher Reeve model that's just mm -hmm. there to be looked at, and then the theme plays, and then it spins around him, and he's just staring at this insane crap film through a portal, and just like... <laughs> and, and, they just look at us like, oh god, it's the Flash, fuck! No, oh, god, I, mean, it's I not to, even that. I it's to a turn back time expression. to prevent that future from happening. It, it is a, it is a blank expression. Yeah, it's, it's like he's yeah. a prop. It's, uh, it's like they're using him as a prop. There's very little immersion or fantasy between you and the writer, and that is the writer saying, "Excuse me, sir," and you go, "Yeah." And you're like, "Do you like Christopher Reeve as Superman?" And you're like, "Yes." Here's a poster of him. And you're like, "Yeah." Oh, okay. Oh. And then they're Thanks. like, okay, so do you Doesn't like our that movie? Make you like our movie? Yeah. yeah. You feel <laughs> happy now. You're like, no, I don't like your movie. In like, fact, the no, fact that you've just fact, made did, that, yeah, yeah. I just like you more for that, yeah. for doing this. That's really gross, really actually. Like yeah, you, I would yeah. sue you if I could. <laughs> um, and it's made, it's just, I, I think they've, uh, they've bitten off more than they could chew with this. They assume we put these people in and everyone's happy, right? Which, by the way, I know several people who were happy seeing this stuff. Very happy. I also have seen. The internet revolt against this shit to the point where it's become well, much it more was... popular to say this is gross never do it again yeah i think it was the thing that turned people on the film before it even came out because that was one of the first things that was, was talking sort of about get around yeah yeah it's like i think that set the narrative essentially the narrative being fuck this movie <laughs> like <laughs> like it really really got that emotion really um, really weird choice it's particularly crazy as well because they've talked about like other cameos that they thought that they wanted to do like this wasn't even it there was there were other ideas that were entertained of getting more people thrown in there to just throw them in there for the sake of having them and it's like and what like you think that that earns you points for your movie the, like, that has nothing to do with your movie it earns you nothing it's true you lose good day sir it's, good what day, is it day, sir. It's, a bunch of people standing around as giant like spheres are crashing into each other in these universes with shit visual effects. Well, yeah, and the implication like, the is that there's bleeds Nick and Cage. holes and stuff. It's like Nicolas Cage would probably come in then, would he not? He'd be like, "What He'd the be fuck more is than this?" Happy to. Oh, I was actually like, I meant that in universe, like, but also yes, you're correct. I don't know oh, why the yeah. fuck they didn't in, just well, get Nicolas Cage yeah. to come well, in. Well, the amazing the amazing visual effects there, right? Where every single thing on screen doesn't look real. Every single thing. Yeah, but it's supposed to look that way. I that isn't supposed to look that way. That's meant to be real representations of those people. It's the multiversal sphere thing. Everything is seen from Ezra Miller's it's perspective, the and therefore sphere. the director yeah, said anything to do with that scene is supposed to look like shit. Except <laughs> uh, it. He's making. Yeah, he's Fringy, making have you considered it's supposed to look shit like he's shit? Making, have you considered that I actually am retarded? Don't worry, he he's won't have scenes in Batman that are supposed to look shit, right? <laughs> when he makes well, that movie, I guess it's just I don't know. Like that's how how. <laughs> after this mm. well you know there's still time there's still time oh I'm sure yeah. it did like but again mm. this film was shot like two years ago so what happened were they not working on it oh, no. well you see like, what... um, it was uh, I, an incursion I strongly believe that mm, a good chunk of these decisions were made very very late in the game I can believe that. So, um, they... let's just throw that in there. 
Okay. So a screenshot of the sort of static, almost like rag dolly of, of like several of these cameos versus just one screenshot of the three Spider-Men hugging at the end of No Way Home, where they're all yeah. like actually beaten up. They've got the blood makeup on. They're all smiling yeah. at each other. And it's just like, please, can people understand the difference? Like <laughs> This is just seriously yeah, important. Love of God. I, think, I think a Thanks lot of people too. learn very bad lessons from that film. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. I learned all, they all the wrong do. lessons. Yep. You guys like Adam West? You guys yeah, like Nicolas Cage? Luck of the things. Nicolas luck Cage the one things. is especially funny because this vast majority of the people in the world don't know what that's even referencing, and so all they have to go on is, did you throw a Nicolas Cage Superman in just because it's the multiverse and you can do anything? Because Nicolas yeah. Cage is kind of a meme of a person at this point, and so they might just assume that, that you did it for the lulls. Like, look, it's Nicolas Cage fighting a giant spider. When it's like, Which no, there's a whole story a behind that, but you'll never know what it is. Most people will never oh, no. know that story. The stories don't when matter. It's... Look, it's Nicolas Cage. That's an awkward vibe to sort of get from people when this is meant to be like the big dramatic sort of conclusion of the story. Mm -hmm. I thought you said Nicolas Cage like... there, ranks. Oh, no, he's <laughs> he's got a massive cock. <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> Just, I thought it was good, good to just let that simmer for like a second mm -hmm. and then just move it along. It's called soaking. Uh, so anyway, because so we're getting oh, real close to the credits now, I'm just saying. Thank right. God. Um, oh. Barry says, we're destroying the fabric of everything. Thing. You have to stop. And then evil Barry, I guess, says, it stops when I fix everything. I made you create me and now you're in my way. And so he goes <laughs> to stab Barry oh. one. And it's so funny because it's hyper telegraphed, right? It's like you're the Flash; you can dodge that shit. Uh, yeah, at most, he's like, as cling, fast cling. as you, so you're just moving out of the way. But then Barry Two, who's also there, is like no, and gets in the way of it and takes the hit and mm -hmm. dies. And it's like you didn't have to do that, but like you, you're, why does you're just it, bad. You're everyone bad. Everyone sucks. Stuff. You're then, really, you're a noob. Evil purple Flashman is like, what? And then crumbles because, you know, past him is just dead now. Yeah. And so I guess it works like that. Yeah. Also... And, and then Barry 2 <laughs> says, tell my mom I love her. And I was like, for a moment, like, fuck it, Al Barry 1. You have caused so much suffering. With your yes. stupid decision. <laughs> like, this kid really has, was actually. dragged around by you, given powers, forced into a situation that you told him to simply accept his whole world's death, and then he mm -hmm. dies protecting you. Like, fuck it, L. Obviously, the Man, film is, is crap, that is, but... That yeah. is really dire for Barry, isn't it, as a character? Yeah. I don't like, think he even realizes that. By the time he hits the end of the movie, he's joyful again. But yeah. it's like, Woo. man, you shouldn't be. Think about that be. other Barry. He was cringe, sure, but like, goddamn. Yeah, like, that doesn't mean you deserve to like die or. Well, have your stuff. entire sense of self and your entire world destroyed, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty bad died. cringe, but like, come on. I would have loved to hear the conversation between Flash and uh, Batman after all this is over. Yeah, it's like, you like, did wow, fucking Barry. what? Wow. I don't know if I want Barry. you to Justice League anymore. <laughs> You, you're a piece yeah. of shit, Barry. I don't even want you on the Justice Friends. <laughs> the Justice <laughs> Associates. So, uh... The Associates of Justice Esquire. <laughs> um, uh... Yeah, so Barry decides to go back in time and to obviously fix his mistake with the soup. Um, I don't know if anyone else felt this way, but the second he started talking to his mum, I was like, oh, so you just fucked it up again now. Yeah, you've ruined it again. Yep. Because that yeah, never happened before, well. and that's all it takes. The universe doesn't yeah. see the difference Why between didn't... dropping some soap, a soup in there, and you talking to someone oh, that you don't watch... talk to. You need to watch the Simpsons episode where it was just like, you know, Homer sat in that fish, and that was it. <laughs> that was enough to yep. throw everything off. Stupid bug, you go squish now. <laughs> yeah, we... That was just one little innocent mosquito. That can't change the future, well, right? Yeah. Right? I wish, I wish my... I hadn't sat on oh, that Oh, God, fish. and then... When, uh, do you, do you think? Do, do, yeah. Do you think the the writers were like, well, he's he's bigger. She doesn't know, so the universe doesn't know, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it's just the problem is people get really bad when it, it, it the fact that you were there displacing the air molecules yeah. changed everything. <laughs> like that's how simple it is. It's not even the butterfly effect. It's the your hero effect. You are here. Effect. You are causing problems simply by virtue of being here. All I was gonna that's say was just. Effect. Man, it was 
funny when Homer went to that world where everything was amazing, but then there were no donuts. <laughs> no donuts. And he screams and runs away, and then it starts Marge, raining donuts. dear, would you kindly pass me a donut? <laughs> donut? A donut? A donut? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's raining again. Yep. Oh, poor Homer. Ah. <sighs> Better show, better media. Better time travel. Yes, better time travel by far. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they have the chat. It's kind of... I would feel something if there was a real movie behind it, but there's not. Yeah, just that, garbage. that's what I thought. It was like, man, in isolation, this is actually not terrible, uh, but I just want to go home now. <laughs> that's the problem, <laughs> yeah. In isolation, it's like, yeah, there is like a better film where this is a great payoff, but like yeah. in totality, like it's a mess. It's a complete mess. Um, I also think um, the Flash show, I mean, virtually did the exact same thing that the show did. Um, I think the show handled it a little better. I hope so. Uh, Maybe it did. <laughs> I mean, I, I watched Crisis on Infinite Earth, so I do have low pretty, expectations uh... of our. Uh... Of the CW stuff in general after that, but oh, yeah, we did like that. I think that's a story. Right, isn't it something really depressing? There are VFX yeah. in the CW Flash that are better than this Flash in this movie because yeah, the but those moving at those the right weren't speed. meant to be shitty. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, idiot. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got two notes before credits, so I'm so happy right now. Okay. That's... Uh, Blowing. Flash has tampered with the footage in such a way or whatever that it saves his dad now in court. But of course, yeah, he, he, that do, means... Do you know what he did? What did he do? He, he changed... So there, there, there were cans of soup on top and uh, the ones he wanted on the bottom. So he changed the whole soup layout. So that he would have to look up sort of so to grab the to... soup. Exactly, yeah. That's retarded, but fine, whatever. Um, the point, of course, is that <laughs> if you do that, then you've literally repeated the mistake you spent the whole movie learning not to do. So I don't understand yeah. that at all. It's just well, maybe like... maybe he moved enough soup that it's fine. No, it, it doesn't... It, the point... Why does he put the soup in her thing? It's to save her life. Why is he doing yeah. that with the soup now? It's to save his dad from being in jail. It's like, why does he think that it wouldn't pivot? Like, it always did. Why... why sure. And then he's surprised yeah, it's, it's my, when it pivots. One of my last notes, yeah. How does he, um, yeah. is going back in time to unfuck up your fuck up not going to cause more fuck ups? Why don't you just go back in time, peek your head into the moment your mother gets killed, see who the fuck did it, and then you can form a paper trail in the fucking present. Go to Batman, say, this guy did it. Let's find a way to pin him down. Did you yes. do it? Why don't you mm. time travel nowhere and kill yourself? <laughs> 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 it's just it, I don't get. They spend the whole movie learning the lesson, and then he just shits on it. What? Yeah, it's like, oh, I do this. What are you doing? What was this journey about? And then he has I the balls to be surprised that something changes. It's like, what's wrong with know. you? Of course, something you're changed. Batman you made like, Batman and Robin canon. Well, that's the thing. I was kind of happy about um, that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, so slight. Uh, um, I got. I got another little, little note here. Um, let me see. Uh, sorry. Uh, trial happens, father's trial, I guess. After the trial, you think that Barry would really want to be with his father, spending a lot of time with him, not, like, chatting with Iris? Whatever. We need to yeah, let that pay off, okay? Yeah. okay? For some reason, enough. she wants to go on a date now, and I don't know why. Because happily care. ever after, except the little twist at the end. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, oh my god, wait, oh my god, where's, where's Ben Affleck? I do Affleck? like the idea that Someone like commentary would be like, You fucked the world up so much it made Batman and Robin canon. That's funny. <laughs> no, this means that nature is healing. You've reached the utopia universe. <laughs> you have reached. Dude, this is the, the bad outcome. They're not, they're, they're not making lucky. another one, I assume, but it'd be so funny if they did and they did have Arnie come in as like a scientist who, you know, Dr. Freeze who's like helping, you know, modern elderly Clooney <laughs> with whatever. I'd just be like, Yes, have him say a pun. Just one, just one, and I'll be happy. Hey, you good guy. I think no. you're pretty cool. Ah, uh, nice to meet Have you. Have a cool day. Um, um yeah, sorry. Oh, if sorry. anyone didn't catch that, George Clooney shows up. He's Bruce at the end. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. just a fun cameo. This movie needs to fucking die and never come back. Uh, and then I yes. think Aquaman but, shows up in the post credit scene drunk, and then that's it. Which pissed well, off a lot of Aquaman fans. Barry right? needs to be worried about uh, where his friend is. 
Well, no. I got yeah. I mean, he, yeah. But where's my friend? Where's my my quasi father figure? I will tell you what. Where's where is where's he? the Flash is of this forever? universe? Where's the Flash? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, flash yeah. Well, flash they just him? pretend that this is now his his time. They can't God. pretend that George fucking Clooney is here. <laughs> no, I've unexisted so many people. Oh no. That's so, dude. Imagine in this universe, he's like, wait, so Zod didn't take over. And Clooney's like, no, me and Freeze took him out. Literally, the ship arrived, and Freeze fired his ice yeah. laser at the ship, and it just crashed. <laughs> well, what maybe... killed the Kryptons? <laughs> the Ice Age! Get off my planet! <laughs> but maybe George Clooney hopped over independently of Barry, and is just gaslighting Barry into thinking that he's from that universe, you know, as part of his scheme to do mm -hmm. something. Yeah, it's yeah. literally George Clooney in that universe, and Ben Affleck Batman hired him to trick Barry for the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a lesson for Barry. What are you talking about, Barry? It's me! Like, of course everything's fine. You didn't change anything, did you? Not this time. And Flash is like, By the way, oh. what, what, was the, what was the after credit scene? Because I just left the cinema. Aquaman was drunk. There was, uh, Aquaman sleeps in a dirty puddle. Okay, cool. And I don't know if that takes place, like, if Barry found a way to get back to, you know, the original timeline, or if this is Aquaman and the Batman and Robin world, and I I imagine that Aquaman 2 is not going to address these questions in my Oh, that's still around, fuck. Yeah, that's coming out, that's the last <laughs> DCEU film, that's the end. Can I kill myself after end. that? It's gonna be nope. the end of me too. Oh no, 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 we have an entirely new DCEU to tackle yep. after this. Good. It really is a brave and bold old by thing. James Gunn, who said this film was great. Liar. Yes. Liar, liar, liar. Uh, no, yeah. he's just getting all of his lies out of the way so that it's truth from here on out. I don't know, man. It <laughs> feels like, what the fuck? That's how man? it works. You thought this movie was well, good? It, it, just like, like conclusion thoughts, it's like what an abysmal fucking disaster that's uh, just yeah, it's actually like, insulting. It's a one out of ten. It's a one out of ten. Probably yeah, yeah, ten. yeah. Uh, there is, is no character that's not making one. retarded decisions at any point in this exactly. film. Exactly, and, um, and it breaks time and space. Well, and Keaton Batman was annihilated most of the time. Yeah. He is not himself. Mm -hmm. He is some weird caricature that tried to float on screen. Uh, Downright disgusting cameos. This, this is the worst yeah. it's ever gotten. Yeah, yeah so it's a really, it, yeah, cynical movie. Um, yeah, every Again, part of it the is whole just movie crumbled. Just, it really just didn't feel like it was revised. It felt like they they rushed something. They just wrote something, to have yeah. something on paper, and then shot if, it. If you were to try and draw some kind of thematic through line, you might end up saying sometimes the world just has to burn. And you're like, what? Really? <laughs> like, that's what <laughs> True. It was. Sometimes, it was I don't so know. Weird. Sometimes you just have to accept that the world is going to be conquered by aliens and terraformed, and everything that you love and know, which you <laughs> unexisted anyway, is going to die again. So, yeah. Which is really frustrating because I think the thematic element of just learning to live in the present or, or to be okay with the way things are instead of wanting to go back and change things constantly. Yeah, that's the I Multiverse that's really of Madness great. theme. Yeah. It's unbelievable to me because at like least Multiverse of Madness' yeah. cameos had, they had more reason to exist for longer in that, you know, thing. Sure. They just don't because uh, it was uh, fucked up. But like in this, it's so gross, like it's, it's so <laughs> pathetic and thin and just, just, just so blatant. Exactly what they want. It. People are going to look back at this like little clump of this clump of movies and they're going to say, oh, yeah, remember back in like 2020 or whatever, you know, when they made those those shitty like multiverse movies and that was all the rage. And that's just they just they really tried to cash in on all that shit. And every movie was a damn multiverse movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sucked. Ugh, I can't, I, I'm so glad we grew out of that and learned our lesson. Like a turn back time. And then you get told like. Don't worry, the DCU is heading for a full reboot, and you're like, oh, thank God. Uh, well, yeah. I don't even know what that means though now. <laughs> yeah. Like, I actually don't, because yeah. he's directing the Batman movie. Would it be if uh, I have to wonder how Snyderverse fans feel knowing this is the cap off to the series? <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure that, but but I mean, like, what a shit show this whole thing was. What a what a mistake it was. What an embarrassment it was. What damage it did to DC as a brand. All this was. Uh, well, I mean, I I don't know. I was I was pretty fond of 
obviously uh, Batman v Superman, and mm-hmm. uh, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> that's okay, the... but I mean, like, the... okay. Well, all I'm saying is uh, this this sucked. Really, yeah. really bad. No, well, so what I'm gathering suck. is there are very few people who think anything positive about this film, and even they no, are no. like, "Well, it's mainly Keaton Batman, or it's mainly the action scenes." It's mainly, yeah. You know, I've seen people compliment the relationship between Flash and his mum, but even that, I think, is thin as hell. Yeah. Huh. Mainly projection, again. I imagine. Um, I'm going to assume I speak for everyone here when I say not really recommending this one. No. I from it. You might want to get a restraining uh, order against really... this film. <laughs> I, I really liked I think I actually started to like it once it was the two Barry's and Michael Keaton's Batman going to Siberia. I, I don't know, I thought that whole sequence found relatively enjoyable. Probably the most fun I had was at that area. Yeah, and it's it's more so Probably because I get to see Batman is... be competent and Oh, it's so. heavily loaded because of Batman. Yeah, yeah Batman yeah. just kind of watching him, you know, fight some guards and stuff with his gadgets. It was just kind of this. Oh, look mm-hmm. at that! This fun. I'll, I'll look at the clip of this later and nothing else. <sighs> That's it. That's yeah, uh, it. yeah. That's... People are gonna. People are, aren't gonna talk about this movie in two weeks. It's if that long, fail. it's probably gonna um, fail. It might be picked um, as the representative of this era, though. This one. Uh, yeah, it, it I mean, might, it's a valid yeah. choice. I still, th- I mean, yeah. there's multiverse and madness still. People like that like, a lot more than they like this, I think. I know that uh, we rate I, it lower, yeah, but still. <laughs> no, mm-hmm. I know, but yeah, I, yeah. Matt, what a time. We, we have like mo- a couple of movies that, like, or at least two. It's like, yeah, that's a one out of 10. It's like, damn, now we're looking at what is the stronger one. It's like, what the fuck has happened? Yeah, go hard or go home. Jesus Christ. One or a ten. Shoot for the yeah, at least we have Gollum to play these days, so that's cool. Well, that's, that's the thing. True. Games, for every Gollum we get, they give us a Resident Evil 4 remake. It's like, okay, that's thank true. you. With films, yeah, it's yeah. like, well, give us a sec. Or for every Multiverse of Madness you get, you get the Flash. Yay. <laughs> give us something that follows the rules just a little bit. Give me a three out of ten once in a while to recuperate. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, well... Hey, hey. <laughs> That's, we hey. don't have to talk about the Flash ever again. Oh, hooray! Right. Fuck the well, Flash. maybe We're you don't. Oh, Our right, yeah. Sorry, Bell's Forge is tomorrow <laughs> for today. I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you you've got some practice now. You know what to I do. You know what I to do. talk about. I'll um, be on that one too. To ooh, have yeah. so much the fun only continues. Oh. Fun on the bun, as they say. Um, yeah. I figure we'd start with. I should have probably introduced you, but I just, I just wanted to get going with it and have some fun. Hopefully, you had fun as well, Mister um, uh, Colin Sanders. I, was, I meant there. I don't introduce Meme or Metal because those guys are hanging around here a whole bunch, weirdos. Oh. But um, thank mm. you for joining us. For those who don't even remember or know, the last we interacted with you, I believe, was regarding the DCEU. Probably like how long ago was it? I don't know. Numbers are hard. Maths is problems you can't yeah. solve. I learned from this. Oh. Year, year ago maybe well uh i don't know if uh if this fits in with uh you can't wait to make videos talking about there's underlying meaning in this that can maybe boost it up a little bit the flash or if maybe you're gonna make a video you fucking hate it either way it was fun talking to you about it and uh we appreciate you coming on thank you absolutely you bet oh yes there there is definitely probably going to be a video on this <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, well, so do you want to uh, tell people who are, who are listening what you're up to and why they should check out your channel? I'll pop the link in chat, and it's in the description as well. Should work. I did give it an update. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, uh, nothing nothing too fancy. Uh, my channel's in the description, I believe. Yes. And I primarily do uh, video essays and short films. I just finished a short film uh went through some festivals i'm pretty proud of it uh, i'm gonna put it on my channel in july i've got obviously the the flash video essay is coming um and also a pirates of the caribbean video essay gonna dive into the writing and characters from 
those movies. So I very much enjoy them. Um, obviously, excluding the fourth and fifth movie. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're interested in that? Give me a give me a little a little, little, little click, a little click, a little, little look around, little clickeroni. Oh yeah, you got, uh, like I said, links are all there, and he's covered plenty of topics that you guys are interested in. So, give it a look, see if you have any interest. Um, and again, thank you so much. Good, uh, moving on to our next lad. Meme Repository, what are you up to? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing, you old shit? What are you doing? What's up there? What's going on? Uh, currently streaming um, uh, Shadow. We've moved on from Mordor and gone on to Shadow of War, so that's uh, the thing. And people are really desperate for me to play Gollum, so we'll <laughs> yeah. see. Oh god, you'll love it. That is your kind of game. <laughs> oh yeah, I can uh, I can already tell. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, just uh, keeping on, keeping on, editing EFAP TV at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, just um, figure and slowly trying to figure out what my next video is going to be. Um, I want to do something maybe just nice and short just to ease back into it, but uh, we'll see what happens when the we'll end stars up being about line Gollum up on that. Now. I'll be about to be inspired. <laughs> what? Gollum, the unappreciated masterpiece of a generation. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's uh, <laughs> so that's me at the moment. Wow, sweet. Um, obviously, I think EFAP chat are pretty familiar with you, but if not, links are all there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Metal! What are you Yo. doing on the day of tomorrow that relates tomorrow, to what we're doing right now? Because I love this movie so much, I'm going to talk about it again. <laughs> you know, normally I try to do these on Fridays, but because of, uh, uh, of time flames, we, we moved it to the Sunday, and then it was just like, you might enjoy it. It was like... Fine. <laughs> and I'm here. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be covered tomorrow. Also did some coverage of Spundoverse. We talked a little bit about that uh, last week. So we want to check that out. If you haven't seen mm. any coverage on that, we, we got you covered last week. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow is going to be Meme, James Moore, and me. We're going to be talking about this movie. Uh, if you want to watch us again, come hang out. It's going to be good stuff, good times, fun times. Uh, uh, if you want to see my Gollum playthrough, that is now also on the Moodle channel, on the Archive channel. Uh, that's not linked down below, but just look for Moodle. You'll find the Archive channel. That's in there with a, in the playlist and everything for your convenience to watch. Plenty of pain and anguish, yeah, to enjoy. There's lo lots of, lots of, lo basically all of my playthroughs since I started that Archive channel. You can just check them out. I put them in playlists. You can pop them on and then you can just... Uh, yeah. yeah, watch them. With your you eyes. say all your playthroughs are pain and anguish, and I was like, oh. I mean, depends on the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm gonna be playing Final Fantasy 16 next week when that comes out. I'm probably gonna go order a copy of that uh, because I quite like the demo. Uh, people have been going crazy about that game. Uh, I'm just a little more cautious, you know. We started off the story. It's it's all right. I'm, I'm I've been liking it, but. Everyone needs to calm down a little bit, all right? We, we, it's two hours of game. It's the intro. <gasps> calm down, all right? I'm going to be the spicy boy here. Just calm down, all right? It's the start. We don't know anything yet. All right. But I'll be playing it because I've been enjoying it uh, quite a bit, though. And yeah, and then just working away on, on the Vigia. I that's, do that's that feel. Speaking of which, bringing in rags, was there anything you guys wanted to say? Um, I got some stuff lined up. I may have something done tomorrow for Dog Bites. I'm not sure. Um, depends on how I feel after I um, kind of rest up today. No, I got no. Tomorrow is tomorrow's Father's Day. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, there was going to be a... Uh, yeah, maybe Monday then. Uh, plan for it coming up Monday. And I try to get a few things out uh, this week uh, other than that. But, yeah, big video progress, you know. Uh, crawls forward, uh, getting worked on piece by piece. It'll be out, you know, one day. Um, but until then, no real updates. I'm just working. That's it. Working, working, working. Which, uh, yeah, is exactly what I'm doing as well. Uh, mm. You know, things taking form, and I look forward to being able to maybe show a screenshot at some point of something to imply what may be on the way, but it's still in its infancy. You see? 
not reached the age of adulthood where it can jump onto the internet and say hello. But it will, eventually. Uh, an important aspect slash update of what's happening soon is that uh, we're going to have to organize something for the upcoming EFAP on the 24th. Um, we might have one that's pre-recorded or it might be a skipped week. It's one of those two. Uh, oh, because we will, that is going to be one of the two weeks that Mr. Rags is not going to be able to join us, and therefore we will not be able to be uh, doing a live as per usual. But that's all right. We got uh, we got plenty of things that are probably going to happen, and then I believe the following week will indeed be the Dial of Destiny, which uh, everyone oh, is boy. looking forward to. I believe that's just Yay. that's oh, what a great movie already, kind of. <laughs> Something that everyone wants to see and enjoy. So, yes, uh, that's what you can expect in the upcoming. But for tonight, for to now, as they say, uh, we'll simply bid you all adieu. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Hope you had a good evening. Hope you enjoyed us talking about whatever this was. They call it a movie. I don't know. I think that's a bit generous. Uh, in any case, good night and goodbye. We shall, uh, Wednesdays for mm -hmm. Super Chat Catch-Ups will be released, and uh, we will make sure to hit all of them, don't you worry. Uh, yes. Goodbye for now, and good night. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Toodle -oodle. Bye.